Welcome to Bitter Bits.
Hey, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to whatever day it is. Thursday, I believe it is. We're going to be doing a new thing tonight. We're going to be doing the Egglock Challenge, which is something we talked about for a little bit. Well, at least talked about since we started Pokemon Scarlet. The Game Awards are happening tonight. I do know that. Uh, so for those of you who are watching that, I hope you enjoy the, the awarding. Uh, and for those of you that are here or watching both, that's cool. <laughs> Do I do? I normally don't watch the Game Awards thing because it's a lot of padding. A lot of padding for like some announcements and stuff like that. So I kind of just, I kind of just wait until it's over and then just take a look at, uh, uh, <laughs> take, take a look at it. Just talking it with Nighty. Who the heck is Nighty? Um, I'm so confused. Uh, but the, um, yeah, words. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, there's really like a lot of, um, Oh, right. God, yeah, dude, I haven't seen them in forever. I keep I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Sorry. Brain. I'm, I'm normally a little bit better Welcome at uh, a little bit better at keeping track of stuff. I just, I just haven't seen them in a while. Um, So the, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, I normally don't watch them just because, like, it's just, it kind of reminds me of, like, those weird, like, award shows that they do for, like, movies and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, all that, all that junk. But, um, yeah, sorry, I'm. Yeah, trying to re recalibrate brain here. I apologize, uh, but anyway, no, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing the egg lock tonight. I actually thought we might not be able to do it tonight, but we were able to, so that's uh, that's good. Um, I hate that I had to read those words to make that quote. What 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 quote? Which one? I don't even know what's happening now. But donkey chains? Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, always, always good. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing the the egg lock thing. I'm actually really excited. I need to I need to actually boot up the uh, the thing over here and see. Oh, shoot! I wonder why that light didn't turn on. Hang on a second. Hang on, we got a we got a we got a rogue light. Give me a, give me a second. I got to I got to fix this.
Well, unfortunately, it looks like one of my lights just stopped working. I don't know. I'm not sure why. Uh, that's unfortunately one of the... <laughs> one of the bigger ones. Uh, shit. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I, uh, I just, uh... I just... I just was saying to, uh... I think it was Jigakuro, actually, because I messaged Jigakuro about, uh... About the egglock thing, I was like, yeah, and you know, he sent me Gengar face, because that's just the new thing, the egglock. Um, and I was like, man, I was like, I, uh, I was like, I was like, shit's just, shit's just chaos these days. <laughs> I was like, shit's just chaos. No, I can patchwork this, I've got a backup light, give me one second, I can, uh, I can do this here. Give me, uh, just give me one, one sec. Okay, now thank you guys for the, uh, someone redeemed the blackout point reward permanently. That's what it was. That's what it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, just trying to get this, uh, trying to get this fixed up here. Anyway, uh, I think that should be good. Let me go ahead and flip it over and make sure it's all right. Um, yeah, it's. Little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little wonky dunk, but it should be all right. Maybe. Uh, it's not gonna be quite as good as it normally looks, but this should be fine. Not that it particularly looked like amazing before or anything like that, but yeah, that should be, should be okay, I guess. good yeah, it's the it's the temperature of that thanks wiggy i appreciate that thanks man i do appreciate it anyway so uh yeah everybody we're gonna be doing uh we're gonna be doing egg lock tonight hey that was my that was my ring light that shot that thing is like damn i hope that might hope that's like under warranty i think it's like a couple uh i think it's like a couple uh couple years old at this point i'm not sure But I don't know, I don't know what their warranty is, but that's, typically their stuff doesn't break, so that's really surprising. Anyway, that's, uh, that's weird. Kind of came out of there, kind of came out of nowhere. It was fine yesterday, I checked the cord and everything, it's, it should be good. Hey Reverend, how you doing buddy? Welcome to, uh, welcome to this. Um, this will probably be a multi, multi-night thing, so, uh, as long as, as long as it's going okay, I would, would imagine it would though. Every time we've done an egg lock, it's been, uh, or the other time we did an egg lock, people seem to really enjoy it, so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the case. Now, what I do need to do here is I need to dis just turn off display cap there because we don't need that bad boy. And uh, let me get rid of it there. I think that should be good. You can jive, man. I'm all over the place. Really good today, actually. Only five more days to fly home for the holidays. That's really exciting, Reverend. I'm glad you got somewhere to go for the holidays. It's gonna be a gonna be a weird one, I think, for uh, for me this year. It might be a little strange, but I'm gonna try to make sure it's good. I think it'll be good. Damn, we doing Hades too? Electric Boogaloo? It's actually surprising. I'm kind of, kind of shocked to see they're just doing a sequel to that. You guys see anything? Uh... Oh God, I'm sorry. What? For what? No, no. I was just saying that's really good. I. It's gonna be strange, but like, my uh... holidays are weird. Holidays are weird for me anyway. That's more of what I was saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I apologize. But, uh... <laughs> no, no, you, you're good. You're good. That was not like me being like, I'm so sad. No, no, that was... I'm sorry that came off like that. I was just thinking, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be a little... It's gonna be... It's been weird anyway, but that's, that's more why I was saying it. I really apologize. God, this is like last night all over again. You're weird, smooth man. Yeah, that's, uh... God, ain't, ain't that the fucking truth. I need to, um... I need to, uh... I guess kill this save file before we before we kick off the egg lock. 
I also want to say thank you to uh, Sass. Resub, thank you Zaris for it. Thank you, Sass. Have I really been here this long? You have. And then T Quick with the 54 months says, Behold, egg. Thank you, T Quick. And then coffee with the sub to Cricket. Thank you so much. You guys are all great. How do you even kill a save file in Pokemon these days? Also, nah, you're. You're good, Reverend. I, I'm so sorry that I came off that way. That's that's not... My brain's a little scrumbled right now, but it's, it'll be all right. We'll figure it out. Um, the, uh, yeah, no, I did not... Did not mean, uh... Did not mean that... The, are we growing the face, friend? Oh, shit, I don't know. Are we? I'll be to make a new profile on the Switch. Will I still be able to do online shit, though? Because that's the problem, is needing to do, like, online shit. That's the problem. Oh, you will? Oh. I mean, I could just... I could just can the, uh... I could just can this file. There's nothing important on it. I can't think of any any Pokemon that's, like, so important. Can you guys think of any Pokemon that are so important that we can't just can them? I was thinking of it beforehand, but I figured... Oh, God, that's really bad. Shit. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm using my little backup light, but I don't know if he's got enough, uh... I don't know if he's got enough juice in him to... Handle that. Might have to go, uh, might have to go no green. We'll see. Should be alright. I, uh, ooh. Maybe? Ah, uh, it's still not, still not great. But, uh, oh, well, we don't really need cloth. Claude, because Claude Sire, outside of just being Claude Sire, I don't know if, uh, no, there's no, there's no shinies or anything like that. Yeah, sorry about the screen of green. We had a, uh... We had a, we had a malfunction before the stream started. I did, I did forget how utterly ridiculous the Spanny looked. <laughs> he caught gas station. Yeah, Mithrilis has gas station, so we're not we're not worried about that. Mithrilis has gas station. Gas station was the only shiny that we had. Jesus Christ, Sass. That's terrible. They can't even get like a temporary ramp made out of like wood or something? That's stupid. What a shitty thing. What a shitty thing. Are we naming the Eggeloids? The Eggeloids will be named either by chat or by who sent it, depending on if they have a pre- pre-allotted name that they wanted to have for said egg. Seg. I just run a... Wasn't really, I wasn't really prepared to do this, but I think it's probably a good, good call to just to go ahead and do this and just do, just do no, uh, just do no green. I prefer, I prefer to just not do, not do green screen if it looks like really bad, so. It's fine. We're gonna do ish. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. You were promised eggs. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying. I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little backwards today. I I apologize. Uh, we'll we'll get it figured out. And this was not this was not intended to be a uh, a no green night. So I've got to kind of do this do this live here. This is kind of a this is kind of a whole setup thing. This is why I've been actually procrastinating on it a little bit because there's. There's a lot that I gotta do for no green, so there's a, there's a shit that needs to be done. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do any of my weird camera slippity slides and all that shit. Well, yeah, I can. I can just always undo the undo thing, so it's fine. It's all good. I apologize. This is a really this is a really scrappy start between the between the light killing itself and everything else. It's been a, a little weird. A little weird, but it'll be all right. Okay. I know, but I haven't had my lights set up either. Uh... Color. What color do you guys want? What do we? What do you think? What do you think for an egg lock? What are we thinking? So it's whatever comes out first, they get name privileges. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So if they have one egg, they can name that one or whatever. We just kind of throw the rest of them. Blurple? 
I don't think Execute is in this. Low battery. Wait, for the controller? Are you... Ah, shit. <laughs> shit. You know, we don't we don't give Kunzer doesn't have bitter farm anymore, so we'll go with green. We'll go with green. Let me let me turn that turn that down back there, because that's pretty that's pretty extreme. Pretty extreme. Egg stream even. Okay, so I think we should be good. Let me trim a little bit more here. Okay. Alright, so we should be good on the, the this stuff here. I just I'd screw it to the green screen because that was the whole thing. Green and then chroma key the light. Perfect. That'll do it. Alright, let me get this uh, let me get this thing over here too. Well oh, shit, where did that go? <laughs> All over the place, man. Oh no, I can't use it. That dude, I have brand new cord. I just, I just got other. Oh, Had a brand new thing. <laughs> Background's a little whack. I still gotta fix some stuff in here, but hey, everything's falling apart. Not really. Well, hey, the Pro Controller's battery is actually pretty good. That was just my fault for not charging it. You know how it goes. Sometimes I use the I use the USB C for my computer to charge it, but the problem is you can't do that while you're playing it, because then it's like, oh, you wanted uh you wanted this to do this? And I'm like, no, I wanted you to work for the Switch. It's like, no, no, we're not doing that. So no Pokemon that we can think of that are worth saving from this run. Of course, like, we'll always have them in video format, because we don't need uh I, mean, I love these guys. I love old Godzilla and all them, but like yeah, we really. I, there's nobody I can think of that we like. We have to save. All of them are to me. All of these Pokemon, every single one of them. Every, every, every single, every single Pokemon. Sometimes I forget my dad follows me on Twitter, and I really have to remember that more often before I like or retweet Pink Blood. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of tweets, every every stream now I'm doing a bad Photoshop of whatever we're doing. This is turning into. This is turning into a thing, so I'm doing this every single time. I'm making a shitty Photoshop of whatever it is, and it will be full of garbage and, uh, you know, accurate things. So, it's gonna be great. Uh, it'll be wonderful. Fantastic. What else, uh... <laughs> what else? Back the fucking ghost of John Locke is in the one kill me for real. <laughs> He's in an egg. Celeste team is making a Metroidvania game. Damn, in a post Hollow Knight world, that'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. I hope it goes. Uh, I hope it goes well. What's the name of it? Wait, I thought we already knew that, didn't we? No, a game that is like Chrono Trigger ish. Uh, is uh, that's happening? How in the world does Vampire Survivors already have a DLC coming out? What is that? That's ridiculous. Oh my god, that game is just a what a champ. What an absolute champ. Now, Haratu, are you saying that, like, you want these Pokemon? Like, do you at least want, like, the core team? Because we can send them to you really quick before we lock it up. Is that what you're saying? Because I'm totally fine with doing that. You can just send me, you can just send me dog shit. If you want to try to preserve. I know you're, like, you're like the Pokemon preservationist. That way, that way, when I'm dead, you can have all my Pokemon and you can be like, look. <laughs> look, these are Nick's final Pokemon. I'm proud of Vampire Survivors, too. Yeah, and Castlevania's got a little crossover. Oh, you need to catch some trash? Oh, uh... Yeah, what do you guys think? You think we should... Think we should pass these guys off to hard too? Well, it's the difference between could and do you want to. Because if you don't want to, that is totally fine. I am I am A-OK -okay with that. Jigakuro's got trash, too. We can just send Jigakuro this, and then you can pass it on to you or whatever. I have like 37 eggs. Let me turn the game on really quick. Oh god. Oh god. Well remember, these will be dead, so they're uh 
You mean I can't use the Poke Portal? What the hell? That's ridiculous. Yeah, if you at least want like the core team that like survived the the whatever, then we could definitely do we could definitely do that. So it's gonna be weird not like paying attention to really any of the story or anything like that. And it's just gonna because this is what we did for the last egg lock, and they they go they go pretty quick for the most part, and uh, it's a little crazy. Maybe a magic from one of these eggs. Magic wouldn't even be the worst egg we've gotten. God, we got that shitty bug that one time, and I was like, I hate this bug so much. It's so terrible. It's so terrible. I really couldn't be interested in Game of the Year, but, like, could we low-key get a vote in there for Dragonflight, given how well it resuscitated Blizzard's value morally and financially? Dude, I, I could sit here and sing the praises of Dragonflight for the next, like, fucking two hours, but I'm sure people are probably fucking tired of hearing that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's great. It's good shit. It's good shit. I like it a lot. But I don't know, I don't know if it's game of the year. It's definitely like my favorite expansion so far, so there's that. But then again, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. I'm tired of hearing about God of War and Elden Ring, but hey, it is what it is. It's six. Six. All right, what code do you want? We'll just do 69, 69, 69 again, because that seemed to work out pretty well. I mean, all of this, all this stuff. The, the reason I don't do like award shows is because it's like it's really irrelevant to me. I like the I like the, the announcements and things like that. That's cool. But yeah, the, the rest of it's kind of just irrelevant, irrelevant to me, because like I'm like, I don't really care what <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, like, that's about as important, important to me as, like, the Oscars are, which, like, there's nothing on the Oscars that I give a shit about, really. Probably been a long time since I've given a shit about anything like that. It's Naomi, right? I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send Godzilla. Sure. <laughs> sure, yes. Anything that isn't an elephant is irrelevant. This is, that's correct. Those are, those are correct words. That's right. Wait, who is Naomi? Is that Jigakuro or is that... But either way, I mean, whoever gets these, it's fine. I wish you could, like, batch trade. That'd be pretty neat. He's like, trade a bunch of them. I did not expect to be doing... How did you not expect to be doing multiplayer in this group? <laughs> How did you not expect? Yeah, there's a lot of people trying to knock out... What's crazy to me is that Microsoft, regardless of their weird stuff, they made a lot of decent shows of good faith, which is pretty weird, all things considered, for a company that size even from a PR perspective, which some of that's fluff and bullshit, but, like, some of it's not. So, like, what's weird is that they're trying to block them, but the funny part is, like, these much more terrifying... much more terrifying and much more damaging to the overall, like, economy and stuff like that, and the market, uh, things have gone through with, like, no problem. It's crazy. Like, it's like the whole Ticketmaster thing. Like, that whole thing went through and, like, nobody... nobody cared. It was nuts. And I'm like... Most of the shit that Microsoft's even said about, like, the uh, the, uh, the acquisition all seems to be really positive. Like, their big push to make sure that Call of Duty stays on, like, Nintendo platforms. Their, uh, their agreement with um, Steam regarding Call of Duty stuff. Oh, that is right. You have to hit it one more time. Um, yeah, it's actually it's actually pretty impressive. I'm, all, I'm, I'm excited to get the egg log started, though. This is going to be really fun. I knew we'd probably have to do a little bit of setup beforehand, which is actually why I was going to start a little bit early, but I couldn't, unfortunately. Um, do some important stuff that was happening, so... Uh, yeah, but um, I, I don't know. I mean, outside of uh, outside of people being angry at it initially, I would imagine most people will probably just forget and move on again and yada yada and that whole thing. That tends to happen a lot without actual change being made. I don't mind people going back and trying stuff after some change has been made, but I, it can't, I can't stand it when nothing happens and then like absolutely nothing happens and then people just give thing a chance again and that's crazy. I named my starting cat Rupee. I don't even know why. What does that mean? This is a lot of toxels you got. <laughs> this is a lot of toxels. Yeah, we'll send the core team and then we'll we'll let everybody else say say farewell. There's some there's another really cool Pokemon in there, but that I don't want to trade my entire uh, trade my entire thing here. I appreciate you guys being here, by the way. I, I know people are watching the Game Awards thing. A lot of people are watching it, too, for the, uh, the... They're doing a bunch of giveaways and Twitch droppy stuff and things like that, too. So, um, I do not blame people. That makes sense. Goodbye to scale. I will miss your bad joke. I like to scale's joke. 
to, to scale, we just didn't get to use them very much. <laughs> Which sucks. I hate, I hate that we didn't get to use them very much. We're gonna announce Bloodborne 2, yeah, but I got Wacky Zacky there, so I would assume that's probably gonna happen. That'd be like cool and all, but at the same time, there's like this level of fatigue deep inside my heart that I hear those words and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like, oh my god. But it will it will continue until people are fucking tired of it. So there you go. None HP and like four of each defense. Yeah, he got he got beaten up pretty bad. His attack wasn't terrible though. He could hit pretty hard. Well, I made a joke about Bloodborne 2 and the uh Um I made a joke about Bloodborne 2 and the Demon Souls remaster, so. Also for the VOD on this, for anybody that goes back to watch it. We'll have a we'll have a timestamp to when it actually starts. I apologize. I I just wanted to do this because I didn't really th I didn't actually think a ton about the team here. Uh, because for some reason I was thinking that I have multiple no, I'm not thinking I have multiple save files. I know this game doesn't have multiple save files. I just was like it's fine. I don't know. That's well, yeah. With big announcements like that, unless it's like something that's rather that's rather brief, like the Silent Hill thing was rather brief. Well, they fucked that up anyway because that was just a video. But um, yeah. I will say though, Kunzer, to, to what you were saying earlier, uh, if dude, if Diablo Four is half as good as fucking Dragonflight is in terms of like the passion and excitement that's in that game. Diablo 4 is going to be the best fucking ARPG ever made, like straight up. I I don't know. Those teams are very different, but if they have half the passion or drive that the fuck the po folks working on Dragonflight have, that is a that's a bright ass outlook for Diablo. I don't know if that's the case. I can't comment on that. I don't really know anybody that even is involved in that. Uh, so I have no idea, but it looks fine from a distance, but uh, I don't really know much about it. I'm not a, I'm not a Diablo person, so I, I, honestly, I'd be okay with that. Well, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like Castlevania needs like a certain type of per Castlevania has to be like weird. Um, it's kind of like when people try to make Souls games, they never really work. And it's just because I think like the Souls games inherently have to be like this weird level of jank and bullshit. That's like, like Elden Ring had like even even it's even in its very QOL ish state has like a lot of weird janky bullshit to it that does make it charming still. Hooray! Okay, awesome. Was there anybody else uh, that needed to go? I don't think so. I think that's everybody. I'm trying to think if there was anybody else notable that needed to go, but that was that was the team that beat the beat the bullshit. So I think that's it. So I guess we just need to clear the save data for Pokemon now, I think. Right? I think that's all we need to do. I don't know where that is normally. I think you like uh, you just save data cloud, manage software, transfer save data, delete software. Well, I don't, I don't need it to back up. How the hell do you, how the hell do you just purge this? The software does not support backup. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, uh, I know I have to close this because, like, I think your system settings will just show your fucking IP and shit, which is, like, ridiculous, and I'm not normally one to be like, uh, um, fucking whatever, I just, my god, they get so bad about this. Uh, let's see, there's delete software, check for corrupt data, archive, prevent auto-archive. Where the hell even is this? Is it not under data management? Okay, I see system, system update, update, update doc. I didn't even know the doc could be updated. That's weird. Um, they have USB keyboard support now. That's cool. Teams, users. Is it under users? No. I thought it'd be under data management. Oh, delete save data. It's all the way at the bottom. Shit. Okay. All right. Farewell. Farewell, uh, those guys. Farewell, team. It's egglock time. We never did finish that dex, but that's okay. I don't put my value as a person on that. Um, 
That sounds so extreme. <laughs> that sounds so extreme. All right, here we go. So now we're moving into uh, moving into Egglock land. I want to say thank you again to Sass, T-Quick, Coffee. Thank you guys for the resub stuff, and I hope you guys are excited. I'm definitely excited. Apologies for whatever. We did a buoy last time, so I guess we'll do a grill this time, because why not? It doesn't really matter. And I think for the... Um, what do I want to do for the name is the question. Hmm. I had a couple ideas. I don't like I don't like a spenny. I thought about that one. Eggs Benedict is pretty cool. Uh, we just need to give you eggs of every Pokemon. Easy Dex completion. Easy, easy peasy. Um, I was thinking like, how many characters do I have? Because I was thinking like a real ass, real ass name. Do I have enough? Yes. Yes, I do. This is what I wanted. I wanted Eglin's best. I wanted a real ass brand name of an actual company that makes a... I, <laughs> I want a real ass Eglin's best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eglin's best. You're the... I don't know what the fuck we're going to make. Uh, Long Bob. <laughs> I don't know. Pomp, two block cut. We looked like an absolute idiot last time. Can we not look like an idiot this time? Is that cool? Because, like, at the end of that run, I was like, I hate the way my character looks so much. I was like, I hate it so much. It's unbelievable. Dude, Ash Blonde. Nice. Denim Blue. Whatever. Gold's terrifying. Whatever. We can, we can, we can mess with this. We'll mess with this later. There's not a lot you can really do right now as far as, uh, as far as all this stuff goes, so... We're just gonna, we're just gonna, oh wait, I guess you can change up your, your look. Now, every time, I've, or last time, I really wanted something that just looked rather defeated. Or tired. Okay, we're looking tired there. Looking, looking tired. What eyelashes we got? We got anything else that looks just tired. Looking like they're just egged out. <laughs> they're just, they're just egged out, dude. They've had enough. <laughs> The face of that feel when you get another bug egg and you just can't stop thinking about it. It's just like, man, that really sucks. That really sucks to get another, another, as a matter of fact, like it needs to have like a little tiny, like kind of tiny smile. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like... I know you guys can't really see it. I'm sorry. The camera, I keep thinking we're green screen, but we're not. And I can't, I can't do my camera transitions because they're not set up right now, because whatever. That's okay, you can see the exhaustion, kind of. She just looks really, really, really done, and it's all right. Ah! It's terrifying, I don't like that. This is like a, this is like a baby child. I don't even, this is like a damn, the thing with like, like the lipstick and all this stuff is they're like 10. Like that's the part that just, it's like, it looks like, like a like child beauty pageant and it's like horrifying. No, that's way too many beauty spots. I don't need all the, that's way too many. What the? Okay. Okay, perfect. Now she looks like an excited little child going on a going on an adventure. Except she's like really defeated also at the fact that the eggs are just killing her. Like that's that's what we're going with. Eglin's best. They're not the best, but they're okay. They're okay. I guess we'll give her I don't know what, what color hair. What color hair would go with this? What some wine red? That's terrifying. I don't like that. I don't like the pink. I like blue green. That's too like gamer girl. Uh, these are like really, really strange. That's actually not bad. I go with that. All right, cool. Yes, perfect. Eglin's best, ready to go. She's oh my god, she's Larry's illegitimate child. Oh, I love this lore. That's really good. <laughs> Some yolk yellow. Oh god. <laughs> If it was Larry's, I think it'd have to be gray, but that's okay. She could maybe take after her mom. But I really like the fact that Eglin's best would just be Larry. Larry's illegitimate dog. Not even illegitimate. He just doesn't really like get to talk to her because him and his wife got into a disagreement at one point and they'd agreed to separate. <laughs> Jeez.
Eglin grew up on a farm in the south of Kalos. Her parents yeeted, all, yeeted her over the mountain plateau to have a better... Can you not skip cutscenes? Oh my god, I thought you could now because they actually had that option. I think it's only the option if you're, like, doing whatever, so it's cool. Because he works 70 hours a week between Gym Elite 4 and eats sandwiches forever. Yeah. Yes. Just imagine a corporate board of actual chickens running Eglin's best. It would be pretty sweet, actually. I'd probably buy it. I'd probably eat more eggs, actually. Oh, that's a setting in the menu, so you can't skip this one. That's awesome, though, that we can skip cutscenes. I don't want to skip all of them, though, because there's going to be some pretty pump ones once we have, like, our actual Pokemon, so... I'm not looking forward to staring at Coridon's weird bulbous ass again. That's going to be a little bit strange, but, you know. She knows the jingle to his gym. Your Junes. Isn't that from, like, Personable Pan Pizza? The Junes, Junes thingy? Now, oh, there's a really, really, really good looking, like, uh, RPG that popped up that I actually want to play on stream, but, like, I know, I know, I know what would happen. I know what would happen. It'd be a disaster. But I would be so excited to play it. It's that fucking, what is it? I, I've, I had it on my whistle, wish list and I had it on my fucking radar forever. It's the one that's like very like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI kind of looking. And damn, dude, it looks really good. Uh, I think it's, oh, Chained Echoes. Um, dude, if you have not seen Chained Echoes, holy shit. It actually looks like really, really, really good. It looks very Chrono Trigger. It's like it's got some Final Fantasy VI chilling in there. We, we saw the trailer for this like a million years ago and like it looks fantastic like absolutely fantastic and uh i don't know if people be into watching it but like i would love to play that damn game we got a lot of stuff coming up we got all kinds of game picks and shit like that which i've got the list going so if you got your game picks and i haven't done my weird cactuar dab at you that means that i haven't put it in yet so remind me same goes for addresses if you sent me an address and i didn't cactuar dab after it that means i didn't get it added so please god do that The only time I've seen this game look decent is on emulators and people who have actual upscalers working for it, so... Naturally, for the very beginning, we're not really going to do much. Uh, we're just going to run towards the, the bullshit, and, uh... We're going to do the thing with the stuff and get the water starter, I think, for Jigakuro, because Jigakuro said they don't have one yet, so we're going to go ahead and get that, because we need some trash to trade for our first Pokémon. Which I am very excited to see what our starter is. I'm sure it's going to be a nightmare. This is so much louder than everything else, because for whatever reason, sure. You hate the throat sack! I love the throat sack, actually. It's the weird bulbous butt sack that I don't like. Because it's like the it's like the lizards with their little goiter sack. Ruby. This ain't just for attracting mates shit. You know what I'm talking about? You know what's going on. But after Dwarf Fortress, it's very nice to be able to tab out of the game. Good luck getting from level 1 to 2. God, I didn't even think about that. How did we circumvent that last time? I feel like there was a way we circumvented that last time, but now I don't remember. And that windmill never looked that good ever again. No, it didn't. No, it, no, it never will. I'm going to try not to bitch about the game visually too much this time because, like, I'm not going to, you know, really pay attention to it because we're not really doing anything with the story. So everybody that's worried about, like, story spoilers and shit, we're not really going to be engaging with a lot of it. Yeah, I hope they are dumb with their attacks, because Jesus, this is going to be the first... If we lose our first Pokemon in a random battle, I'm just going to scream. I'm just going to scream and jump out the window and end up on the dirt where I belong. <laughs> All right. I do like how Eglin's best is just slightly perturbed at any given moment. I think, like, if some... Okay, I, we, we're not going to ignore faints unless it's, like, weird bullshit. Like, if if we had our first Pokemon and we, like, walked into a situation and somehow got, like, a crit and died or whatever, okay, fine, we can ignore that. But otherwise, we're sticking with it. We're sticking with it. We're hanging on to it. You know, there wasn't nearly as much thirsting over the mom in this as I thought there would be. Maybe there was. Good morning, Eglin's Best. You're my favorite brand. Oh, dude, we could turn it into, like, turbo speed on the text and everything. Oh, hot dang. Oh, there is? Oh. 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 
Okay, tech speed, yes. Skip move learning, yes, because that's fine. Send to boxes, auto, because I gotta go straight to the box. Uh, give nicknames on, yes, yes, auto saves on. Actually, do we want to have auto save on? Skip cutscenes, turn this on. Cutscenes that play during game events will be skipped. I think that'll be fine. Oh, helping functions? Ab absolutely not. I want to die. You can choose whether helping functions will be activated when you fall from a great height. Actually, I guess we can leave that on. Okay, we should... Yes. All this is good. You know, when we were doing, uh, when we were doing Signalis, I kept, I kept misremembering what Octung meant. It means warning. It doesn't mean attention. I mean, I guess it kind of, kind of can. Like, you'll see Octung in areas that are, like, we would normally see, like, attention or, like, warning or, like, a heads up. So you can see that. But still, I kept thinking Octung was, uh, uh, warning. It's not. It's attention. Or, I just got it backwards. Whatever. Maybe that's the very maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for, Eglin's Best. Get the door, would you? Yeah. Eglin's Best gets the door for you every morning while you have your hot cup of oh, fucking Folgers coffee or something, because you know if you eat an Eglin's Best, you probably drink it Folgers. Can't wait for our rival to follow it. Oh god, she's gonna be dangerous, dude. I didn't even think about that. Ugh. Do you think that I don't think that Larry Larry definitely gives off the, uh, the air of, um... I, I wouldn't normally use this, but he's definitely got, like, the Chad thing going on in the sense that I don't think Larry partakes in entertainment. I think Larry excels at his job, is amazing, and that's it. What are we doing? What did he tell me to do? Is your room upstairs? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Oh shit, I forgot about Folgers being the incest coffee. Wow, I completely forgot about that. Dude, that whole thing was nuts. What a cra what a crazy event that was, right? The weird incest coffee. Are you sure I shouldn't skip move learning early? Because, like, we can just skip it and then just add it after fights, right? Zara, do you not know about this? Oh my god. You need to go look- okay, somebody- somebody supply Zara with the, uh, the... Uh, awful original cut of that fucking Folgers, uh, commercial that is just incest. Like, oh my god. It, it's not, it's not even one of those things that's like... It's not, it's not one of those things that, like, you would look at it and be like, oh, I can see... No. Like, it's, it's weird. It is a weird commercial, and then there were nothing but, like, parodies made of it, which only made it worse. You trust yourself to remember to learn moves afterwards? Because I know I'm too dumb to remember. I normally think about that kind of stuff after, like, every few fights or whatever. So, like, kind of. I kind of trust myself for it, but I kind of don't. I don't know. That's true. Yeah, I don't want to miss any. It's a good point. A good point. Farewell, mother. It is time for me to leave the nest and begin my egglock journey. Thank you guys again for joining me on this. I really do appreciate it. You are wonderful. I was, you know what I should have done? I should have made a mask. I wonder if I still could. I know how to do it. It would only take me like two minutes. I could make a mask for my camera that turns me into an egg. And that would be interesting. It's gonna be so sad not getting booples because booples is the damn cutest thing in the world. Does an egg mean something? I don't know if egg tuber would be the best thing to call myself. Like, isn't that like a, a euphemism for something on the sexual alignment chart? Which at this point, I kind of just look at like some things like they're some of like the deeper Internet shit is like, I'm just like, whoa, I don't even know what's going on. Egg is a trans term. OK, there we go. In what way, though? Because I actually remember, I don't know all these words and things. Everything's on the sexual... Well, I was going to say the sexual alignment chart. I was going to equate it to, like, the D&D &D alignment chart, but it's way, way more robust at this point. Oh, for people who haven't realized they're trans yet, they're called eggs. Oh, okay, I, I get that. I can understand that. 
Am I gonna stream Starfield? Absolutely. Absolutely, you know it. Absolutely. The only reason I know about the egg thing, since it's not really... I can't really say it's not in my circles. We have quite a few trans people in this community, like a, a ton, actually. Which makes me very proud. I know that that's maybe, like, weird to say, but it makes me happy because that means that folks feel safe here, which is really good. And to me... I'm happy about that. Because I want people to always feel safe and shit. You not actually call someone an egg in public context? I mean, I'm considering the context of it, why would you? <laughs> why, why would you? That seems more like a like a weird like personal thing. So I don't really know how. How would somebody even call somebody else that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the hell somebody would actually even broach that in a conversation. So if you do, you may not be good enough at talking to people in the first place to even. I don't know how somebody would fuck that up. But then again, people are real dumb, man. They, they say some stupid shit. Some real dumb shit. I don't even know what I just said to her. What did I just say to her? But no, I had never I had never even heard of it. Uh, and the only reason I knew about it was because I think there's a subreddit called, like, Egg IRL or something like that, and I think it's for folks who... Uh... Eglin's best! You have to choose a Pokemon! Alright. Well, we gotta choose... We gotta, use, we gotta choose Wet Willy over... Thanks, Shadows. Just leave, I guess. That's fine. I said I wasn't gonna bitch about the graphics. I said I wasn't gonna bitch about it. I'm not gonna bitch about it. My god, I'm absolutely gonna bitch about it because I'm gonna be back on my bullshit really, uh... <laughs> back on my bullshit real quick. But I don't frequent that subreddit. It kind of pops up from time to time on the main page. Which is a very interesting way to experience Reddit these days. It's a very different, uh, very different experience than it used to be. Give in to the bitching? I can't, I really can't. It's your first, first Pokemon, Eglin's best. Oh, it's going right into the container later. I wonder when you could start trading. I would imagine, what, the first Pokemon Center? I guess. Because all this is just fluff. We don't, this is nothing here, so... Why are you like this, Wiggy? <laughs> I use humor to cope. Yeah, me too. It doesn't work out. It doesn't work out very well sometimes. So be very, be very careful using your humor to cope, especially when you're going through a dark time in your life. Sometimes it does not pan out very well. Gotta get to school first. Oh. All right. I'm scrunching. So we gotta go battle. We gotta go battle Nimona. That does mean we can just kind of like haul ass over there. We really don't have to mess around with anything. Unless you could do it like right here. No. <laughs> no. No. I should probably save just in case the game crashes because boy, we uh, we, we definitely we got to experience that uh, here and there, didn't we? Just like random, random bullshit game crashing. Has my beard already grown that much? It has, God. I haven't shaved in several days. I don't remember when the first Pokemon Center shows up, but that's... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, because school is up on the hill. Let us have a fruitful battle. Yes, the battle of fruit. I would also say, at the end of it all, I think this might be the saddest Pokemon game yet. Like, really. Uh, especially when you look at, like, most of the side stories and shit like that. They're pretty damn depressing. We'd still love to see a Pokemon game that's centered on adults, uh, but I don't know how they do it. I feel like they'd, they'd botch it. I don't think I don't think with like with Pokemon's target audience they'd ever be able to go deep enough and whatever to actually make it like compelling or whatever. Oh. Well, we, I mean, yeah, Hop gave up. Yeah, for sure. That is true. I don't know if I ever actually got to that, though, but I remember people talking about it. Did I get to that? Maybe I did. There's a Pokemon Fusion mod kicking around. Yeah, Jigakuro actually has spent a lot of time contributing to that, as a matter of fact. Why is he gay duck? What? What? Why? What did he do? What? Look at... I love the cat just walking in off camera. He's so fucking cute. That would actually be pretty funny, Jigakuro. I like that. That'd be a, that'd be a, that'd be a hoot. 
I think I think Dustin Dustin's got us cooked up on a doozy. Nobody's really picked any doozies though. I think Dustin's and Quasar's might be doozies. But there is the caveat this time that if it's if it's tanking everything and if it's falling apart after a couple days, we I reserve the right to stop. Uh, some are not doozies though. There's some there's some really there's some good picks so far actually. There's a Fords is great. Fords is gonna be a trip. I'm super looking forward to that. Uh, Presses looks like it's gonna be fun. I mean, all all of them are gonna be fun, but like yeah, some of them some of them are gonna be really fun I think. You know, I kind of agree with that, Sturg. That's actually a good way of putting that. That adds words to the way I've felt about it, actually, for a while. That I feel like if you do start to look at it through the lens of being an adult, that it's like... It kind of does just end up being a little too... Maybe a little too grim, or you start to explain things that really shouldn't need to be explained at any point. Hey, King! How you doing, buddy? And some of the dex entries are sad, but I wouldn't say they're dark. Boy, we are already getting through this tutorial, like, rapid fast over here. I was just about to say that half the deck centuries are like two-sentence horror stories. <laughs> they kind of aren't two-sentence horror stories. <laughs> did I say thanks to Ishmael earlier for the, uh, for the follow? I think I did. I hope I did anyway. If you put mom's sandwich in your bag, you're gonna fucking need it. Doing better than the other day? I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're doing good. Been a weird day for me, but some of that is uh, my fault, so that's how it do. Well, there are there are regular ass animals, though, just not in the games. That's the weird part, right? Oh, OK, Ishmael, thank you. I mean, I, is it is it Ishmael, I guess? I, I don't know or if I'm fucking that up. What if it's Ishmaeli? Look at the back of this Pokemon. It's rumored to steal your soul. And if you look under a truck, you can get Mew. Don't forget. Don't forget to get Mew. <laughs> Ghost dogs sucking life juice. Yum. I'm trying to remember if there's anything out here in this open area that really matters. I don't really think there was. I think there's like some Pokeballs and whatever. I don't know. I still thought it was really funny that Captain Walmart was like, I've known Jigakuro since like 2006. And I'm like, is that like a joke? They're like, no. And I'm like, OK, cool. Can you can you explain? And I believe their answer was no, that there was no explanation for you. <laughs> it's just like, no, no, I cannot. <laughs> it's just no. What's what's wrong with him? I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I don't I don't know. That's okay, most of my most of my friends that I've known for a long time. Which I really don't have that many of. Which uh weirdly enough was pointed out to me the other night that I like I basically have, as far as like people I've known for like a decent amount of time that are friends like in my personal life, outside of like folks I met online, I have like one. <laughs> I, have, I have like one. Uh Mainly because a lot of my friends from high school, like, were absolute assholes to me. Like, I've said before, they were they were such dickheads that, like, the four of them, they, uh, we had a band and, like, I didn't even really want to be in it, but they, like, wanted me to sing for them or whatever. And so we had, like, a MySpace page for it, because this is, like, mid-2000s. Um, and, uh, so I sang our, one of our first shows, and, uh, the dude who, like, was supposed to help do vocals with it, who was originally like the singer or whatever. Just didn't show up, so I had to do both parts. And then our like guitarist broke his finger. And so what they did is they went on like the MySpace page for the band or whatever, and they changed it all to pictures of me. Uh, lots of um, horrible slurs towards gay people implying that I was. Uh, and a lot of other bullshit. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, I guess I'm never talking to these people ever again. And I never did. And only one of them actually reached out. Uh, it was the, he was the dude that, um, uh, oh God, let me just, let me just run from this. Okay. Uh, he, so we deleted it now. I, like I deleted it or whatever. And the only reason it was actually deleted was because one of the guys who was at, he kind of took part in it, but he was like, it was originally supposed to be like a small joke. Like he reached out to me and apologized and said, not on behalf of all them, but for himself, he was like, 
I apologize. He's like, I was there when it happened. He's like, it was funny at first when it was like a small change. He's like, but then it kept going and kept going and it went too far and I really apologize, which was very, very nice of him to do that. And that was very mature of him, especially at the ripe age of like 17 or whatever we were, 16. And uh, maybe, God, maybe even younger than that. We might've been 15. But anyway, yeah, like, so he apologized and was like, I'm really sorry. He's like, and you know, like we've either rolled it back or like deleted it or whatever. They reached out and apologized. None of the other ones ever did. So I didn't talk to them anymore because they suck. That's how long ago that was, though. But those are like my high school friends. I do have one high school friend who's actually really cool. He was the only one that talked to me when I broke my leg and stuff when I was in high school. He uh, he actually came to my mom's funeral back in uh, 2000. So and I hadn't talked to him in years, um, but he got involved in some pretty crazy shit, which is why we didn't stop. Why we stopped talking because he got involved in, like drugs and stuff. And uh, was like kind of like dealing and things like that. So no, I'm just trying to get the Pokemon Center so we can start the egg log, damn it. Um, and uh, yeah, so he got involved in some pretty crazy shit. So we stopped talking. He was a cool dude. Probably reach out to him at some point. That's about where I'm at, though. So yes, that is what happened to most of my high school friends. And yes, it did take a dark turn. Yes, I need dinosaur bike first. It's not like a super sad story, by the way. I have made peace with this. This is like not a problem for me in any way. I, it's just a crazy ass story. But yeah, basically it was just them getting mad at me because like, I guess the dude was mad that I, that they wanted me to sing instead of him or something, which I even told them. I was like, well, I'm not trying to take anybody's place or anything like that. I, I can help, but I guess they didn't feel that way. Ah. I gotta stop with the heavy ass stories. I bring them up sometimes, but I do, I do them for a reason. Sometimes I feel like Maybe sometimes in my old age, I can tell these weird stories and stuff that maybe people can relate to and know that there is a way out of them sometimes. Big, big elder millennial energy, yeah. Older every day, baby. Getting, getting real old. Poor, uh, poor fucking Karidon, dude. He's so cute, though. He's honest to God, like, he's so much cuter than the Violet version. Except for his weird, like, butt sack. That thing is really strange. But he himself, that face, what a good boy. Casual Pokemon god, wash ashore. Also, Glass. I didn't get a chance to reply earlier because craziness. Uh, and all that's Yes, of course, that's fine. I, there's, that is not a problem at all. Very good, very defeated. Seriously, Karidon's the best. I thought we had cut, skip cutscenes on, but I guess we didn't. What's uh, what's up with that? What's what's up with that, dude? His love for sandwiches is good. Is the Violet version obsessed with sandwiches? I would assume so. We also have to do the sandwich creator at some point because I didn't realize how fucking terrible it is. It's so bad. I don't know why he says Agius. That's awesome, Glass. That's really cool. Shorts are a really good way to grow stuff. Oh, yeah, no, the sandwich creation is so abominable. Like, it is absolutely terrible. Like, it is so terrible. Yeah, see, when he doesn't have his inflatable butt sack, he looks awesome. Oh, Eglin's best! Yeah, that's me. I kind of want to do like a shitty British accent for all of them because I'm still stuck in like sword and shield in my brain, but we're in Spain land. Give me all the Pokeballs. I'm gonna ride up on this boy. He's gonna break that rock. Nice. Nice. This part plays like God of War. Where it just like drags you along a fucking path for like an hour. Can't really do much. Won't let you go past a certain point. Yeah, grab two trash on the way to the center. You can't trade away your last mod. That's a good point. Let's grab, let's grab Trump. Let's get him. Wait, why do we need two? Do we just need one? Wait, is his butt sack just the tail curled up? Fuck. I never noticed that. That's actually really cute. That makes total sense. I thought it was just a weird butt sack. 
the, the trees in this do look better. They do look better. Yeah. Oh, one for the starter and one for reading, reaching the center. Oh, so we'll have two Pokemon. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's a man I want to either. <laughs> well, you get him. There you go. Congratulations. We're going to catch double Trump. Yes. Perfect. Also, the first night of the egg locks a little slow normally, just just as like a warning. But if uh, so, if you if you miss like part of this or if you have to, if you're watching like the game awards or whatever, that's totally fine. It, normally, the egg lock starts to heat up on night two because that's when the sweat begins. Because the first night is kind of getting everything set up, getting the Pokemon, you know, catching all, catching trumps. So that's what you got to do. I kind of wish I went with Scarlet, but oh well. I, I I don't even really know what the what the purple one even. I don't even know what its name is, nor do I know what it does, what it looks like. That one I know has like a butt jet, which is also a little kind of terrifying when you think about it. Like, I don't know how I feel about butt jet, but it does make sense that his little scrundle sack in the back is actually his tail rolled up, and now it makes his design a lot less terrifying. And now I feel like a fool for making fun of him. I want people to I want people to watch the game awards. Like it'd, it'd probably be a good call to watch the game awards instead of the first little bit of this because there's just not a lot to offer here. Because this is mostly just setup shit. Look at him roaring away, scaring away all the boys. Miradon, and from some angles, he looks like a real penis. He's dragon zap. What is ours? He's like dragon. Flying, I think, or something like that, or some weird shit. Was he dragon flying? I think he is. We never, I never actually used Coridon in battle at all. Oh, he's fight, he punch. Okay. Seriously, this, this what's happening right here is what happens in the beginning of like the original God of War, and it kills me. This like sag dragon ass shit where like it's just dialogue and you're just trodden on through whatever and the game's just yanking you in a direction. This actually has a little bit more uh the game doesn't do that quite as much as it goes on, but god that first that first like couple hours or whatever is a lot of that. A lot of sagging and dragging. Honestly, in hindsight it may not even be that much of it, but it was enough of it to just be like, uh, this is terrible. Doom. What if he kills Quaxley and then I gotta give up? <laughs> I was like, I'm disappointed you look. Do you think Crunch Flunch there? Why does Karidon get superpowers here anyway? Oh, because he's not at like turbo full strength yet, because he has to get his mojo back or some shit. Yeah, I appreciate the Quaxley's like, nah, I gotta go, dude. I gotta leave. There's been this weird trend of people doing like, they're like, look at how much better Pokemon would be with voice acting. So they do their own voice acting and post it up on Twitter. And I'm like, oh, I watched one of them. I was like, oh God. I was like, this is not better. <laughs> I was like, this is not better. And it wasn't even that like, the voice work wasn't bad. It was something about the way the dialogue is written and then like when it's voiced is just so something. I was like, oh, geez, this is rough. <laughs> it's like, I don't like that. Maybe maybe that was the case. Maybe they were like going to record VA. They started reading their own words and they're like, oh, this sounds terrible, Tim. Delete it. Nah, man, keep old Ed Shirini Weenie in there. He's fine. I needed I needed that at the end. That was definitely worth it. Oh, yeah, the sword and shield stuff. Mm hmm. No, oh, yeah, that was really bad. Those were really rough, dude. He's used up all of his juice. And now he's dead. He'll never come. What if they just left his ass there? Like, what would happen, honestly? They just left Karidon. They're like, eh, whatever. He'd probably go off on the hunt to find sandwiches and eat people. It is his tail curled up. Oh my god. Why don't they just leave his tail unfurled? That looks so much better. Why did they do that? Holy shit, I can't believe I cannot believe I didn't notice that. Would you eat him, Imperator? I 
I don't think he's took up on Herba Mystica, though. Does the first sandwich have Herba Mystica in it? Like, by mistake? By, like, whatever? I get it's, like, because motorcycle, but, like, it still just looks weird. No chunk. I don't have time for this. <laughs> no chunk. Oh, look, it's one of the best characters in the game, and I didn't even know he was the best character in the game until whatever. Yeah, is that is that implying that the mother knows a Titan, a Titan Pokemon to have Herba Mystica? Yeah, man, he, man, he. You care about any game award spoilers? Absolutely not. I don't really consider those spoilers. That's just it's it, like I said before. I don't care about the actual like award portion of it. I just give a shit about like what gets announced because it's relevant to my job. So like. What uh, what what has been done? Bloodborne two? Do I need to go ahead and just start packing my bag? Oh, D four? That's cool. Oh yeah, I guess the professors do know. Wait, mom's not a professor though. Where is she? This squabbit ends up being a nightmare later. That thing is so dense. Look at Karidon, he's thinking about eating it. He's, he's thinking about eating it. Oh, I guess Mom there is pro- Really? I guess so, shit, I didn't know that. This is gonna be bad, we might actually die to this squabbit. Cause we've leveled up just none. Cause like, look dude, if you can lose a fight in these games, like, I'd be the one to find it, because remember what happened in Final Fantasy X? That was why we had, uh, that was why we had uh, T3PO, or whatever the hell his name was. T- What was his name? T2O? I can't even remember what his name was now. Was it Tudo? Oh, shit. I- I, see, I can't remember his name. What if we did- What if we did a run that was just, uh, that was just- What? Yeah, T2O. There you go. Because it was like a Transformers thing. Matt says he loves you. I want to tell Bitter Bits I love him because I can't. Is he, is he all right? If he's a good dude. He's great. But is he, is he good? That's a, little, that's a little out of character. <clears throat> Oh, he been drinking. <laughs> Matt, Matt can pound it sometimes, as he is, as he has reported before. All right, I see a Pokemon Center. It's almost a freedom. It's within, it's within our grasp, but the egg lock can truly begin. Get your hype dongers out, dude. We're going. We're going into egg lock land, everybody. Hope you're excited, just like our character is, who looks very, very, very defeated. I'm so excited to see what trash I get first. I can't wait. <laughs> maybe it'll actually be like, maybe this time we'll end up with a really good one. And I want to say thank you again before we get going to Jigakuro and everybody else for who has put this together. There's a shitload of people in that thread. I could sit here. I would say he's probably ringleader. Uh, we're going to go with that. But to everybody that has participated in this, I know Haritsu has. I'm sure Kombucha did. I'm sure... There's so many people who've submitted eggs and all kinds of stuff, and thank you for setting up that thing and all this stuff. Before we get going, since we're done with the preamble now, for the most part, we just gotta get through this dialogue, and we'll get to the Pokemon Center, and it should be a lot of fun. Oh, those eggs show up correctly. I just copy-pasted them from Google. Wait, what? They did. You did a good job. You wanna know a secret trick? Do you use Chrome for your, uh... Actually, it might work in Firefox, too. If you right-click in a text box, uh, if you right click in a text box and you look up towards the top, or if you hit Windows period, it'll actually open up the emoji browser and you can do it that way. So you can use emoji from the little panel that'll pop up. Hot tips and tricks. Dude, if I, well, I don't know if we get like anything. 
I'd be honestly terrified to get something really like a powerful Pokemon early, even if it's a late bloomer. I'd be terrified to get it early because I'll probably end up getting it killed. Oh shit, really? J I, I thought he did have it. Wow. That's actually shocking to hear that he doesn't have that. Um, I'm also going to make it a rule that if we encounter trainers, because uh, I'm going to kind of write up like the, the general... Well, there's really not a reason to write it up. The, the whole point of Egg Lock is we get, a new, we get a new egg every time we get to a Pokemon Center. At least one per zone. Um, and then uh, the other rule I'm going to put on myself is that if a trainer has their dialogue pop up, we have to fight them. Because traditionally, trainers will auto-engage you, which I think makes these a little bit sweatier. And the fact that they don't, I'm going to make it to where I have to fight them. So. <laughs> All in on the deck. Love my deck, too, dude. I got to uninstall WoW and shit off of it and then, like, reinstall it from scratch because it was so fucked up the first few installations of it. So I got to figure out if... Uh, figure out if Proton or any of those other things are working correctly now for it, but... I want to set up like a fully controller friendly build for Dragonflight so I can just like run around and do that. It's easy to do now because you can just set up a new talent tree and it changes your bars over so you can like switch over to your controller profile, which is really cool. Well, there's a lot of words they say. I guess I just didn't notice this before. Jesus Christ. So many words. Look at that low frame right in the back, dude. Oh my God, it's good. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to trade my trumps and just go on with my life. Just go on my life. All right, we should have... We should have everything now. So... Aha! All right, cool. So we're in, ladies and gentlemen. By a dangly of danglies. Here we go. We're doing it. You guys ready? I apparently need to add... Uh, add Jigakuro to my union circle or something like that, but I feel like that may not be pertinent right now, but we'll try that a little bit later. First trade shouldn't matter too much because it'll be a minute before we get another egg, I guess. So we need to do one for the starter and then one for... One for the starter and then one for the trump. Because all we have is starter and the first Pokemon Center. So we just have two. I think we'll get another one before we get to the school, maybe, but I think that this Pokemon Center counts for this entire zone. Joining a union, not in this USA. That's a good point. We're just gonna do six nine, six nine, six nine for all the all the things, by the way. Just gonna go with that. Oh, what Matt said was actually really nice. Oh, did I do local network? Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. You're right. Thank you for pointing that out. I forgot to go online. Yes. No. Yes. Connect to you. I can't wait to see what we got. Hope it's some good shit or it won't. Probably be a bug again. I'm very, I'm very excited to see what uh see what this what this turns into. I've been actually been actually pretty I've been pumped to do this uh I've been pumped to do this basically since we started um basically since we started Pokemon in general because I feel like this is gonna be uh something else. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a wild wacky ride. All right, so let's do we'll do Quaxley first since Jigakuro actually needs that. It's most exciting. Oh, you can't trade away your last Pokemon because you have to run around with the egg. Duh, that's what you meant. I get it now. So I was like, why? You're getting a Pokemon anyway. So like, what's the point? And then now I get it. Now I get it. Goodbye. God, imagine getting a fucking, getting your starter Pokemon and just immediately trading it for some random shit. 
<laughs> it's like giving a kid like a hundred dollars at a fair and they come back five minutes later and you're like, what did you spend your money on? They'd be like, I don't know. Like, what do you, what do you mean you don't know? They'd be like, I, I, cinnamon. Be like, what? What does that mean? They're like, sit. I went to the stall and, um, man, he, um, balloon cinnamon. You'd be like, what? 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 Like you're sat, you're sat there just trying to figure out like wh what the cinnamon, what, what the cinnamon is, what the anything is, any of it, <laughs> fucking any of it. You should give him flame body Pokemon to speed this up or not? Nah? I it should be fine. We'll just run around with Trump for a minute and talk. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. They'll hatch around the same time too, so but we're gonna put Trump in the box so that way he's not getting experience because we don't want him. Oh, we can't put him in the box because we have to have something to fight with. Shit! I just hit something with it. Never mind, we're good. We're good, everything's fine. Everything's fine, everybody relax. Oh, I mean, the flame body thing only helps like a little bit, right? Like it's only gonna be like what, like maybe, maybe like two minutes off the time. Oh, half the time. Oh. <laughs> Just don't fight things, five head. Just don't do it. All right, that's fine. Yeah, we could we could do that then if you want. We could do we'll do a flame body to Oh, you'll be left without any Pokemon that can do battle if you do that. Right. How the hell it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. We'll just run around. It's okay. We still got words of speech, I'm sure. I'm interested to see what these are gonna be. We're gonna, we're gonna hop around, jump around, juke and jive, because I'd have to go catch another one, and that's just gross. Oh, shit. Yeah, because we can't mount Coridon yet, can we? Oh, gross. When do you get that? That is weird that you can't do it for, like, even just another Pokemon. That is really strange. I wonder why. Because the likelihood of us being able to catch another Pokemon with Deuce Goose is going to be, like, absolutely impossible. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Get down. Yes. Well, it's probably the, uh, it's probably to make sure that, like, if you trade something and you get, like, a save error or some shit that, it, like, doesn't just break or whatever. I don't feel like grass density is higher in the beginning of the game. Do you think they front-loaded? <laughs> Do you think they front-loaded to make sure that this shit's, like, not terrible? So my guess for the first mon, Wiglet. Uh, dude, if it's Wiglet, we're, we're in trouble. Wiglet has the, the defense of, like, a fucking toaster strudel. Like, he's just gonna fall apart. I'm actually less worried about something having, like, B-fast attack. I'm worried about things being at least a little bit tanky. I do really think the first area looks way better than the rest. I'm sw I swear to God, they front-loaded. And this is actually fine, because we, we need to run around and probably grab all this trash off the ground anyway, so... It's all good. Or you can run around the town where it's safe. Absolutely not. Look, cause if, if Goose dies, who gives a shit? Almost every Pokemon is new to you, except a couple memes. Oh, that's even more terrifying. I don't know, we saw like a bunch of them, but maybe we didn't see, maybe we didn't see all of them. I want some ice cream. I am an adult. I will buy it with my money. It's kind of weird they have like a, the pretty pump and psychic. I didn't even notice that they were in the starting area. God. Maybe it was like the time we, the time we started playing or something like that, but. I don't think that that would have mattered. I guess the game does use like an internal like clock thing, so yeah. Huh. <laughs> Good thing you used every bug type last game. We certainly did. It was bugs forever, dude. Bugs forever. I wish uh, I can't really catch anything right now because Young Goose is my only Pokemon and he's only level 3 and we would basically just be throwing Pokeballs and hoping that he didn't die. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like Pokemon I've like never used before. Okay. I actually like Gardevoir reasonably enough too. I just hate what the internet has done to Gardevoir and it has just ruined everything for me. I just see that Pokemon and I just see weird Thirstoids out there scaring me. Weird Thirstoids frightening me to my very core. 
because it's one of those like on a different level type things than like the rest of the shit. Wow. The, what are the odds that I picked up rest right as I said the word rest? It's a funny world sometimes, isn't it? It's, this is weird. That was really weird. I said rest and then rest pops up immediately as I say I'm like, oh, I don't like I don't like when game read brain. That's weird. Yeah, see, this wasn't that bad. All right, here we go, everybody. Get your dangies ready. Yeah. First one. All right, what is it? Oh, God help me. Well, it's um also very strange that we were just talking about this. So that's uh <laughs> that's that's really that's really weird actually. <laughs> That is a very, very, very strange thing to have happen. Well, since I'm willing things in the universe, five million dollars, please, universe. Five million dollars. <laughs> Directly to my bank account. Okay, so whose Pokemon is this, or is this a rollout for Chad? God, name it Roll 34. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I, think the, I think the game heard me, for sure. This is from Ivan, okay. What's, uh, we we naming it, we just naming it Ivan then, or what are we doing? Do they have a name for it? I don't know, are we, I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it, if we're naming it after people that submitted it, or if people had, like, a specific name they wanted it for, wanted for it, or whatever. I don't even know how this damn thing evolves, dude. I don't like Glade and his weird diaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird diaper. Great. Another Pokemon with a fucking diaper. You're <laughs> fucking wonderful. He didn't leave a name, but it's uh, only one of two from him. It do be a boy Ralt, so Ivan will work until he shows up. All right, we're going to name him Ivan for now, and uh, we'll see if he wants to, uh, we'll see if he wants to change it. Uh, but that'll be, so, because we're naming it, we're naming one Pokemon. Uh, like, if someone submits an egg, like, whatever the first Pokemon they send or whatever is going to be named whatever they want, but I guess any of the subsequent... We'll be named by chat, I think. I kind of like it being named Ivan. I actually think it's pretty good. All right, here comes number two. Why is it on the floor? Why did we throw it on the floor? What the hell? What? What? Oh, no. Not the fucking pepper demon. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this little bastard. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. All right. <laughs> who's, who's this? Yep, it's the Spice Child. This is a, uh, this is Capsicid, which is a play on, uh, Capsaicin or whatever it is. This is from Sass. All right, Sass. Are we, we doing, uh, what are we naming it? What is this? What is this thing? This demon. <laughs> this demon. Which, honestly, it's not even that bad of a Pokemon, so, like, I'm not- I'm not upset about either of these. These are both actually decent. Oh, you just want me to roll this one out? Okay. Alright, we can roll this one out. Thank you, Wiggy, by the way, for gifting out a sub to Zalga. That puts us up to four subs tonight on this, uh... Albeit, really, which is going to be a very strange start to a, uh... An egglock, but that's okay. Wouldn't be an egglock if it didn't have a weird-ass start anyway. Alright, uh... Type in... Type in Spice. If, uh, if you want to name this bad boy. Put your Spice in. Put your spice in, put your spice in, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Sass, and thank you, Ivan, for sending these. Welcome Ra, to thank you for giving tonight's sub to carry. I appreciate it. Thank you for being great. Still need a WoWcraft. All right, give it about 10 more seconds on the spice. So if you got a spice, put it in. Get your spices in. Here's the little, here's the little light I was using that was trying to save me from whatever. Since apparently my, uh, since apparently my fucking, my ring light decided to kill itself. And what really sucks is those motherfuckers are like $130, dude. <laughs> they're, they're expensive. That's some fancy ass lights. But why'd you have to kill yourself, light? I ain't got the time for this. Life's chaotic enough. All right, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Coonser, what are you naming this thing? What are you naming the old Capsicum? This is a gross little grass boy. This is a nasty little grass boy we're gonna have to bond with now. <laughs> the egglock is like receiving a child in the mail and then having to take care of it. Alright, um it is. <laughs> um... I'd be lurking. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't, uh oh. My boy, my boy, my boy, mmm. Grass on wheels. Shit, I backed out. That's okay. Thank God we can redo it. Oh, grass on wheels? Uh, what is that? Five. Seven. That will not fit. I don't think. I think that's too, that's too, too large. Too, too large. And sometimes they just die. Yeah, they do. They do that. What does it become? Because I haven't played this yet. It becomes like this uh, nightmare. Imagine a pepper that has two heads and a weird grass like brontosaurus body. It's disgusting. Not even a brontosaurus body. It's just this gross. Imagine Gumby, but he has two peppers growing out of his head. There you go. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, Gumby, but two peppers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Cap Caps Lock is actually a good name. That's pretty funny. Soccer Man. Okay. I work. <laughs> uh, I like the capitalization on Soccer Man. It's like Mega Man, but you know, not. All right. We got. Okay. So we got. So we got Ivan and Soccer Man, which means we have a psychic fairy and a grass. The grass thankfully becomes, uh, the grass thankfully becomes something good later. Um, can I send you, send your ass to the box? Go home. I want you, I want you in here, young goose. You're gross. All right, now we have to be extremely careful. And again, if this is like some bullshit where we die to like a crit or something horrible, uh, then, you know, of course, we'll, we'll say, we'll, we'll do a mulligan on that. But from here on out, if these Pokemon die, that's it. Like, once we get them up to, like, I'd say, like, level two or three, again, we can call, like, a mulligan if something happens to him now. But, uh, once we do that, that's it. It is, uh, that is it. There's no, there's no fucking, there's no coming back. There's no resurrection. That's it. They are permadead. Done. The nice thing is, though, they do have Disarming Voice, which I think is an actual fairy attack. I can't remember if it's, like, a... Bullshit one or what, but I'm pretty sure it's an actual fairy attack, so that'll be good. At least they can do some damage with that. Oh, look, everybody, it's Bweasel. Oh, look, everybody, it's Bweasel. Last time, I'm pretty sure you kept your starter until you grinded your first egg up until they were, like, level 10 to replace your starter. Oh, maybe. Fuck that. I want, I want high octane. I want my eyebrows to fall off. I, I want this to be bullshit. They do birth. They do both turn into something decent. Like there's nothing. Neither of these Pokemon are bad. What type is Lechonk? He's just normal for right now, right? There's old Squinpuff over there, or whatever its name is. There's Sack. I like how Lechonk is just sleeping. I wish the game would just let me run off shit. I hate that it doesn't. Oh, there's Burb. Uh, maybe not on Burb. Uh. What was the first rule? Uh, trainers. Yes. If trainers tag me like if they yell at me and I see their text bubble I have to fight them again we're gonna we're gonna do some random fights really quick to make sure that these Pokemon don't immediately die but on the way back yep I have to fight him that is gonna have to be a thing there you go that's it okay these guys should be like pretty low level I think uh let me find <laughs> what, if, what if we just threw out an auto battle and just just crossed our fingers Oh, that's true. They can't die in an auto battle. Ha ha ha. I wonder. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, uh, that didn't that didn't go out. That didn't go very well because they're going to use level to calculate the uh, to calculate shit, which is just not going to work. Yeah, God, we have to be very, very careful with this. Oh, yeah, because the little bug, he should be pretty easy to take out. 
Uh, what about you? Please do not fight LeChunk. Please do not fight LeChunk. Don't do it. What are you doing? No! Just fight the bug. <laughs> fight the bug. What level is it? Oh, God, it's level four. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh, how about, how about I walk away? Oh, my God. No. I'm just going to fucking throw a Pokeball at it, dude. This is terrifying. There's no rules that say I can't catch a bunch of Pokeball and just shove them in a box, right? For trash later. Oh, God, there's a Palmet over there. Whatever his name is. Yes, thank God. Hallelujah. I wish you could send it to the box even when your team's not full. Oh, praise be. Okay. Guy haven't learned double team. Good. I don't care about you, Scatterbug. You disgust me. Yeah, that's true. This will actually prevent me from having to, uh, this will actually prevent me from having to catch too much trash later, which is good. I definitely, definitely do not want to, uh, I don't even know if this thing even has a bug move at the moment. It feels like it probably has, like, tackle and string shot or some shit, so... I seriously doubt it. How will I change Ivan? Wait. Like, his diaper? What? Oh, you... Uh... I see what you mean. Yeah, you can change names whenever now. I think you can even change traded monsters. That was how Gas Station was born. Yes, there's a Pokemon named Gas, Sta Gas Station that Haritsu has. And I th no, it's not Haritsu, it's uh... Who got Gas Station? Whoever the hell got Gas Station? It was funny as shit, so... Mithrilis, yes, Mithrilis has Gas Station. Which is the funniest fucking name ever. <laughs> I love that name. It's so great. Oh, that's ter that's to Taro Taro Angelo. He's actually really cute. And kind of gross. If I sit and marinate on the name, can I make a final change? Uh, if you really feel like Soccer Band is not what you would like, then yes. Yes, if you, you can absolutely change it. We're just we're just we're just catching them up right now, so they're not like in absolute dire straits to where like a battle would basically just kill them. But if you feel like you find one that's better or that you like more, then yes, absolutely, that's fine. Where, why is controller battery not like easily available? Like, I would love to just see if I can unplug this damn thing, but I'll probably do raids uh, for candy. Yeah, because I feel like that was the best way to grind in an area. But the kind of the stipulation, I think, was that, like, we didn't we didn't like over grind for areas. So, yeah, that, that was kind of what we did last time. Like, we kind of used that to catch up Pokemon who came out of eggs, because otherwise that would have been the most boring content on the planet, sitting there grinding over and over and over just to make sure that the, the lower level Pokemon got leveled up. And then inversely, what would happen is our core Pokemon would be so overpowered that because of all the grinding, they would be so overpowered that it would kind of invalidate the entire point of the run. You know what I mean? So that was why we did the raids last time was to get candy to catch shit up. Um, raids can kill you. They can. So they're a gamble. But um, raids are also weird because you like auto revive, which is like weird. So I guess you don't technically like faint and have to swap out. It's really strange. Uh, we'll figure we'll kind of some of the stuff we have to kind of figure out uh as we go um because i think we did online raids last time with you guys if i remember correctly dude i am scared to death of the palmies because i just have this feeling that they're just gonna nuke us any pokemon that has like anything like close combat and shit like that is gonna be so dangerous and i know they don't they don't get close combat until way later thankfully but i'm leaving these pokemon in our party for the time being just so we don't have to keep getting the would you like to... whatever? Oh, I guess we're getting that anyway, but... Whatever, it just feels like it's a little bit faster. I'm pretty sure we didn't count deaths and raids, but we've also started off on an even sketchier foot with this one of the whole, like... I have to, like, level up these guys to get them even remotely caught up. Happy to bear. 
Hooray! <sighs> okay. All right. So we're going to do like one more and then we're going to head out of here because all the stuff out there should be like level four or five, six ish. So we should be okay. Should. This is the operative word here. I think what was our what was what was Quaxel before we left? Was he six, seven? Can't wait to play Pokemon House Skyscraper in 2050. What? <laughs> Y'all, I was having the best time playing old Dragonflight the other night because, uh, as it turns out, one of the world quests they built like a whole new they built two new world quests that use new systems they developed. One is just Breath of the Wild, like it's an actual climbing mini game with like a fatigue meter and everything like that. It's crazy. I can't even believe somebody like made it in that game. Uh, the next is uh, just Pokemon Snap. You ride down a river and have to take pictures of fucking shit, and it's really funny. And I'm like, wow, this is uh, this is pretty crazy. I was actually surprised by those world quests. They were very fun. I was like, whoa, dude, this is entertaining. I was like, we got Breath of the Wild at home, and now we got Pokemon Snap at home. I'm gonna catch this asshole going out too. I'm just waiting for the clutch catch later that's just like, oh god, this is gonna kill me, and then catching it. But I don't think most random Pokemon are gonna be an issue, but trainer Pokemon are definitely gonna be a problem. Alright, we're gonna catch this guy, we're gonna stuff everybody in the box, and then uh, we're gonna fight our first trainer, because we have two trainer battles, I think, that we have to get through. Oh. Alright, thank god he learned confusion. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, dude, I love the chunk. He's so fucking cute. Not a big fan of his evolution, but he's real cute. All right, now we need to wish there was a quick send a box button, but there is not. Why is there not a quick send a box button? I also appreciate the poke. We have a look at all the trash we got. Hot damn, we're not gonna have to catch trash for a little bit. <laughs> I love soccer man. <laughs> God, look at him. Wait. Wait, what? I thought that was like a bug because it thought that the uh they thought I still had like eggs. All right, little baby. Oh, God, he probably has a bug, doesn't he? He tried to pull my tail at me, me my baba pooby. Okay. God, that hop up is so pissed, dude. He's coming. <sighs> In hindsight, uh, bad call here. Actually, no, we should be okay because he's, uh, what, what has more power? Confusion does. Okay. Come on, Ivan. Don't, don't die early, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And our special attack drop. That's not good. Um, uh, this is already terrifying. But disarming, disarming voice, like, they're, don't they both hit the same? Roughly? No, disarming voice would have been much more powerful. Oh my god, dude, I swear to god, if struggle bug, like, crits or something, and it just kills early. Oh, please don't hurt. Oh, thank god. <laughs> please, please do not hurt. <laughs> Revenge of the bugs. I hate you so much. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. Grass is straight up weak against Bug, yes. All right, thank God we survived our first trainer fight against an actual baby. Pokemon strong, Boogie All right, we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and, sp go ahead and spritz Ivan because this is already sweaty. So that's great. At least like uh, I like their their typing. The uh, uh, soccer man, his, his typing ends up being really good because Grass Fire is a weird one. So. There's a little pooper. I love him. He's the best. We love you, pooper. Uh, might actually be a good idea to use. Yeah, we could probably we could probably kill a couple couple things here with a uh, with old soccer man. See, his head kind of looks like a soccer ball from the back. So that's that's cool. Oh, he's also got bite. Oh, th wow. How did that hit for just nothing? 
butt plan. Got it. Damn, big one, big one, big one, everybody. <laughs> big one, big one. Oh, that's right, they're not wet yet. They're normal fairy. God, that's right. That's so stupid. What? Normal fairy? Has it always been fairy? No. Normal fairy. Hello, duck. <laughs> Hello, duck at an angle. Psyduck looks like he's fighting the way a Psyduck should. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Did not hurt. Woo! We know that, uh, we know that, well, Pooper might be, no, because Pooper's, is he poison already? I can't remember if he turns into poison when he evolves or if he's poison, like, now. Okay, there's Cinnamon Bun Dog. Not fucking with Cinnamon Bun Dog. Let's just, uh, let's just keep moseying, because I don't know if really any of this is, like, worth fighting right now. Did Fairy really not exist until X and Y? Like, actually? That's... That's kind of nuts. I feel like Fairy has been around since, like, Ruby and Sapphire, but I know it hasn't. God, Fairy is a lot, like, a lot more recent than I thought it was. It's kind of nuts, dude. Okay, I can't wait to get rid of this stupid-ass hat. Um... What was I gonna do? We could, we could kill a couple poopers. There's not that many poopers over here. Yeah, I, I know X and Y is older than I thought. I know. It, it hurts. I know that game's old. Is there anybody else, else out here that we can do the murdering? Because we've got brain, we got brain fairy. We got brain fairy and grass. So things to look out for would be like poison. Uh, fucking water. that hop it doing I'm so afraid of everything right <laughs> that's my favorite part about egglocks is like you walk around the Pokemon world and you're just terrified because you're like please don't kill me please don't kill me please don't kill me I think steel being gen 2 is like the type of well, because like steelix existed so was there some weird shit no he was steel I'm trying to remember if there was like some weird ass Pokemon that uh, don't I have to fight this baby. Oh yeah, I have to fight this baby. Okay. What about that baby has? I don't know. Let's fight him. They do say if we beat them that we'll get a cool secret. I have to defeat a Lechonk for secrets. Does the does this Ralt? I don't know the difference between all the Raltzes. I know that, uh... Oh, Chunk, please no kill. Oh, that hurts more than I thought it would. Oh, God, this is stressful. Please confuse it. Oh, thank God he tail whipped. Hallelujah. Oh, we are absolutely going to lose a Pokemon in the most infuriating way. Don't worry. It was like when we lost that Mr. Mr. Rhyme or whatever his name was in the last egg lock. That was a nightmare. I was like, come on, dude. I don't even remember what, what we lost Mr. Rhyme to. It was some bullshit. It was some bullshit that, like, I I just didn't see coming or whatever and just ate butt. And that was just the end of it. That was just the end of it. Was it a burn? I don't remember what it was. It was awful. It was something I probably could have fixed. No, no. That was the one I think that we talked about afterwards. And I was sitting there racking my fucking brain. Trying to figure out what we could have done. And I think that the play was to not use Mr. Rhyme, but there was some reason that like we couldn't not use him because like one of the other Pokemon absolutely would have gotten killed. Or something. I did. I, <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, I don't need to heal. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to look at this whole cutscene. I don't want to do this. I don't want to take part in this. They take our, our time. Yeah, I see you taking your time. You take a long time. Okay, I think there's another trainer battle going up there, so let me, let me make sure I'm not, uh, I'm not fudged. Make sure I'm not fungled going into this. Oh, there's the, the gross seeds. Hehe, <laughs> I've got two. Whoop. 
What an idiot! <laughs> this weird baby is like, hey, I've got two, two what feet, you weirdo. Oh, God damn it, not you. Not you. Ugh. Ugh. Did you what, child? What do you have? Hallelujah. That's right, tail whip. New Lords of the Fallen, Nick, your favorite. I, I'm noticing that it's a bunch of games getting announced that I don't care about. I mean, we're going to play that Lords of the Fallen because, like, maybe not. That game will be 60 fucking dollars. We'll see, we'll, see how the, we'll see how we're doing by the time that rolls around. Houndor is, like, kind of dangerous. Is he, is he dark yet? I can't remember if he's already dark. His bite could fucking annihilate my ass. Okay, so he's already dark. He's hot dark? Oh, God. Is he really already fire dark? Fuck. At least fairy works. So at least we're like half typed on that. I'm just worried that, like, Bite's gonna, like, flinch my asshole open. Oh, God, he's... Li oh, that's even worse, actually. Oh, God, dude. He is gonna hit so hard. It's a Dame, what's up? He outspeeds, and now he is gonna do a ton of fucking damage. We don't really have a lot of choices here. The only thing I can gamble on is that, like... Is Bite neutral? I guess Bite is neutral. I'm just worried about the attack power of Bite. Oh! That's good. Yeah, buff up, man. God help me. The defense is dropped, and also his attack is raised. Oh, God. The only thing I was trying to think of, maybe, is, like, just double-team it. Like, because I was going to... If I... Ah, shit, I should have done that. Uh... This kid is sweaty. What a sweaty child. What a sweaty child. This is already so terrifying. Well, what I'm saying is if I if I double-teamed twice, maybe I could... We're just going to go for it. Just cross your fingers, everybody. Just, just cross your fingers. Cause, oh, my God. Please don't kill us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh my god. That hound door was terrifying, dude. Oh, because if he'd used a physical move, we were in big trouble. Because he buffed his attack and he fucking debuffed our defense. So that would have been really bad. Hallelujah, the ember is not physical. Because if he had just spammed like bite or something like that, it would have probably killed us. I think it's got bite. I'm pretty sure they have bite that early. Maybe they don't, though. I could be wrong. I'm gonna try to stick to the path in a lot of cases because I found that last time most of the items were really not worth picking up. And if you're doing the gems and you... I'm not touching that thing this time because it was obviously irrelevant last time anyway. You just checked. It doesn't learn bite till 16. Look at this weirdo. Okay, we gotta... Oh, right. There's the new, like, quick heal button. This is gonna be, like... Some of the weird quality of life here is gonna make this a lot... Head into school. <laughs> Wanna to talk to an adult man? Got time to battle a fella like me? Hmm. He used words like fella. Probably not a good call. He is the janitor, though. Most of the time, janitors are cool, unless you're trying to kill... I don't even know what that thing is. Like, we saw this, like, five times, I'm pretty sure, and I'm still not sure what the fuck that thing is. Okay, it's obviously, like... Poison or something, I guess, because that didn't no no yawning, dude. You fought a lot more wild Pokemon at the time when death wasn't on the line. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? He's pure filth? He's the glizzy guzzler. Well, look, I'm doing the trainer. I'm just going to go ahead and let Kayla in because he's just going to start tonight. Come on. 
You're in here now. You get shut in here. He's like, I'm in here for the egg lock. I brought one. Get it. Hey. That. Wing ding. What a wing ding. What is that? Is that pooper? No, it's not pooper. That's uh, mother. Hey. It's not pooping. So, so any cable that has fabric on it, he loves to munch. I don't know why. He won't mess with anything else, though. Are auto... Are auto battles, like, is that... What do we, what do we, what is our opinion on that? I, I don't want to say, like, if an auto battle goes south, we lose, because... I just feel like that's going to be a nightmare. Because, uh... Hey! I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. He loves chewing on, like, fabric cables. No. Kale, I normally don't spritz you. But I'm finna. You finna get spritz? Oh, okay. Well, for the sake of uh, for the sake of speed or sanity, I guess. Oh, good. This is going well. Ivan, Ivan is having uh, trouble. Oh my God! Thank God that we decided that it's not gonna fucking count or whatever, because Jesus. Wait, can we not heal him? What? Oh, there we go. Maybe Soccer Man could do it. This is, uh, this is poor. It's a poor, poor decision across the board, so... I think the best thing to do is just to fight them directly, because there's just more experience with it anyway. Hey, XP candy, thank god. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll pass on that, because I, I don't really want to... I really don't want to do... The, I, I don't really like the auto battle thing anyway. I think it's neat, but it's not anything that I'm like, I gotta have it or else whatever because it wasn't so helpful last time and it's mainly good for uh farming up pokemon skin is the uh we got that we got the big the big fight with what's her poop coming up um which we will absolutely get just stuffed into the ground if that happens I think, I don't, I can't remember if they actually can die. I feel like maybe they can. That LeChonk is level 7. Like, that is a big, big LeChonk. Oh, thank God it crit. But if they crit me, I'm probably dead. Okay, please kill it. Please, oh my God, come on. He's a heckin' chonk, he is. All right. Well, no, I'm running to the end of the zone, so that way we can actually fight things that are a little sweaty and level up faster. This kill level seven is definitely going to give us more XP than like a four. Are those chunks? Pretty dangerous. But hey, man, we got potions. So it's okay. I probably at least want these guys to be like level like 12 or something, because I think we only get our first... We only get two Pokemon before... Uh, we only get two Pokemon, I think, before that fight with What's-Her-Face, right? Oh, we can go to the center for Egg? Oh, shit. I thought we had to do the trainer fight first. Well, that's cool. Look at this clump of Hoppips, dude. You can get there if you have like, I have to run away from the door. Oh, God, that Hoppip is big. Oh! Oh, the crit! This is a bad, bad situation. I can't remember what the lowest, uh, lowest gym is. I have no idea. Okay, but at least it's confused. We have that going for us, so that's nice. Maybe we won't be crit this time. Hang in there, Ivan. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes! Hallelujah! Why are the chonks so sweaty? Like, why are they sweat? Oh god. Well, that thing's uh, that thing's critting pretty, pretty frequently, so I'm really proud of it. Good for it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. Mmm. Please kill this. Oh god. Uh. Egg. 
because it's like, what? It's got its stupid... I could probably bite. I just feel like they're not going to kill Soccer Man, because at least Soccer Man's defense isn't doo-dooed on. But if they use... I think if I just heal again and then attack, we should be okay. Because I don't think I don't think it can one-shot us with anything it has. So I'm just afraid that it would do some weird bullshit and just kill me. I don't know. That was not a crit, and that still hurt pretty bad. But we should be okay to take it out here. Cause we oh good. Man, that was. Uh, I'm glad I healed up because well maybe if we had just. Yeah, we probably could have just attacked. It would have been fine. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's, let's heal again. All right. The hop ips, uh, not feeling it because they are pretty chunky. At least those are. We'd have to fight some of the lower level, lower level hop ups. It's actually been pretty, like, pretty strange from, like, a type advantage perspective here. Because we fight Tiny Bug over there, he wouldn't be that bad. There's also Literal Squirrel, which has all the HP. Well, I don't even know if it gets all the HP until later. What a serene first first area while we just struggle to live. Oh, there's Pichu. Pichu probably won't do much. Yeah, let's fight Pichu. Also, isn't worth shit for experience. Look at that there, Pichu. Good, another level 8. Perfect. That's fantastic. Hmm. Right, because... Great. Great. Before this turns it, you know what? We should be okay. Why not massacre the waters by the river with Soccer Man? Probably pretty cool. Do a little massacre. Damn it, I knew this shit was coming with a fucking can't move because paralyzed. Ugh. What do you think, Shiny? Hey! Huh? Eating like two of these I don't know. I don't know what your deal is with these. Oh my god. <laughs> I look away for two seconds and now I'm confused. Great. Are you allowed to run from wild battles? Because you used to run. We should be okay. We're not okay. Hallelujah. Okay, thank God. And now uh, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center, go heal up, and then we can go. We can go do some water massacre. That might be a might be a good call. It just seemed like the watery area. We did have uh, the Merrills were over there, and since we're not super effective against them, it seemed like a bad call. But if we could go down to like the beach. Oh, no, I don't think you can get to the beach yet. But we can definitely fight the Psyducks and stuff. Yeah, I see you. I know you want crunchy, delicious... Crunchy, delicious fabric cable. I, I know what you want. I see you. Gonna kill the weasels and ducks. Gonna kill all of them, yeah, yeah. Good old, good old Ivan and Soccer Man. I don't need to lock on. Thank you, though. Can I turn off tutorials? They're still going. That's a Pokemon game. They're never gonna. They're never gonna stop with that shit. You could. You could have eight. Oh, you're gonna eat that one now too. That one doesn't even have fabric on it. Right, hang on. Let me just move all this shit. Because otherwise, you. Alright, some more cables for you. They're all gone. Well, he doesn't normally he doesn't normally munch on the regular ones, so. Oh yeah, like I said, is the, the help option is just for the cliffs, right? There is no turn off tutorials. My brain like said that we turned off tutorials, but that was not real and it didn't happen. Just gaslit myself. Hey look! Carp. Oh, I guess the big reason is because, like, I can't engage half of these assholes. So let's go find, uh, let's go find that other stream, because there's this one up here. There we go, there's some duck. He wants to expand his palette. He's trapped in here, and he's surprisingly okay with that, which is weird. I'm going to be half paying attention the rest of the night, because I have no attention span. Just assume if you happen to get any other Pokemon SN that I don't have planned names, so name them, whatever. I'm good. Thank you, Fairy. I'm sorry. It's ass. 
Yes! Big criticals everywhere. I pay so much attention to this little cat, he definitely does not need more attention, that's for sure. He gets all the attention. Oh, I guess we could beat up, uh, oh, no, because he's dirt poison, so I can't really do that. What level are, uh, what level are dump trucks, uh, Pokemon? What's her name? The battle, dump truck battle. She's like, here I come, and just unloads, like, an entire thing of Pokeballs all over you, and you're like, please, I didn't mean to run, shit. Fuck. No, go back. Weasel's so confused. He's like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, that is true. I guess Pooper would be weak to brain. He sure was weak to brain. We found that out last time. Boy, boy howdy. I think we were doing the one of the things and like... Oh, yeah, because we can't... We can't terrestrialize our Pokemon yet, right? Yeah, I guess not. Wow, that's weird. I don't, even remember what, I don't even remember what level that fucking thing evolves. <laughs> what level Soccer Band evolves? I remember it being like, what, 20-something? Because that'll be nice. Having Grass Fire is going to be wonderful, so that'll be great. Can we remove Hat yet? I don't think you can remove Hat until after school. Oh, Soccer Man needs Firestone. Oh, shit. It's okay. We naturally came across a Firestone last time, and I think they're, they're purchasable, too, so... That's good. Give me the purchase. I found out uh, recently, by the way, every single complaint we had about Candies to Bebe, um, that was a. Uh, <laughs> it was actually addressed in a patch note. I couldn't believe it. Everything from the double Sebadors to the uh, to the cursor memory to all kinds of stuff. They even they even lowered some of the health of the late game bosses because they had too much health apparently. I was like, damn, dude. I think Candice might have watched. I didn't mean to leave. Armored Core, isn't that neat? Is it made by the is it made by the Zaki team? I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Stop leering. God damn it. Uh. I actually do think the candy's watched, yes. Great, now I'm fucking confused. Just said FromSoft. Oh, it just says FromSoft or whatever. I mean, I know... I know what Armored Core is. I'm very well aware of what it is. I'm saying, like, is it being made by the Wacky Zacky team, or is it being made by, like, another group at FromSoft or something? That was more my question. I'm assuming they did not say. I would be interested to see what the Wacky Zacky team does with it. I would hope it has the Moonlight Great Sword. That's pretty cool, though. Incoming, incoming all the, uh, incoming all the folks who have been the biggest Armored Core fans forever and always loved it when they didn't it ever. <laughs> Which there are a lot of people who like Armored Core, but I'm right. You know the people I'm talking about. With like the Soulzoids who have never touched it, they'll be like, I actually was always a fan of Armored Core. It's like, yeah, where are you? Oh, look, Hypnosis. That could save us from whatever. I played two Armored Core games and I hated them because they are cool at first. And then I realized that they are just kind of a shit show after that. It just turns into some of the ugliest environments I've ever seen, and numbers on top of numbers on top of numbers on top of numbers. But it is it is an interesting game nonetheless. But yes, they, they, the environments and everything have never been much to look at. It's always been definitely focused on like the mechs themselves and the battles and shit, which is fine. I just never particularly liked it. Hypnosis is really good for helping us catch Pokemon. I was thinking more like, oopsie poopsie, let me put this thing to sleep so we can get a fucking breather to try to live. Or if it's like something that's really terrifying, like we can at least like sleep it and then figure out what to do. It's cool though. Yeah, that's, that's neat. That's probably what needs to happen at this point, because if I had heard like another Elden Ring 2 or some shit, I'd be like, oh my god. I'm actually kind of surprised they haven't done anything with a, they didn't just like announce like a big DLC for it. But, again, I'm okay with Elden Ring not getting DLC, personally. 
I did enjoy the Ace Combat games to some degree. Yeah. Alright, we're getting to the point where a lot of this is not super impactful on the levels, but... We might need to head to the higher level stuff. Yeah, I was cracking up because I saw some gifts get, like, thrown up on Reddit and fucking the Elden Ring shit. I'm like, yep, this is going exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> Scummy bullshit builds everywhere. <laughs> Absolute dog shit as far as the eye can see. They announced another Horizon game? Oh my god. That's crazy. Holy shit. That feels like that just happened. It did. It just came out this year. They're already working on the next one. Oh, it's a DLC. Okay. Oh, good God, dude. They're just cranking them now. It's exclusively for PSVR 2. Is that really what the new PSVR is called? PSVR 2? I don't know anything about Horizon, though. I, I bounced off the first one, so that's cool, though. All the stuff that people are excited about, man, I'm, I'm super happy for them. That's great. I haven't heard anything that I'm like, oh, hell yeah, yet, but that's just me. That's just me. They got some Nintendo name, and if it's PSVR 2, what's next? PSVR XL? I'm sorry, Protag. I'm so sorry. I love Psyduck, too. He's a sweet boy. How is she in two places at the same time? Scary. Very scary. He's waiting up by the gate for us, too, menacingly. She technically isn't actually up there in the game, though, so, like, I can't really say that's that's a thing that's happening. One's a ditto. What if she is a ditto, though? Did you know that you can crouch and throw your balls? That's such a shitty, like, mechanic in this one. Like, nobody cares about that. Like, getting, like, a jump start in a battle, like, a r random battle. Like, I wish it was, like, the Arceus system that was just like, oh, here, hide there and throw the Pokeball. You'll probably catch it. Well, that was awesome. There were some neat things that Arceus did, and I was like, yeah, I hope they bring that, bring this back. They didn't. They didn't. They just were like, you want to fight them regularly again? It's like, yeah. They're like, we got auto battles. I'm like, cool, what can I do with that? They're like, no. Nothing. You can grind out, you can grind out Pokescan, and you're like, yes. Finally. My own skin. Okay, if I, if I juke and jive up there, we can get a new egg. And I kind of want another egg, which is going to be weird because we don't really have any candy, but it would be good to have them on the back burner just in case. So let's, uh, we'll go tag this, which we're now here. And having some nice battle. Oh, those dudes, we can actually get their rewards because we'll probably be fighting most of the trainers. It's going to be weird because we're going to be sticking to the road a lot. Shout out to Gary up there still. He did announce some open world MMOR, uh, MMO survival game, which didn't sound great. That's a little weird. I know, I know Blizzard's working on their big, massive open world survival game multiplayer thing, whatever the hell that is. They apparently hired a shitload of people for it recently, so. Oh, it's a Horizon thing. Interesting. All right, we'll do the old 6969. Nine. Thank you guys again for everybody who facilitated this. Thank you, Jacob Crow, for hanging out with all the eggs and all that stuff. You guys are great. And while we wait, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on this stream, we have gotten five resubs and one follow. So thank you guys so much for all that. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you for the follow. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for being a friend. Apparently there's a Final Fantasy 16 uh, thing, so that's cool. Remember Yoshi P, uh, Yoshi P getting all kinds of shit on Twitter about something. I can't remember what it was, though. We mad at him about something? I don't know. I had to see the Armored Core reveal. Cannot wait. That's awesome. I'm so excited for you guys. I'll probably end up playing it. I just, uh, and I would imagine now is probably the best time for them to do Armored Core, considering that the name from software will be, like, everyone will buy it. Soulzoids will be all over it. Um... Like, so that's, that's good. We got a team's meeting in 15, so I'm gonna grab coffee and mentally prepare myself to be a professional admin person. I'm proud of you, coffee. Hang in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got another egg.
Oh boy. Good moot shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Thank you, Chigakuro. <laughs> I appreciate it. Also, prepare for like 8,000 YouTube videos on retrospective and Armored Core lore and all this stuff and like everything you need to know about the Armored Core franchise, yada yada. Oh god, the world's gotten too predictable. Alright, so let's uh, let's move this over here. And you know it's gonna be done by YouTubers that like, whatever. Physically unlikely this is also from Saz. Wait, like actually? Wow, that's uh, that's surprising. Oh, what do you, you mean, Fennec, by that, do you mean that you can't wait for, like, the weird level of gatekeeping that comes from original Armored Core fans in regards to all the new people playing it, because they're going to be all crazy and shit? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, does it show what ball it was caught in, even just the egg? Oh, I guess it would, yeah, because of the transfer thing. Interesting. Yeah, get ready for the get ready for the droves of bullshit. I'm gonna try to avoid that trainer for right now until the Zag hatches. Oh, I'm sure tons of people are gonna play it thinking it's Mech Souls. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I don't have to ride on right now. You get him you get him at the school or whatever, because then he does his thing and he ride on him and he's like, yeah. Yeah. How Randy's quest predicted new armor core game confirms plot of DLC. Yes. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Take that chunk. We're in a little bit better place than we were earlier. Like we're gaining, we're gaining some stats. We're doing good. We're hanging in there. Those first few levels were pretty, pretty sweaty. We're all right. We're gonna be okay. I love just seeing egg. Just egg. Gotta get to school before I open up the game. I'm probably gonna do things in like the correct fuck. In like the correct order. Cause uh I think it'd be a really bad idea to go out of order with this. Just due to like level discrepancies and getting just absolutely smushed. Which the goal is to do the, the goal is to do the team the team star or whatever Pokemon League. I don't think we'll do the Titans. What the fuck? That Shinx is probably going to kill me. Why do I feel like that's going to kill me? Yeah, and that's that's true. If we if we win out of order, then we go back and just smash the shit out of other stuff and it's irrelevant. No longer is a challenge, but that's what I'm trying to avoid the most of. I don't want things to end up being like an absolute fucking just dunk where we just w walk in, just annihilate stuff and then leave because that's not going to be very fun to watch. Maybe my Pokemon's level isn't too high enough. Beat up those little chunks. You'll be just fine. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we have to we have to do the Titans, I guess. You're right. Oh boy, everybody, here we go. It's another egg. Get you get your danglies out. We might be doing a we might be doing a rollout on this one, I guess, if this is another one of Sasses. Oh my god, it's the mouses! Well hot damn! It's old Tandy Mouse. La familia. <laughs> Alright. Uh so this is you said this was Sasses, right? Are we, are we rolling these out? Look at these cute little guys. They are very cute. I actually really wanted to use a Candy Mouse and Mouse Hold and all that shit uh, last time, but we didn't. Okay, so it was Sasses. So type in, uh, type in Mouse, M-O-U-S-E, if you want to name the mouses. Yeah, so if she already said that she was good with it, then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and go ahead and do Sass and Frass would be a pretty good name for them. Good old Sassafras. Or Sassafras, I guess, because, you know, the two of them hanging out. Two of them hanging out, having a good time. I don't care about my seasonal saving. Is that a Dead Mal 5? Is this one Dead Mal 2? Yes. All right, we're rolling this out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. 
Protag! What's your name in it? Rigged! <laughs> Exhibiting great teamwork, they use their incisors to cut pieces out of any material that might be useful for a nest. Really terrifying, actually. <laughs> Corn bros? Look. Okay, I don't think I can fit corn brothers, but I think I can fit. I can definitely fit corn bros. <laughs> Does the corn bros work? <laughs> Actually, corn brothers might fit. Uh, because there's five after that. No, I think it's one character too long. It would be like corn brother. Can't even subbed, rigged, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Corn Brothers would fit if it was all one word. Do you want Corn Brothers, all one word, or do you want Corn Bros? You want Corn Bros? All right, cool. There they are. It's the Corn, it's the corn Bros, everybody. I, I hope they're good. I don't even know if the Mouse House is good. I have, I have no clue. I don't think I, I haven't seen anything from them outside of uh, that one move they have that can hit like 10 times and does like a ton of damage even when it's like not very effective or some shit. That's all I know. I want to know the lore of Corn Brothers too. Where the hell did that even come from? That feels like a deep, it feels like a deep pull. The Corn Bros. Oh, we did get a, uh... God damn, these little chunks. The beefy. Side beam would probably go a long way. Ooh, daddy -o. Works better if they have their hidden ability. Oh, what the hell is that? What the, what the hell is that? I'm probably gonna drop a, uh, probably gonna drop the excess on them. Just to catch them up a little bit more. It's not gonna be a lot. But that way they can at least, that way they can at least get something going on. Why are they holding a potion? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what? Oh, there's a uh, Bonsley or whatever the hell his name is, which he's what? He's rock, I think. He's rock, but I think he sucks grass, doesn't he? It's pretty cute if they picked up a potion, but like, that's very kind of you, little thing. Oh, shit, I haven't, I haven't needed to heal. I didn't even think about that. Oh, loud. I'm gonna grab the potion here in a second. That's gonna get really tedious having to like pull it. Oh my god, paralysis dude. Bane of my existence. Oh, that's really cool. I forgot they have synchronize. That's really interesting. Technician, which boosts the power of moves that have 60 BP or less. And yeah, they get that uh, potion from their pickup ability. Okay. Put away held item. Take, take it away from the corn bros. I'm gonna get everybody like up to around like 10 ish. Because I feel like if we can get there, that'll be okay. Um, we'll probably be okay otherwise. I just I just worry that like they're gonna have a nasty hit that comes in. Because I think they have two Pokemon. It's gonna be the starter, which is fire, which is not gonna be good against uh, old, uh, old Soccer Man. So well, that's really cool. Hey Ajax, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to this. How's your day going? Hope it's good. That's the mess with the genocide ability. Oh yeah, because he has uh yeah, what is it, like apartment collapse or some shit? Party foul, uh apartment bomb. Power to the players. I, I can't remember what it's called. But yes. Population bomb, there you go. You know what? All of mine are pretty terrible, but that's even worse actually when you think about it. They're like, look, it's a bomb that can eradicate the entire population. They're like, great, that's really fun. That's really fun. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Please don't paralyze me. <laughs> please, please don't paralyze me. The kid just dedicated an award to Bill Clinton and then got escorted off the stage, so I'm so confused. Oh, it might be because of uh, the Clinton administration and they're like weird, like anti video game shit. Maybe. 
Kind of like the Reagan administration was like big anti-video game. It's the only thing I can think that would have anything to do with Bill Clinton and video games. Despite Hillary at some point being like Pokemon go to the polls or some shit. Because I think she was involved in that board with Resident of Evil Creek. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think she was on the, the Resident of Evil Creek committee. The hop ifs, while they are relatively weak, seem like they are just a pain in the ass to churn through, so... I'm gonna kind of avoid that. What a cool poke! Shit! Ah, shit. That's okay, I don't really want them to do any Silk Song news. I just want them to just release it when it's ready. Aw, oh, damn, girl, it's Toodle. Forgot what he is, too. What is Toodle? He's like rock dick. He's dead is what it is. He's, he's dead is what it is. Idiot. What's up, Deceiver? How you doing? Yeah, I think she was part of the whole, like, Resident Evils. I'm pretty sure. Hey, hey, look, we... Okay, so to catch everybody up on the rules, if you're just now joining us, this is the first night of an egg lock, which is probably the quietest night. It's pretty calm for the most part. Nothing too crazy happens, but... Um, the gist of it so far, we are receiving eggs from community members, which are facilitated by Jigakuro, who is piping them all into me. Uh, they will be named... The first Pokemon sent, if somebody sent multiple eggs, will be named by the person who sent it. All the others will be rolled out from the looks of it. I think that's probably fine. Do it that way. Um, unless there's, like, something specific or whatever. Uh, and then... Um, on top of all of that, uh, what else? If a Pokemon dies, that's it. It's over. It's done. There it is. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. So we get a new egg at every Pokemon Center. It's really not too super complicated, but it is real sweaty and it gets real nasty at some point. We actually almost lost a Pokemon earlier because I'm, I probably should have done something, but look, it got a little, it got a little scary there for a minute, but everything ended up being okay. Everything's fine. Hey, Simla. Any Pokemon with a pickup ability, which are level 21 or higher, have a 1% chance to get leftovers after battle. That's really neat, Ajax. I actually didn't know that. I know we were talking about it a second ago, but I didn't know there was like a thing for it. Oh, right. He's dark, isn't he? Shit. Mm, it'll probably be okay. I don't think I need to swap for this, because... Yeah, we're fine. Fire? I believe it's dark. Oh, nice. Ajax, you big Pokemon person or nah? I don't remember if you are or not. Normal poison, weak to brain. Right. I'm glad I, I'm glad I remember the types from the things I literally fought like two minutes ago. You think we could probably go up against that trainer? Probably. I don't know if that's gonna trigger the gate cutscene. I'm real scared that it's going to. Wait, you're leaving Deceiver? Dang. Thank you for being here for a little bit. It was good to see you. Egg team member and reporting for duty. What's up? Welcome to this. Oh, you work tomorrow? All right, buddy. Have a good night. Is Rook D dark yet? How did they not fix that? I thought there was a big bug fix thing. Like, how did they not fix the camera? That's awful. Ugh. You swap and poke a bio bike for an egg? Uh, you can't swap him. Kangaroo. Gotta keep him. I think he's just fly and, uh... I don't know if he actually turned... Because he's, what, dark, like... What is he at the end of it? Because he becomes Corviknight. What is he, like, dark flying or, like, flying steel or something like that? I don't know. Steel, that's what it is. Yeah, so it's steel. Okay, steel flying. I always think he's dark because of his coloring, but he's not. That's the other burb I'm thinking of. That's the other burb. So far, we have our team of Ivan, because this was sent by Ivan. And Ivan was not here, so we just named it Ivan. We can rename it if he wants to later. Uh, Soccer Man, which was named by Coonzer, which is a pepper demon. We also have the Corn Bros, uh, which was <laughs> sent by Sass, named by uh, Protag. And it is a very, very beautiful name. It's a very, very beautiful name. Right, let's talk to this guy and get our, get our freebies. I saw the evolution of the Electric Burb. I actually like him, too. I think he's pretty cool. Okay, I am going to attempt to fight what's-her-name. 
I think we're good. This is the first, like, she's gonna have, she's gonna have the, she's gonna have a Fua Coco, and she's gonna have whatever that other fucking Pokemon that she has, and I cannot remember what it is. Uh, I think she's only got two. We haven't had anybody die yet, Dustin. We've only got three. We've got the Corn Bros, Soccer Man, and Ivan. We're trying our best. But we should be okay. Here we go, everybody. Get your dangles ready, because this might be this might be the first the first end. So I wanted to do most of the trainers and at least get these guys close to like level 10 ish, and then we got that, so let's let's move on. How's the Pokemon Center look like it sells kebabs? It's probably because they do. And once again. Oh yeah! Eglin's best is our name, by the way. Ooh, yeah, we should do a uh, we should do a, a point thingy. Yeah, we should do a prediction. Uh, die. Who die? Or die? Die? Question mark. De Will lose a Pokemon? Question mark. Yes. No. All right, you got two minutes to vote on this. There's a good chance to burn your points. Go do it. Uh. Oh, I got it, Jigga Girl. It's okay, because we're waiting anyway, so it's fine. Thank you, though. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, our name is our name is Eglin's Best, because that is a brand of eggs in the United States. I don't know if it is anywhere else, but it is here. But thank you guys again for your resubs and stuff tonight. We've had five resubs. We also got a new follower tonight, which is really cool. So thank you all for being awesome. And uh, don't forget to do your prediction thingy to win some fake points, because I'm sure we'll be doing some media streams again here soon. Look forward to that. Gamba! Yes! I do like the new ticker up top that it actually like scrolls when this is happening instead of just covering it up. We had some, some gift sub, gift sub land going on tonight, dude. Wiggy, Wiggy and Zaris are tied for first. Steve's right behind them. Pump's right behind them. Zelda's right behind them. And a gift sub be kind of weak. Also got a pretty heated, heated thing going on the bit board up there. We got Andy, Zaris, and who is that? Arranged. The range is in the thread. This is this is gonna be sweaty because I, I just have a feel. Well, it depends on like what what she ends up doing specifically. If she does like dumbass decisions, it'll be fine. If she just goes straight attacks, it's gonna be really really sketchy. But we're starting. We're starting with Ivan because uh, Soccer Man would get obliterated by uh, their Fuwa Coco, I'm sure. Go, oh, Ivan! You weird little disgusting creature. All right, get your bets in. All oh, as soon as as soon as, they, as soon as that closes, I'm gonna do the first thing here. Oh God, this is gonna be interesting. Is Coco, what, does he have his secondary typing yet, or is he just fire for right now? Is she a kill a kill bro tag? <laughs> yes. Definitely. You bet against the odds? All right, well, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, fire's res- Oh. Oh, no. Okay. If they leer too hard, and- Because I don't know, like, how- Their so big hit's going to be Ember, probably. Which leer won't really matter for that. The best we can do is probably confuse him. It does matter for tackle, but as long as they stick to tackle. It was round. I don't even know what that is. What is that? What is that? What is that? Welcome to Bitter Bits. Is it normal? I should probably just attack because we outspeed, but I'm worried it has, like, quick attack or some bullshit, but I don't think it does. Oh, thank God. Welcome oh, to Jesus. Bennett, thank you for the resub, buddy. And thank you, Annie of Fairy, for the resubs. That puts us up to, what, six? Seven resubs for the night. Thank you guys again. Okay, uh, what is it asking me? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, if we want to change. Uh... Well, it's not over yet. Um, Pommy. So I guess they don't get their fighting until later, I don't think. Come on, Ivan. It's time for Soccer Man to go in there. Whose back of his head does look like a soccer ball, kind of, which was totally and completely planned. You're legit, Eglin's best. 
God, get a screenshot of that and just tweet it. Eglin's best. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, all right. Great. This is where I find out that Eglin's best has committed some weird atrocity regarding, uh, you know, literally anything. So. Welcome to Bitter Wiggy, thank you for the three subs. Put us up to ten. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Welcome, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the Game Awards stuff. It was, uh, I did not watch it. I don't really care about the Game Awards part. I do care about the announcements, and everybody was keeping me up to date here, so it was all good. All right, because she terrestrializes this, which is good because we have resistance to that because of, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be all right. We got COVID. God, I hope you feel better soon, Honor. Keep me, uh, keep me up to date if you can on that, because, yeah. I know you deal with some other health bullshit, too, so... Ha ha ha! Soccer man don't give a fuck. Tear size and gives a real boost. <laughs> I love it. She's like, it gives a real boost even when it's not very effective. And it's like, yeah. Did it? Did, did it? Did it do a good job? Ooh, Coco was the dangerous one though, for sure. That was the that was the big one. That was the one I was worried about the most. Looks like we made it, everybody. We can pay that out. Why is the hype train that might start? Don't do that though. No, no. Yeah, I know you normally have to put up with some other bullshit on her, so please keep me up to date on that. Let me know how you feel and stuff. You lost your shed. The shed. It's gone. Somebody came with a trailer and just took it away. Who the hell's Flute Man? Look at you, it's amazing. Oh shit, you can't terrestrialize, can you? What a loser. Loser. Oh, those revives are the most useless Welcome thing we could bitterness. possibly have, dude. We'll start a hype train. That's a fizzler. Don't do it. Not now. Bad time. 11 o'clock hype train. Pack it up. They are money in the bank. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's true. Because we can sell revives. Max revives sell pretty well, too. You did it, here we go, and here we are. Yeah, no, I normally, I normally don't watch award shows because I don't give a rat's ass what random thing Welcome says about, like, if game was good. Pretty, pretty well tuned into what games suck and aren't suck. For the most part, anyway. Welcome Inferno, thank you for the resub. Zarus, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. You didn't have to do that. Thank you for taking the number one spot on the bit board. And by bit board, I mean gift board. Andy retaining his number one spot on the bitboard. Terrifyingly so. The umbrellas look at Mario Sunshine. Yeah, they look good, dude. <laughs> Everything in this game looks so good. Y'all have to point out like any notable items that I missed, because I don't really remember like any of them, as I do with most open world games. I can't really remember any of that shit. So if there's something like we're passing that we might need for a Pokemon or whatever, it's like, oh hey, there's a free firestone right there or some shit. Just let me know. There was a trailer for Lords of the Fallen. I will uh I will, I will figure that out. What the hell, you have number two on the bit board? I have no idea, Zara. We're allowed to have quiet weeks. It's okay. Apparently the Game of the Year award was interrupted. Mr. Keegley just tweeted out, don't worry, he has been arrested. Was that the, was that the Bill Clinton dude? Because somebody mentioned that, and the only thing I can think of is that, like, the dude brought up Bill Clinton because of, like, Something? I don't know. The only thing I could think of was like the only relation built. Oh, I'm gonna tear. Okay, I've already done. We've done this. We've been down this road. I've seen this. It's terrible. Like the game looks awful. We know this. I just gotta keep going. Does this count as a new Pokemon Center or no? Probably no, right? Because it's in the city. The game tags of the apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, God. Y'all are ridiculous. Thank you, Ajax, for the $5 and bits as well. I really appreciate it, man. Hope you've been doing good. Hope you've been hanging in there. I know you're always busy with work and stuff. New egg, new egg, new egg. You guys excited for a new egg? Fourth Pokemon? Most of our early leveling was just throwing Pokeballs at shit, uh, hoping that we catched it catched it caught it because uh yeah we needed we, we were gonna need trash anyway so 
figured out. I figured that was the thing. So get your get your hypey dingies out. We got a hype train going. I gotta start standing up and dancing for hype trains, right? Isn't that what people do these days? I will probably never do that, just because I'll never forget that time somebody got really pissed off that somebody donated during a stream because it was annoying, and uh, they said dance monkey dance because I thanked them for it, and I was like, wow. I've been streaming a long time though, so like this is that was a long time ago. That was like what 2015, I think. I'll never forget dance monkey dance man. He was so mad. He, he was so upset. I like my Pokemon revived and a meatball sub. I'd be great, dude. That'd be great. All right, we're gonna send Trump over. I wanted to catch nothing but Trumps just so I could overload Jigakuro's box with his little Trumps. You just had to deal with that. Just look at their stupid ass faces. I know Zaurus, it's okay. But thank you to everybody who's contributed to the hype train. I appreciate it. Well, that's not you, that's H3, whatever. What if I just, oh, hang on a second. Offer the, hang on. Oh shit, I should have hit yet. Yeah, I should have hit no. What I should have done is just traded it. Been like, here you go. This is what you want. This is what you get. A meatball sub was the only thing you could think of. A first shiny was Trump. Oh God. <laughs> what if we found another shiny Shinx? Do you think that would be perfect? If I bring him go to a meatball sub, it'd probably go to like a hoagie or something like that or some shit, even though I don't even eat that. So like, that's weird. All right, another egg, everybody. I guess we should at some point get a Pokemon that has hot bod, but it really doesn't matter. These don't take very long anyway. Thank you guys again for the hype train. Y'all are the best. Thank you for supporting this little stream. Keeping us going all these years. Every little bit helps and y'all are amazing. Thank you for being a friend. It's like the Golden Girls, but I'm not nearly as cool. <laughs> I'm just not nearly as cool. Thank you, Dusk. Did we do the payout on the uh, the thing? Oh, we didn't. I think I need to do it. Shit. Do we know? Do we know who this egg is? This one's a Premier Ball. Oh. Will we lose a Pokemon? The answer was indeed no. Hype train concluded with 12 gifted subs and 900 bits. Thank you guys for being great. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for being Wonderpotamus. What could that mean if it's in a pre Premier Ball? What could it mean? All right, we're just gonna book it straight up to the school because I don't think there's really anything else to do here except for maybe buy clothes, but we don't really have a lot of disposable moon. So I guess it's not a good idea. Where are we? <laughs> what, what what am I doing? It means somebody liked their Pokemon enough to give them a fancy ball. Or it means all they had when they caught it was a... Wait a minute. How does the egg have a ball if they're never caught? There's a star fight on the way there. Oh. Don't tell me. Let's hatch this egg first, at least. See what it is. So that way I can get XP. They inherit the ball from their mother. Same. If somebody posted this thing about, uh... It was in regards to sexual dimorphism. And, uh, it was showing the differences between, like, pelvis types. And I was cracking up because it was interesting. Uh, and they used this steel ball to represent, like, a baby's head that would come through the pelvis. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, here you go, you know, whatever, it comes to this side, blah, blah, blah. Just showing, like, the interesting differences in, like, physiology. And I could not stop laughing at it, and I, I might have to find the fucking gif. Because the way the goddamn steel ball that represents the baby goes back inside the pelvis had me rolling. And I don't know why it was so damn funny to me, but, like, why? <laughs> Watching a steel ball come out of a pelvis and then get sucked back in. I was like, oh, oh shit, there it goes. Oh, fuck, it's back. I have to go dig. I don't know, it was on the front page of Reddit earlier. I don't know if anybody else saw it, but I could probably go dig it up. But, uh, God, it was, it was certainly something laughing at that stupid steel ball. Like, I was like, oh, there it goes. It's back in. 
I don't know why, the premier balls and all this other shit, or the balls being inherited by the mother was like... I, I was like, yeah, it's like that steel ball for her here. <laughs> Sucking it right back in, it's like, oh god. Like, it sucks it back in, like that dude who hoiped hot dogs. Was there a pose for the... the thing before? We also had to take down the green screen because unfortunately one of my my Ogato ring light, which I use for my side light, that went out. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, the cord appears to be fine because I tried it on something else and it's just not working. And I was like, great. I was like the most the most irritatingly expensive version of those. I will probably not buy another one of those, though. I'll probably just get a small supplementary light to replace it because I'm not I'm not buying another ring light. If, if that one's dead, I'm not buying another one. You ever see the bear versus pro man eat man hot dog eating contest? I, I haven't. If that dude out eats a bear, that's amazing. That sounds like something you should hang on to and bookmark for like a media night, because that sounds incredible. Did she use the glow sticks? Yes. That's, that sounds like a good idea too. Videos how is it from the ni oh, 90s were weird, dude. Can eggs even hatch in towns? I feel like they probably can. That would be really stupid. Can we just appreciate We're going to run around over here for a minute to appreciate low low frame rate jump child. Yeah, that's right. Low frame rate jump child. You have a good day. <laughs> you, have, you have a good day. Use Christmas tree? What, to light up? I still haven't even gotten our Christmas tree. I've been I've been an utter failure in my in my preparation for Christmas. In so many ways. God, Poppin Man looking so good. Look at him. We get uh, that's the best part too, is while we're running eggs around, we get to really appreciate this. And it's so nice. It's so nice to just take in the sights and sounds of Pokemon Scarlet. The other reason I wanted to do this is so like it felt like we actually got our money's worth out of the game too, because I feel like by doing the egg lock it at least uh we get to do it again. And it's like a different type of thing, and it's real weird and chaos. Chaos would be the best way to describe it. But I am trying to, I'm trying not to grind out too much because I really want it to be like on level. This egg is definitely more steps than the others. I don't know why. Maybe it's extra fancy. Can you like pre cook an egg before sending it? That would be interesting. It'd also be very difficult because you could accidentally uh accidentally hatch it. Oh, you can cook it? Those might have been cooked a little bit. Chat must have sat on those eggs a little bit. That's it, Ezgorilla. Yes, it is fucking... The f I don't know why, but the damn ball, like, popping back in is so fucking funny to me. <laughs> like, it just going right back in. I'm like, damn, there it goes, dude. Oh, no. Okay, so maybe we should do maybe we should do a Pokemon with hot body. Yeah, fuck the outside, I want back in. Like that ball sucking back in is so funny. Love that shit. Uh well we already have we already have a Ralts, so it's not gonna be a Ralts. That was from Ivan. So to recap our Pokemon, we have a Ralts from Ivan who is named Ivan. Until Ivan wants to change it or just wants to keep it as Ivan. Um, we also have Soccer Man, who is a Capsaicin or Cap Kid or whatever the fuck its name is. Uh, the one that turns into a Pepper Demon. Good typing, though. We got grass and fire coverage on that, which is nice. I don't know if they're actually a very good Pokemon on their own. Like, I don't know if they're, like, special attack and all that stuff is good, or their physical attack, whatever the hell they are. Is the egg in the party? Y'all? Look away from the screen. Look away from the screen. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. Just turn around. Every now and again, I get a little bit lonely. You never come around. There you go. Just don't look at this. It's fine. Cool. Thanks again. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for all the stuff. Let's talk about something else really quick here. Thanks for uh, being supportive of the stream. Y'all are great. Thank you for being amazing. Great. Watch a hatch in like 10, se ten steps. Is Pacha Pachirisu is the worst. They're so gross. 
It's a gross, gross Pikachu knockoff. There's okay Pikachu. Yo, is that, uh, is that, they dabbing? Oh, no, I thought they were dabbing. Oh. They might have been. There's a lot of weird references in this. From a distance, she... Why are you tiki yourself? You didn't name the mice Cold Socks. That would have been really funny, though. Cold, cold Socks, but I also like Corn Bros. Corn Bros is really good. Distraction, Clinton Kid apparently wasn't even part of the team accepting the award, but snuck on stage from the aisle and stood in the back and no one noticed. That's... That's pretty good. Why... Why Bill Clinton? Why that? <laughs> is, is there any explanation? Because <laughs> I feel like there's more questions than answers with this one. Oh, he was hurtling down this rabbit hole, and apparently the kid's been arrested, was on InfoWars, was wearing Yeezys. Oh, shit. Oh, he's deep. Well, good. He got up there, and he made his stance, said something about Bill Clinton, and got pulled off the stage. So I hope he accomplished his goal. Good for him. You have arrived from the advertisement zone. Yes, another reason I really not a big fan of the Game Awards. I'm cool with the trailers, but like, yeah. I like the Soothe Bell. Good. Oh, I thought he just said some shit about Bill Clinton and left. I was like, okay, that's even more confusing. So it sounds like he was on, he was on some fucking rant. On some fucking, like, whatever. It's some probably racist rant. He said, like, 12 words. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I think you can go to the Deli Bird store and buy a Firestone now, like, already? Wow. To his rabbi, Bill Clinton. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the only thing I... Well, I mean, what would they... What would... Hey! All right, here we go. <laughs> that is true, yeah. We've, we'd rock... Oh, my God. The bug jam is first, isn't it? Oh, jeez. This is from Janny? Ah. Uh, Is that the one that turns into the the one that's like really gross? Poison water? Pokemon wanders around the seaside looking for food. It's disgusting. <laughs> no, no. It, the what's the one that's uh no, I'm thinking of a different Pokemon. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So um Oh yeah, I hope I hope they accomplished what they wanted to accomplish. So good for them. Good for them and their weird fucking bullshit being an idiot. Uh That is a good question though. I mean, detained, but like yeah, I don't know what they'd arrest him for other than like public disturbance or some shit. Or trespassing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, if you want to name this, oh, wait, hang on. Does Janny have a name? This egg was a tested hatch. Janny ensured it has a great ability in nature. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Janny. I appreciate that. That's very kind. That's very kind. I'm very excited. Very sweet. I guess we'll just name it Janny for the time. Oh, no, there we go. Dangle Spike? Perfect. Good, good name, Dangle Spike. This thing looks like it could be pretty, uh, pretty monstrous. It's a poison Pokemon, which I always love having a, always love having a poison, mo poison mon around. I love our team. <laughs> I love, our, I love our team. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ivan, Soccer Man, Corn Bros, and Dangle Spike. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's their, uh, what's their thing that we're looking at here? 
like a poison sting, peck, bite, and then they've got merciless. The Pokemon's attacks become critical hits if the target is poisoned. That's actually pretty cool. Does it work for, uh, I'm assuming they can learn toxic. Does it work for toxic? Then a toxic is like slightly different. That's, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty insane. That means you can tag with toxic and then just like blow them up with whatever the hell else. Especially if you can get like a uh, liquidation or whatever. I don't know if they're a physical attacker though. I wasn't paying attention. That'll be, that'll be really good for, uh, several things, actually, now that I think about it. Oh yeah, we can actually change our, uh, outfit, I think. Right? It's Spec Shack. At the Spec Shack, it's a little spec place where we can spec... Or half rim glasses. Oh god. Alright, whatever, if I can figure it out later. I'm not doing a bucket hat again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. Alright, well, we're going into, uh, we're going into another battle with Team Poop or whatever. I kind of want to give the Corn Bros their debut, but I'm also a little bit worried about the Corn Bros. They just don't have anything, like, good yet to even do any damage. They got Baby Doll Eyes, Pound, Helping Hands. Hmm. They might, they might be all right. The typings on, uh, I'm trying to remember what the typings are on the... Team Star bullshit. It's probably safest to just keep Ivan going or Soccer Man. Soccer Man would probably do okay too. I do want I do want the Corn Bros to get their debut soon. Oh, that's great, Axel. That's really cool. Silence, Wedge. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I feel like we haven't. I just want to be happy. Had we heard that since October? I don't actually know if that happened at all in November, did it? It had to have. There's no way it didn't. Thank you, Wiggy, for the $15, but have you considered Bucket Hat? No. <laughs> no, not this time. I had to stare at that awful Bucket Hat so much. Like if you're skipping the dialogue too quick and they're trying to advance forward and it's like bleh, just like stutters a little bit, having a hard time. God, I'm thinking about some of these team star fights. These are gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so Schroeder right now is poison bitch. Right? Yeah, he's poison bitch right now, but we should be fine on Soccer Man to just bite him. That is true, we do have the corn bros, so we should be fine. Yeah, look at that, we're good. Just spam bite. It's all it's all good. Thank you, Wiggy. Y'all give Wiggy some love in chat. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you actually for our uh Oh no, that's not our first one. Never mind. My brain. My brain doesn't work sometimes. I don't know what that puts us up to either, because I wasn't keeping track of that. But regardless, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. You're the bomb. Team Star, ironically enough, ends up being a pretty good team. They're uh their whole story is kind of sad. Ugh. But she just ran in and just started punching everybody in the face, and you're like, oh, that doesn't seem to be... That doesn't seem to be the way to do it. But all right. Yeah, we got the Terra Orb, dude. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what spicy Terra's into be interesting if it's fire. I don't think it is, though. I think it's probably grass. It'd be interesting if it was fire, though. Just become, just become the Omega Spice. If you guys are here for the story, I'm sorry. We will not be paying attention to that, like, at all. Uh, we have the entire first playthrough up on YouTube, if you actually want to go check that out and watch the story junk. Yeah, the story it's probably has some of the better stories that Pokemon games have actually had in recent years, so... I'm not terrestrializing this. Are you kidding? This theme's pretty good, actually. I'm trying to pay attention to the music this time because I feel like there was a few. There's a few tracks that were just kind of weird. And... I'll tell you what, though, the music that's in the caves and stuff like that—that that one's solid. Not the caves, the uh, the like the end game stuff. Angle Spike learned Wild Guard. Perfect. 
We got a lot of dialogue coming up. I'm so sorry. We got to go into the damn whatever. Do we have to do the Titans too? And that's going to be tricky. But the Titans could easily kill some of our Pokemon unless we like go in there with a specific type advantage. The first Titan is Cloth, and he's Big Rock, so we could do. Uh, um, Soccer Man should be pretty good. Pretty good against that. Because The Last of Us has to... The Last of Us is like the new Skyrim. It's just going to be on everything. And they're going to remake it ten times. Also, if it hadn't been... And I'm going to say this, and I know I'm right. Don't you dare tell me I'm wrong. If, if Dark Souls had never happened, nobody would give a fucking shit about Armored Core 4. You know that shit's true. Other than the people who played it originally, nobody would care. Like, FromSoft's, like, notoriety of their name now will drive a ton of new people to that franchise. I'm very excited it's happening. I'm not a big Armored Core, Armored Core fan, but... I'm sorry, Armored Core 5, whatever the fuck it is. Armored Core 82. Whatever. The new Armored Core game. Yeah, I figured it was it was the gym, then Cloth, then Grass Gym. Grass Gym's gonna be weird unless, uh... I guess it won't be too bad. Shut your whore mouth. You know I'm not fucking wrong. Nobody would care. We had this. We had this exact same conversation about. Uh, we had this exact same conversation about like how weirdly expensive some old FromSoft games uh, became, and also how like any of their older titles, even the ones that weren't weren't worked on by Wacky Zacky, ended up being like weird cult kind of hits with people now, and it's only because of Dark Souls. Like nobody played those games. <laughs> no, nobody talked about him. Nobody played him. Me and my buddy played Armored Core. I played two of them. Uh, he was a big fan of them, but like they were never visually interesting enough for me to really get into them. They turned into like systems on top of systems on top of systems on top of systems. So like I kind of just checked out. But I'm very happy for people, and I'll probably play. I'll probably play the new one. Well, there's several people in chat who care about Armored Core because we actually like a like this this community as a group has played quite a few games growing up right like not a lot of folks either just started playing video games like in the past like five years or whatever like there's a lot of people who've been playing games for a long time so naturally I would expect most of you to either care or at least acknowledge Armored Core um whereas like what I'm talking about is people who like People who are like maybe in their late teens, early 20s, who they don't fucking know what Armored Core is. Like, the, the Armored Core has been irrelevant for so long now. There's no way that like anybody gives a shit. But what I'm saying is people will give a shit now because um, just because of the notoriety of FromSoft's name. So, yeah, if that makes if that if that makes sense, that's not me poo pooing on anything. I'm just saying like that in particular will drive people to look at it just because Armored Core hasn't really done much in a long time either, so. But I think, yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it's, I think it's great that they're, uh, they're doing it. We've been talking about it for a long time, so that's gonna be really neat, and I will probably play it myself. Maybe it'll have some nice, like, quality of life stuff and be more visually intriguing and whatnot. That child over there just like, he's just excited to stare at a pot. I'm very happy for him. Dark Souls was a niche game, so was Demon Souls. I remember my friend had a copy of Demon Souls, and I hated it. But then, like, two years later, I played it again and fucking loved it. <laughs> or about a year. Uh, no, it was, like, two years later. I don't think the fans of AC from the beginning are any better than people who got into it because of the company's other games. Because of the company's other games, they should get along. I didn't. Well, I didn't. Is that just, like, a statement on its own? Because I didn't say anything like that. I was just saying that, like, I made a joke earlier about how there's going to be a ton of YouTube videos and shit out there of, like, I am the greatest legend who ever Ar Armor Core forever, and I played it for... They never did. Like, it's not it's not what I'm implying, though. Like, it's there's going to be weird gatekeeping like there always is. There's going to be, like, that weird entrance of new fans into franchise that already existed, but people didn't even know it existed because whatever. It's more of a, it's more of a heads up to people who are really excited for it. Just be prepared for, like, weird kind of 
bullshit because that happens with a lot of stuff like that where it just ends up being like uh Dude, Metal Wolf Chaos was, like, not even, like, it's funny for a little bit, and then it's just kind of, like, a boring game. <laughs> like, it's just a boring game. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, Dark Souls players, not allowed to play Armor Core. But yeah, it's gonna be neat, man. It'll be neat to see what, uh, what happens with that. The Hades 2 looks cool, but I... I liked Hades. I actually think Hades is a great game. I just... The story gets a little heavy sometimes, where I just feel like I'm just swimming in seas of dialogue forever. Whoever it was, thank you to that person again. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Cherry. Now you can truly save the universe. You should see what you can find, but don't make me explore the Academy anymore. Look at Hades nuts. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jesus. Also, I didn't even check earlier. We covered up too much of the battle bullshit with the cam. Do I need to move stuff around? I can. It's, it's not a big deal. So just let me know if we need to. I, th I think we should be fine where we're at because I think it just covers up some moves. Oh, I forgot about the guy reading the piece of paper over here for like six months who's like, I love Pokemon. Yeah. That does kind of look like Santa in his younger years, but then like he lost his job at like the factory and he had to start like stealing presents and gift them out to children. And it's like weird vigilanteism. <laughs> look at the woman who's cosplaying as Dangle Stamp. She sure is. She sure is. Doing big cosplay as Dangle Stabs. <sighs> Saying words. Who was the lady in the back with the jeans who's made out of jeans? I can't even remember who that was. Oh, is it about beating up Crumbo because he a hit kid? Mm. YouTuber I watched from uh, False Swipe Gaming. He does competitive Pokemon stuff. He dropped a video called Top 5 Charizards, and it's like, yeah, we do just have that many Charizards. There are a lot of Charizards. The faces my character makes are so weird because we chose like this weird frowny face. It's kind of like a smile, but like we did like this like kind of furrowed brow a little bit like, oh, fuck. I think I'll page my ass to the director's office like the day I get here. Dragging me all over this academy like it's something to do. And every time I read that, where do you want to go? All I can hear is the guy from Skyrim being like, where do you want to go? I'll climb in back and we'll head off. Well, she's somber because she's staring at whatever the egg is, and she's like, I hope it's not a bug. But we haven't even gotten a bug yet. We've got weirdo dangle stabs. we got mouse. House. we got corn, the corn bros. we got Pepper Man. Pepper Man, who went, like, right in the box last time. I was like, wow, that's a really cool evolution. Bye. Yeah, no bugs yet. Can you imagine this run if all the Pokemon were randomized? I'm sure that exists. I didn't know they showed her at all, actually. What if it's at any point obvious that she's a robot during all this? Probably. You don't really see her that much, anyway. Why would you attempt to lie? I don't know, because video game? There he is! The boy! Oh my god, there's so much dialogue in this part. Is there a land tentacle in this one, or is that a fever dream? There's absolutely a tentacle with feet, and it's disgusting. Which means, yes, my name is Eglin's best. <laughs> Did you not hear that earlier? 
<laughs> yep, our name is Eglin's Best. She's just chilling underground, being a robot and shit. Yeah, because he knows. What, I think he's pretty much well aware of what's happening this entire time. Pretty well aware. So what's everybody big excite as far as games that are coming out? I know people are excited about Armored Core. There's some people excited about Hades. Oh my god. You got an ad for Wheel of Fortune? Oh, never mind. I thought you said you got an ad for Wheel of Fortune. I was like, that might be the strangest thing I could have ever imagined to be as an ad for whatever. Oh, does, did Death Strandito 2 get a thing? That's cool. Wait, I thought they were also working on... I think he's working on two games at once. Oh, God. What a nightmare. Isn't he working on the one with whatever her face is? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I'm saying the Kojima games are pretty heavy, crazy, wild, whatever's. Like, that's, uh... That's nuts. I never did play Death Strandito. I guess I need to. Seems like it's time for a good bit. Oh, that's true, yeah. I guess that makes sense. They would have grown a lot. Since Dark Souls 1. Days quick. How many days, like, actually arrive? Like, it feels like you're here for a while before, like, you actually leave. Yeah, just got a little vacuum cleaner just sucking up Konami people. Wish they could have sucked up everybody from the old Team Silent. But I think the old Team Silent is all like working on like mobile games and shit now. I really don't think most of them are doing anything relevant to anything ever. You know, good usage of a good usage of a dev team there. Are the class is supposed to take place before you head out on your treasure hunt. I, I guess so. That's good, Roto. I'm pretty excited about it too. I'm mostly just avoiding shit about it though, because I don't. I know they don't watch like trailers and shit. I like to just enjoy it, uh, enjoy it like as it is, because I feel like that's a uh, that's its own thing, you know. Hey, Fresno, how you doing? Welcome, gang, that came in with the Fresno. Hope you guys are. Uh, hope you guys are doing good. We just started our egg lock tonight, which is uh, a permadeath Pokemon challenge thing. I'm assuming you guys are watching the watching the thingy ding. I did not watch it, but people were filling me in the entire time because I can't I can't deal with like the people in between like game announcements. And I also don't give a rat's ass who says what about what video game. <laughs> so I don't give a shit. I did hear some dude got arrested or something, which is hilarious about Bill Clinton, which is yeah. Yeah, the announcements all sound cool, but yeah, I normally don't watch those just because like, God, I, I can't I can't tolerate like the weirdness in between like, here's a video game. Here's another video game. And another video game, and I'm like, cool. But then they're just like, oh, here, you want to fucking, do you want to come up here and accept your award for like best best soundtrack in a dumpster? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you for the raid. I hope you, uh, I hope you guys had fun watching. All the armored core people, you guys are gonna get new new armored core. We were just talking about that, and um, also thank you by the way, Fresno. Before I, uh, before I go before I go off on a go off on my tangent. We were just talking about the interesting, uh, the interesting things that happen anytime a series, a series that exists within a company, gets a sequel or a new game after like another game blew up. As I said, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see. Um... Sorry, my brain, my brain just like shut off there as I try to do the thing. If you guys don't go follow Old Fresno, then make sure you do. Make sure you do. He does great shit. Lots of fun. Lots of fun times to be had. Um. Yeah, we were talking about how it's going to be interesting after uh, Dark Souls success and the Souls series in general, what like Armored Core is going to look like and the, the intense amount of gatekeeping that's going to happen to that franchise for the people that are true fans. And also the uh, just the, just the insanity that ensues anytime something like that happens, because like because I'm not a big Armored Core fan, because like I just never found them that interesting. They're really cool, but I just never got like super into them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting for the Armored Core fans to have to deal with that shit. <laughs> the, like, weird gatekeeping and people flying in from other successful franchise. You know how it is. You know how it is.
But yeah, for anybody who's not aware of what an egg lock is, this is basically a community-driven event by folks in the community that have sent me eggs. And we have to use the Pokemon in those eggs. They will name the Pokemon in those eggs. Sometimes chat will name them. It depends on what it is. Uh, we are not focusing on the story at all, so I'll be skipping, like, all dialogue and all bullshit like that. We already have a playthrough of this up. If you do bang pods, you can go watch that if you want. Um, we've already done, like, our proper playthrough of it. This is strictly a permadeath egg-based Pokemon run, and it is, uh... It's already been a little sweaty. We'll see how stressful it gets as time goes on, though, because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. Go good so far, Sergeant. We've got a pretty eclectic team. We've got, a, uh, we've got Corn Bros, which is a Tandy Mouse. We've got a Cap Kid, or whatever the hell his name was, uh, whose name is just Soccer Man. There's also a Ralts named Ivan. That was who sent it. And, uh, we just got our fourth Pokemon, which is, what was it, Dangle Spikes? We have not gotten to use yet. Who is a... Starts with an M. I can't remember what their name is, but we'll show we'll show the team off here in a second. Also, it's good to see everybody that came from the raid. I hope you're all doing good. Hope you're doing good. It'll be pretty, pretty interesting since AC has its own uh, pretty splintered fandom because of the real uh, the real stylistic differences between entries. I can see that. Marini, there you go. That's their name. Anything you're excited about, Fresno? From the the stuff. I heard about uh, a child or something like running up on stage and saying some shit about Bill Clinton being a rabbi and then like getting taken off stage, and that's about it. <laughs> that's that's all I really heard outside of the announcements. I thought you were a big Armored Core person. You're not excited about that? I thought you were big, big Armored Core. That wasn't you. Who do we know that's big? Who do we, who do we know that's big Armored Core? Damn sure ain't Eli. I know it's not Dragon. Who the fuck is big ass armored core? Well, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's like right there in like the corner of my brain. We know somebody with big turbo armored core. I'm more like armored boar. Am I right? God. I will. I will probably play the new one, but I'm not a. Uh, I, I have not been turbo ultra mega fan. Oh yeah, the yeah the Metroidvania thing. I haven't seen that yet, but that does look good. Um, I'll tell you what, though, and if you haven't seen it yet, something you might be excited about, uh, if you have not kept up with it, was a game called Chained Echoes. We saw it a few months ago, and it did come out today, I think. Um, very, like, Chrono Trigger, kind of, like, Final Fantasy VI-ish inspired. Uh, looks really good, and I definitely want to play that. It's on Steam right now. Uh, it's called Chained Echoes. I don't know if you've seen that, though, but it looks really good. Like, really good. I need, to, I, I need to pick up a copy. But I have to decide on whether or not I'm going to stream it, because it's probably about a 30 to 60 hour experience from what some folks were uh, estimating, or at least when the developers are estimating. And uh, don't know if that would be like big ass stream poison land or what, but it looks really good. Like really good. <laughs> so I watched the AC trailer, saw Meg stand up covered in ash. I giggled a lot. What if it had pulled out a bonfire and just thrown it down the ground and then sat down and rested? Yeah, it's on sale. It's like 20 bucks, I think. So that's something I'm excited to pick up, but I might pick it up here in a little bit and decide if I want to stream it or not, or if it's something I'll just play on my own, which I don't do very often, but if I do it, that'd probably be a good one to putz around in. The only reason I'm worried about a, another Metroidvania is because of Metroidvania fatigue. And I think that's actually probably what's one of those things that's going to hurt Ghost Song, uh, or probably already has, is just people being fatigued on that genre in general. But, uh, yeah, I'm, um, it should be cool. Let me see what it looks like. Visuals are pretty important for Metroidvania stuff for me. Lost my mind, full on brain melt, armored souls. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, so yeah, we have Soccer Man, who's our gross little pepper boy. We've got the Corn Bros, who are the mouses. Corn Bros is going to be a little interesting once they evolve, though, because aren't there four of them in the evolution? We'll have to change it to Corn Fam. Uh, then we got Ivan, then we got Dangle Spike, which again, we have not used Dangle Spike yet, but apparently they're pretty damn good because they their ability is when they poison something, they like auto crit, which is pretty damn ridiculous. Like that is uh, that's kind of nuts. Team Green. 
We have different uniforms, right? Do I have a uniform that doesn't look like shit? I mean, we, we ran autumn uniform last time because that was just what do. Uh, do we have the other shoes? Hey, those are also, like, really gross. All of this is gross. <laughs> All of this is just gross. <laughs> Put the helmet on, dude. i take a hat over that. Oh, hey, I guess we do have the glasses. All right, great. We're going to go with this because that's better. Yes. I... I don't want to involve Soccer Man just yet because I feel like Soccer Man would be kind of busted being like a fire grass going into the next area. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to like steamroll anything. Oh wait, can you do no hat? I thought you had to have a hat on in this. Wait, how do you... You just automatically pet Karidon? I didn't even know that. I didn't even know. Oh, there's just a remove button. Shit, look at that. Look at that. All right, hot dang. Yes, we're playing as a grill this time because we had our our buoy last time who looked like a nightmare. Oh, interesting, Axel. That's cool. Yeah, I did see like early on. I remember a couple people were saying you couldn't remove your hat, which I thought was really weird. Oh, this is Victory Road. This is not where I want to be. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Even though technically, I guess we could get a new Pokemon if we went. Nope, not doing it because we're going to end up dying and it's just not going to happen. And also, if we run into a trainer, the other the other rule is since in this one, uh, as far as trainers go, you can't. Uh, trainers don't just like vacuum into you anymore. And. Uh, but what we're doing is we're making it so that if we get engaged by a trainer, like if they say anything to us, we have to fight him. Just keep going west. Don't talk to me. Dude, the amount of dialogue. My god. I didn't even notice it when we were first going through this. Like, holy shit. There's so much dialogue in this part. Nah, we'll get a new Pokemon uh, soon. Well, if the if the trainer's out there, that means we have to fight him. Like, if, if they if they contact, we have to go in there. That's why I don't want to have that happen. Erg, so careless. I don't remember what any of these people have out here. Still, uh, still figuring out what I want to do with uh, that girl's eyes are unfortunate because they're like forty feet apart. It's poor, poor thing. Oh shit, soccer man, you're not gonna do very good against this, are you? Mm, you might be all right if you just bite. I think you'd probably be okay. I doubt. I doubt Scatterbug has that much going on. And besides, it flinched anyway. Well, like I said earlier, Sergeant, if they somehow, if they somehow siphon half of the excitement and the passion that they dumped into Dragonflight into Diablo 4, then it should be pretty damn good. I don't really remember what Drifloon is. What is he? He's like poison or something. I think he's just like poison flying or ghost or some, I don't know, dark maybe. I have no idea. I have no idea, which means if it's ghost, ghost flying. What you're telling me is just leave it out and just bite, right? Just over and over forever. That's what you're telling me. Oh, flying's a terrible choice with this. Oh God. I hope it doesn't have a strong flying move. I don't think it will. Oh my god, welcome to the land of flinch, dude. They bite the shit out of that balloon, dude. Why the ghost bird? It doesn't have wings. It's got flappy doodles. Like our title is just Noah the student. Like that's it. That's her title. She's just a student. She's gonna really suck once she graduates, because she'll still be a student forever with the title like that. There's a ghost, uh there's a ghosty raid. Oh, a shiny, a shiny fucking uh, hippie baby. Interesting. Not ever what I wanted ever, but. All right. This is like the second time that's happened where like. We ended up in a situation where. 
Like just random ass shinies just show up. I almost feel like it's like guaranteed around this portion of the game. I'm gonna catch it for chat. I just don't wanna I just don't wanna get killed by it. Do you think Bite will kill it? Bite will probably kill it. We could switch to I could probably just fucking I could probably just catch it. Most of these like whatever. How has this happened to me thrice? That's a really good fucking question. I don't know how this keeps happening. Okay, yeah, he's he only has like grassy bullshit. Uh, I just hope Bite won't kill it, but the fact that it used Absorb actually makes me feel a little bit better. I just don't want it to like crit and kill it. I don't think it will. If it does, oh well, it's just a hop it. Nobody likes this Pokemon. Mm, I don't think it's gonna be a bonus egg. I'm just gonna open up trade and just trade it to whoever wins, and then you guys can have the shiny. I don't care. I don't. I don't give a shit about shiny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> no, I don't, let's not. Uh, as much as fun as that sounds, let's not do shinies as a bonus egg. I don't want to like throw a wrench in the system here, uh, for whatever it was. So, does Hoppip even change in anything like good? It always makes me think I've like run past like 80 different shiny Pokemon because of that thing's existence. All right. Uh, oh, wait. I'll just heal him there. Uh, all right, cool. So, the hell was that? Uh, just flew past the screen like a demon. <laughs> it's like an absolute demon. All right, so what we'll do is we will... Uh, let's do... Uh, we'll just type, type in hop if you want to... Uh, be entered into the role for this so that we can just give away the shiny to whoever wins this. I have so much internal conflict. What about uh, shiny hop? If you want you a shiny hop, type in hop in chat. It's not case sensitive. <laughs> I, no, I, see, I see your deliberation in Discord there, Dustin. Nintendo Plus? I can't remember the name of it either. What is it called? Like Nintendo Power or some shit? It's called something like that. Alright, we're gonna roll it out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rolling it. All night. Congratulations, you're getting a hop pip. I think it is I think it is just like Nintendo Online or something like that, yeah. Something something along those lines. Uh, for the link trade, just do six nine six nine six nine, and uh, we'll do that. Uh, just three sets of the sixty nine. Oh man, <laughs> Nintendo, fuck you, give me money. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're fine. Take your time. It's all good. While you're doing that, I think I'm gonna go grab and get some, uh, go grab some, some water. So I'll be right back.
Oh, all right. <clears throat> There's a chance to get any egg you want. Don't do that. No, you can just send me. You can just send me some refuse to to throw towards Jigakuro to get another egg here whenever we get the next Pokemon Center. Because we're not very far away from the next one, so otherwise I'd be like, yeah, we can do a bonus egg. But it's so early that there's no need to. There's no need to do that. Pretty good, Ryle. That's a lot of a. Uh, that's a lot of pasta. The entire the entire pantheon of pasta. Piece of cookie. Should have, should have grabbed more cookie. Got Taco Bell before the uh, before the stream, and it was terrible. Like genuinely awful. Why are we calling that Jigakuro Shroom? What's his deal? No, it actually wasn't wrong. It just sucked. Actually, the burrito might have had meat in it. I don't even know. It was so smashed and beaten up, and I ate it like five hours after getting it, so... I don't know. Could have been mixed in there. Kind of looked like it, but like kind of not. I I don't even know. I just stopped eating it halfway through, and I was like, I don't even fucking care, dude. I was like, today's been such a shit show that like... <laughs> I was like, whatever. Like, fuck. I thought about it after the first and now second time I saw you in low FPS student classroom and I totally have students who operate at 12 FPS. Perfect. Adalakis, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. Congratulations, Soul Knight. Enjoy the thing. I'm still confused as to why it's a Jigakuro mushroom. Favorite part of the video games when I leave to eat food. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. Me and the corn bros. I don't normally use normal Pokemon, so it's gonna be really weird for me because like I don't know what to make of them for the most part. Like, I don't know what the hell they are. I guess I did use Snorlax. Yeah, but Snorlax's strat, strat is just be fat, big man, and just hit the button and slam. Or, like, whatever. Uh, I don't believe it was a performance patch. It does seem like the game runs a little bit better, but I don't think they were actually going to touch the performance. Okay. Well, hey, I think we're, uh, I think this is a new egg, right? Yes. All right, gang. It's too late. Bug egg, bug egg, bug egg. Who's excited about the new egg? You guys, you guys juiced? Ready? Flying out of control? Where's the hype squad? Where's my hypies? <laughs> you mean hype? Uh, you're fine. Take your time. It's all good. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Ladies and gentlemen. It's update time. And on this stream, we have made $24, which is incredible. Thank you guys. 19 subs and two new followers, both of which all of which are great. Thank you so much for the growth, the things that do the stuff, and also for keeping this channel alive. Thank you guys for coming back in for uh for Pokemon round two. Uh, because it's certainly been interesting so far. I uh I've been, I've been, like I said, I've been excited about this for the, uh, basically since we started the other run, because I was like, yeah, dude, can't wait for a, maybe we should have just egg locked the first one, but that would have been pretty much impossible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that last bite of the burrito, I'm pretty sure they put meat in it. Fucking Taco Bell, but whatever, dude. Maybe it'll reignite my UC and then I can just, just, just be dead. <laughs> just, just be dead. Like, hell yeah, man. Oh, you're getting the shroomish back. Congratulations. You 
you get you get shroomed back. Yeah, I think if I think if Jigakuro joins my Union Square or whatever the hell it is, uh, they can. The Shroomish is coming home, Dad. <laughs> Shroomish is coming home. Oh. Never been quite there, Sinless, but I do feel like uh, do you feel like I've woke up in pretty much several horrible ways. Okay, this time before we do it's before we do anything else. Thank you, by the way, Jiggy Crow, for doing. He has been on an adventure, really happy for him, and now he gets to go back into a box. Again. I think the only time I ever, like, fell over from- well, I've never fallen over from my leg being asleep. I think the, uh, the only time I ever got close to that was when I- my leg fell asleep after I went to the restroom, and... I got to the kitchen, and it's like, it wasn't a problem until I got to the kitchen, and then it was a huge fucking problem. And I was just like, oh god, I'm gonna die, dude. Like, I actually thought I was just gonna, like, fall over. So I just, like, held on the cabinet. I was like, please don't fall. <laughs> please don't fall. Please don't fall. Because a bug gym is over there, and I don't think we get a new... We don't get a new Pokemon, I think, when we get over there, because... It's a very, very short distance, and also there's, like, two Pokemon centers in it. We do? God. We have a lot of eggs. I, I thought maybe we needed to be, like, sparing on this. Because we're going to start hitting the choice window here soon. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to use. Uh, there's electric sheep. Um, oh, if a town has two, you only count. Okay, that makes sense. Damn, there's honeycomb demon or whatever its name is. This shit out here is not like level like 500. A little bit worried about the corn bros. Ooh. Ooh. Corn, corn bros probably gonna need some growth time. Let me let the let me open the door again and get Kale back. I'll let you out. All right. So uh, obviously, not a great, not a great call on a, not a great call on Corn Bros. But then again, most stuff out here is gonna be like what, level nine or ten? He's the boy. I think this has already been like a kind of a, a trial, and we haven't even gotten to our first gym yet. Is there anything out here that's like dangerous for Ivan? I think the I think Big Big Bug is pretty scary. Diglett's not terrifying, thankfully. A Dwarf Fortress go? Uh, pretty good. I think by the end of it, I was like, I'm really impressed with it, but at the same time, I feel like RimWorld as a game is a lot more fun to just play, but that's not really a critique on Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress has also just been around forever, too, so... Definitely thought the game just crashed and I was gonna scream. Oh, I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding the Queen Bee, don't worry. 
Wow, that thing was fast. You in Turkey? Yes, K Bomb. His name is Kale. K A L K A E L. What is that? Oh, that's a nasty squirrel. There's so many nasty squirrels out here. Oh, they get blown away by harsh weather. That's actually really sad and also <laughs> hilarious. Oh, this paralysis. I forgot they were of. Uh... Oh, corn bros. Are the corn bros just not great like early on because it certainly feels like it. Echoing voice feels like it might be pretty good. Like spamming it, especially like early levels. Um, I didn't know the Jigglypuff blew away through. That's really funny. <laughs> That's actually really nice. I love shit like that. Now, I know Mouse House is actually okay, but I, I, I'm assuming that they're just not on their on their first like evolution. Shit, they're just not very good. Oh! And it's a bite off, dude. Squabbit is like a decent Pokemon, and I kind of... Oh my god, I hope I hit first. Jesus. An Egglock is a permadeath Pokemon run, so if we lose any Pokemon, they have to go straight in the box. We're not allowed to use them anymore, and all the Pokemon are provided by people in the community. Um, every time we get to a new Pokemon Center, we get to get one, uh, one new egg to hatch. And, uh, we're currently doing that right now. We're actually getting ready to hatch. Oh, hey, you picked up a Paralyzed heal. That's cool. I think? No, I picked up, picked up a full heal. Okay. And he's like, please use this on me. I'm paralyzed. Please. Um, yeah, so it's actually, all the eggs come from people in chat. So, that's the, uh, that's, that's the most interesting part of, interesting part of it, is that you just sit, you can, just get a full of, pump full of random crazy bullshit from chat, which is great. I guess the little bugs would probably be fine, but they're... How is fair? How is fairy against bug? Isn't fairy, like, decent against bug? Which means that, like, Ralts won't just get ripped, ripped apart by the bugoids. I found this. Please heal me. It hurts. Okay, fairy resist bug. All right, so th these won't be too terrible. I keep, I keep dodging them because I keep thinking that they're going to just rip us apart, but then I remember that uh, Ralts is not just psychic, so. Some days I regret turning auto carrot off, other days I don't. It's a really good joke. I'm going to use that, actually. Oh, Smollett is not a bug. That's a fucking grass man. A grass child. Yeah, his name is Smollett because he's like a little olive. Pretty cute. I should probably just use Psychic if that's the case, because I don't know why the hell I'm using Fairy Bullshit. Yeah, Smollett has a great name. We're also not allowed to use Auto Battles. Well, not allowed, it's not the right word, but we're not going to really be using Auto Battles for stuff. I just feel like that will cheapen, cheapen it to a degree, so... Because I like all aspects to be sweaty. Even random battles can be terrifying if you put yourself in a really weird spot. I'm pretty sure we have. I'm pretty sure we lost a Pokemon in an Egglock once or something when it got like self-destructed or something by some bullshit and I was like great just kill me dude welcome what are you like a hostess like what is this oh no she's like a waiter I think but she's like really far away from her house where she waits tables the soccer man's mixed he can do physical or special equally well oh okay so he's got like pretty balanced group I meant to like just check God, I'm gonna get fucking paralyzed. I can already see the shit coming. My favorite. My, my favorite. God, that hurt. Oh boy, confusion. My other favorite. All my favorites, all in one place. <clears throat> great. <laughs> great, great, my favorite. Also, we might not be able to egg lock Monday, but I'm not sure on that yet. We'll see.
You want to carry a little small of in your pocket? You could. You could. As long as you got enough pockets, because there's a lot of them, it seems. That's it. I'm closing up shop. Damn, she just gave up. She quit. Everyone betray me. I'm fed up with this world. Actually, Dangle Spike could probably get in there and do some damage. They got Poison Sting. Also, just going to throw this out there. That truck, I am convinced, is out here, and I'm convinced it's also a reference to Mew. I don't, I don't believe it's a farm truck. That's the same goddamn truck that's parked outside of the SSN, and I'm sticking to it. Why does this thing have a flying move? Oh, you think it's Tuesday? Okay. It is Thursday. I kind of think it's Friday. What does wide guard do? I keep thinking of big guard from a uh, Final Fantasy 7. This is Mera Merabera, whatever. I mean, its name is Dangle Spikes. And it's a demon. It's a water poison thing. Oh shoot! We should probably use our other moves now because they're guaranteed crits now that it's poison. Jesus, this thing can be a nightmare. I mean, it's ugly as shit, but like, I feel like absolutely terrifying once it gets its terrestrialized. Or if we terrestrialize it. And we do not want to take it up against an electric, though, because electric will slaughter us. I might ride around and just fight trainers. Because like, I feel as long as Dangle Spike actually poisons. Which that's going to be the hard part, I think, is just making sure we get stuff poisoned until we learn, like, Toxic or whatever. Because Toxic will be pretty much guaranteed. Is it actually? That's interesting. I didn't know that. An adventure. Internet went down at 8. Contact AT&T. They send someone out. Find out it's a note issue. Can't get in the yard behind us because the husband isn't home and no one can control the dogs. Send out a new tech. A few hours. Get access. Save, save the lines dead. Uh, runs new line. We start tracing the line, find our neighbors with a big pit. Uh, I've been digging under our fence to get to my pug and at the fiber. What if we should just use bite here? Guaranteed crit on bite, because we could die. We really actually could die here if I... I'm proud of you, Ivan. It's good to see you. We got your, uh, we got your Pokemon. Oh, hey, we picked up a, we picked up a doll. I'm gonna swap Dangle Spike just because I'm not playing Dangerous Land over here. But yeah, we got, we got Ivan. We just named it Ivan for now. In case you don't want it to be Ivan, we could change it. Whatever you want it to be. That is our, we got, we got the Ralts. So, thank you for sending that. Kale is so confused by the green screen being down. Oh, they're Mel. Hey, man, I hope your, uh, hope your thing went good. You're all out of Pokemon items that can heal. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, do you want to use Dangle Spike still? Man and Ivan are still like the safest bets out here, I think, as far as just like grinding. But what I, th what I think I'm going to do is just like ride around and go do trainers. Because that'll be a little bit quicker. Like this poopy face over here. Oh, happy day. Great. Now I got to fight this bug. What's the what's the determining factor for how they evolve? Because I don't even remember. Remember to grab the free item from Corn Bros. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Well, problematic. Does Cricket not just have like a shitload of health, or is that just not like? Dude, I don't even know. <laughs> Rilla and a Dawnstone, otherwise male Rilla will still evolve into Gardevoir. So you have to use a Dawnstone, or else it turns into whatever. 
Oh, Galate is not allowed. I see what you're saying. Never mind. I, I misunderstood what that meant a second ago. Well, doesn't work either. But what we do have is not taking a ton of damage from Bugland anyway, so I guess we'll just fly because that'll just smoke him. I'm sorry, use air, air moves such as heck, big air. So it just has to evolve naturally, right? Like I don't have to do anything special. <laughs> Seeing Karidon's face out of the corner just cracks me up. Just peeking, he's like, hey, what's he doing? I already hear that, Adelacus. I hope, yeah, I'd line like that entire fence with fucking rocks and shit. I don't even know what this Gallade diaper that people keep talking about is. I'm like, I'm normally the first to make fun of random bullshit. Is that a Pokeball that's just floating in the air back there? Yep, it sure is. It's just a Pokeball that's just floating in the air. What? What? This game, dude. No, I mean, I'm sure that ruined your fuck. Oh, it's that guy. It's the trainer. Right. Um. All right, well, he said, let's see what he's got. I'm sure it's some bullshit. We'll use, we'll use old soccer man over here. Bought some delicious cake for the pet city. So bad. It's so bad. So bad. Okay. Okay, you fucking criminal. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Why can't you be like Larry? Gotta be all gross. He's looking down at the ground because he knows he's just like, he's like doing this shit instead of going home to his wife and his kids. Oh boy, defense girl, my baby. Oh, I love things that take longer than this. I think it's been a, I think it's probably been a rough day on all accounts, but um, it's just kind of been this year, so that's okay. We'll just do our best to pick up, and keep going. Oh damn, dude, Cornbro is getting super fang. Oh shit, Cornbro coming. Never mind, super fang is the one that just cuts it in half. That's not even that good. I do feel like Echoed Voice is just a better version of Pound though, because if we use Echoed Voice. Uh, does it have to be? Helping hands probably not going to come in handy too much. <laughs> See what I said? At least Super Fang can knock stuff down if we're trying to catch him or whatever for the time being. Glad one of my pokes is in, and honestly, my favorite of the three. I'm hit the sack. See y'all tomorrow. Get back in town at seven. All right, man. Take it easy. We'll see you then. Thanks for sending in a Pokemon to do. We need to buy more balls. God damn bird. How dare you? You dare touch me? Disgust. And now you want to get out? Okay. All Oh, is Echoed Voice a... is that a not physical move? Is that a special thing or whatever? Hey, you learned Razor Leaf! Good for him, which is definitely better than Leafage. Or at least I think it's better than Leafage, even though it's 95. Why is it 95 accuracy? Like, why? <laughs> it's like, what? Why? Oh, that other egg didn't even, uh... Ooh, damn, that suck kiss. Oh, wow, suck kiss is just better than Disarming Voice, I guess. Oh, Disarming Voice never misses, but whatever. Oh, no, we'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow. Um, I've had every reason in the book to get delayed on going out there, and today I just straight up overslept. I had a really hard time getting to sleep last night, so we'll do We're going to do it tomorrow. Get out of here, Fletchling. You're disgusting. That's cool, because I think there was a, another thing that came in today, so... Oh, it is a new center, new egg. I guess we'll just send over Fletchling then. We'll hatch these back to back or something. Back to 
back to bed on your concrete mattress. Nice. Let me buy let me buy some Garbo. Oh. Well shit, new egg everybody. Woo! New egg everybody. Yeah, Bug Jim's level 15, 16. We got some leveling to do for sure. He's just, he's just salt. This is one of, this is one of mine. Well-timed rock. Are you, uh, you naming it hard or are you giving it to chat? I'm gonna let you decide on, you're gonna name this one? Okay. Get the name ready for me and, um, we'll do this one. And then after this, I'm gonna take a short break. I gotta go walk around for a minute and then, uh. We're gonna we're gonna grind up a little bit more and then go do the gym. So there you go. What would you like to name this boy? I'm excited, dude. The final evolution of salts is uh pretty damn good. Do you want some extra time to think about it? You want me to go walk around now and then we'll name it when we come back? Oh no, the mini crafty. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, just, we'll do that. And, uh, yeah. Remind me to, uh, I'm just going to leave this up because if I don't, if I don't, I'm going to forget. We need to buy more potions and all that crap. We also need to sell our revives because they're useless. So I'll be back here in a minute. If you guys want to keep watching Egg Lock Town, just stick around. I'll be back. Hang on. I got to lower the, I got to lower the resolution of this again because we're playing this game. Like I want it to be like absolutely terrible. Uh, let's see. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect.
All right, gang, who's ready for more Pokemon Egglock? I apologize about the energy level tonight, by the way, if it's been a little bit low. Um, it's been a kind of a kind of a tough time all around. So I appreciate you guys being here and thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having fun. What is this thing on the front page that I'm staring at? All right, so what are we thinking? Uh, what are we thinking? Gobble's still here? Christmas? Holiday? I don't know. He's, he's still here, though. Christmas emotes will be soon. I don't think we're I don't think we're rolling this one out, right? This is uh Haritsu's. You're awake for some reason. I think just Salt Rock, because he trade hands for salt. God, that's uh that's actually pretty true. Yeah, I, I gotta say, that's that is accurate. <laughs> that is accurate. <laughs> you do trade you do trade hands for salt. I like it. What is what is it now? It's salt lick. Just salt hands, salt rock. I like salt rock though, that's a good name. All right, sell these revives because I don't need them. They're not going to help me. Then it's egg time. Oh, hey, we got another egg coming too, y'all. Look at that. Let me, uh, that his name. I'm actually really excited. I, I, this, this team is like weirdly like really good. Uh, and I mean that. I mean that like seriously. Like they're, they're pretty. What? I always get the X and the Y confused on a. So we're doing salt, salt rock. All right. I don't understand how how rock is good against bug because bugs live under rocks. But I guess if somebody beat me up with my house, then I'd probably die. So, you know, there is that. <laughs> I mean, if we're going based off of that, yeah, I think if somebody hit me with a house, I'd be pretty dead. Halves damage from ghost moves? That's interesting. I do too, actually, Sinless. Hand Rock sucks, but I actually like Onyx too. Onyx is pretty cool. Yeah, we're all we're all weak to house when you think about it. Uh Egglock, by the way, only gets crazier as time goes on. The first night's very in my opinion, it's a little slow. This is like kind of like uh catching up type stuff. But uh yeah. But no, it gets this gets stupid on the last few nights because that's when the big ass sweat starts. Like once we start going against the Elite Four and like some of the bigger Titans and stuff like that, like it's going to get it's going to get real sweaty. Like those are my favorite. The entire Egglock run the last few nights was incredible. Like I love that shit in Sword and Shield because it got so sweaty. Now, granted, Sword and Shield does a very good job with its like final fight presentation with like the gyms and like the big coliseums and everything like that. I'm gonna be cheap and switch mods in the middle of the Elite Four. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We'll 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 st we'll stick to our team. I don't think I ever do that. Actually, I didn't even think that was like a. I didn't think that was a thing. We should stop using meme number. Uh. Yeah, definitely. Hang on a second. I got you. 42069. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got you. Oh, they allowed it in this? Shit, I didn't even know it was allowed. Yo, the door's open, buddy. Why are you why are you meowing? It's right here. It's open. You just have to push it a little bit. You just gotta push it. Oh, here you go. You get bird. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Bird. <laughs> that one. The bird. Waiting for other person's decision. Thank you guys again for uh, helping facilitate all this. If you sent an egg or if you helped organize or discussed it or whatever, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for doing it. Every single one of our Pokemon is Mel. Interesting. The bro squad. <laughs> the bro squad cometh. We're gonna start referring to our team as the Frat House. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Stick some razor blades up your ass, so you'll never get the frat, bro. Come on. You pussy? You pussy? Put your razor blades up your butt. 
Like, okay, wow, that's a really smart decision. I did an ultra ball, so this is, uh, this doesn't mean anything, because the balls have meant nothing so far. Come on, bro. Put the razor blades in your ass. Back in my day, you had to fight the Elite Four and Champion in a row both ways in the snow with no <laughs> seals or access to the PC. <laughs> oh boy. All right, cool. There we go. We got another. Uh, we got another egg to hatch. We gotta get start getting level ups on uh, Salt Rock. We do need to figure out what the catch ups are gonna look like, because uh, naturally it is gonna be a little difficult, and some of our newer Pokemon are gonna have a hard time uh, staying relevant. So that is gonna be a little tricky. We'll have to figure that out. Because I certainly don't want it to just turn into Nick Grind's random bullshit out here forever, because that is a bad decision. Encounters work by just running into a monster, uh, or you can run into a trainer. You can engage them by throwing a Pokeball at them, and there's also a neat thing you can do where you can, like, uh, hide in the grass, like, ambush them and get, like, the first hit or whatever, so... There's a few different ways to engage him. Uh, it's not quite as interesting as Arceus, because Arceus actually did a really good job with that, unlike some of the other shit that Arceus did, which, in hindsight, for Arceus, I made fun of the way it looked so much, and then Scarlet and Violet happened, and it's just unbelievable how... Uh, uh, not just unbelievable, unacceptable, how terrible this game looks. <laughs> like, it's so bad. <laughs> I'd farm those Diglett, but... I'm starting to think that maybe... Well, I can't get in the water right now. Um. Oh, because every route is a new encounter. Um, I think we're doing it like kind of based off of like the the zones that they have to a degree. So like we kind of go like into a zone or like a town. So it's like each new zone or town we count the Pokemon centers, and we're kind of using the Pokemon centers as like the kind of the flag points for like new Pokemon, which I think is a smart call. I think that'll work well across the entire thing because there's a decent number of Pokemon centers, but they're not that many. So. My mustache has fallen down really bad tonight. I saw that in the, the bathroom. I don't know why. I guess I might have haphazardly done it before the stream, and I just wasn't paying attention, but it looks terrible tonight. Oh, Placosaurus. Damn, damn, damn. Pulling out the guns. Pulling out the guns. What's happening? A little scary. They're 27 if you exclude city doubles, which is a good number compared to roots in prior games. Yeah, I think we had about like, what, 15, 20 uh, Pokemon last time? Which naturally we won't use all of them, but it is fun once you start getting to a point where you can actually like, kind of be a little bit cheesy. That's pretty interesting. And the only reason we're doing this right now is what I can do is we could actually use Rock against several of these if we can even get him to like level five or six. Like if we can get him up there, Rock can handle a lot of bullshit now. Old Salt Rock. Look, he got Rock Throw. Good for him. Yeah, does Bonsley, does he have the Eat Grass move? Or is that somebody else I'm thinking of? Because I know he's, he's Rock. Bonsley is so much cuter than Pseudo, Pseudo Widow. Oh, just Rockhead and Sturdy? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember if he had the suck off the, uh... Oh, look, it's a Pikachu! I fucking love Pikachu, dude. That's my fucking dad. I'm trying to just kind of, like, focus on stuff that just can get... nuked. Ooh. Ooh. That's a bigger level difference than I expected. Huh. I don't know if I want to engage like this. I don't think he'll kill us in one hit if he used like some bullshit. I said I want to hug his ass. Did I say fuck his ass? Because, dude, that's even funnier. Yeah, because I'm not dirt. That's what I'm worried about. I'm just going to swap, because I feel like that's this is just a disaster waiting to happen. 
Oh, that would have been really funny. No, I did not say that. I said hug him. Because look at him, he's a little chunky McFatty. Well, at least it would have been Thunder Waves. That wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. It keeps spamming Thunder Wave. I think that's really cool. Razor Leaf is another one of those, like, iconic-ass moves, man. Like, it's, any of the moves that have been in the game this long, especially some of the ones that are, like, still decent by today's standards, makes me, uh, makes me happy to see those. Like, I love seeing Thunderbolt, Razor Leaf, Flamethrower. I would say Hydro Pump, but Hydro Pump's the, the big, the big one. We're thinking of, uh, Water Gun. Actually, what's in between Water Gun and Hydro Pump? Or is Water Gun the Flamethrower equivalent? Pikachu was a shockingly high amount of experience. Which I think Salt Rock should be fine now at level 9 if we went up against another one. I can't see him getting clocked in one hit by a Pikachu. Water Gun's Ember, right? Surf is the flamethrower I'm thinking of. The only reason I didn't include it in there was I was thinking of it being, uh... Um, I was thinking of it being, like, uh... Whatchamacallit? Because it's an HM, so I wasn't really thinking about that. Who was it that pointed out the, um... What are the... What's the Herba Maxima or whatever the fuck it is? Is HM, which I thought was, like, the most clever shit ever, and it ha that has to be intentional. There's no way it's not. It's so damn funny. I love that, like, that's the way you get Coridon's new powers, is by feeding him HMs. Herba Mystica, that's what it is why I couldn't remember the name of it. Great, now we're fucking Invasion Town, my favorite. Oh my god, why did they give that to Pokemon? So wait, Salt's ability just straight up makes him immune to status effects, like, period? Get the fuck out of here. I'm just gonna catch it. We need, we need more trash anyway, we can just catch him. Forget it, dude. Just catch his ass. I always need more garbage. Immune to all statuses and bonus resistant to ghosts. God damn, he's really good. Holy shit. I would say I slept on the salt, but I didn't. I, I, I had a feeling he was going to be decent. He reminds me of like an old character from like a Flash anime. Weevil and Bob. That's who he reminds me of. That is who he reminds me of. Every time I've seen him booble bopple and back and forth like that, I'm like, what does he remind me of? It's fucking Weeble and Bob. Which is like, shout out to the nine, nine people. Actually, not even nine people in chat. Shout out to the people in chat who have any fucking clue who that even is. Yeah, he looks like he would roll on the screen and be like, low, Bob. Well, I know for, uh, I know for Tandy Mouse, we have to get him the, what is it, the King's, not King's Crown, or whatever the fuck it's called, King's Claw or some shit. The one that increases, like, the, their, their critical hit chance or whatever the fuck it is. One of those things. Loaded dice, that's it. Wide, or more Wide Lens? Cause I think Wide Lens is the one that makes it hit more times, right? King's Rock, that's it, yeah. But I think King's Rock is, like, critical hits or something, or, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Slay. Uh, yeah, sure, I can explain it to you. So, Egglocks are very similar to Nuzlocks. You basically get a new Pokemon, and every time we get to a Pokemon Center, since there's no roots, technically, uh, we do it based off of Pokemon Centers, so we get a new egg that is provided by folks in the community. Um, and, uh, we have to use those Pokemon, and we have to engage every trainer we see. Uh, on top of that, if a Pokemon dies, we lose it forever. It just goes in the box, and... Uh, that's a, that's about it. It's it's pretty straightforward, but um, yeah, that's about it. Mm, what was I gonna do here? Damn, rocks already caught up. Holy shit! Oh yeah. All right, well here's uh here's our official six slot Pokemon. So let's see what this is. Let's see who it's from. I'm excited. Oh, it's the boy! Look at him! 
Look at him. It's old mastiff. Who sent this mastiff is the question. Who sent this little mastiff? It's the boy. Wait, so dice doesn't work for population bomb? Why would it not work for population bomb? Doesn't it hit? It hits multiple times, right? Oh, this is Ebo Arrow? Okay. Well, I don't know if he's still here, so I guess we'll just call him Ebo for right now. Ebo, honestly, kind of a good name for him anyway. But if Ebo Arrow decides he wants to change his name, we can do that. Because I don't think he's here anymore. He had to go feed his fish like the other night when he claims that we didn't tell him about the fucking thing from Dragonflight, even though we absolutely did. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Wait. What? What is the point of that? Like, why? Oh. It does an accuracy check once, then it does a check to see the number of hits you get. What does Population Bomb do? Does it just hit? It does a check for each hit of the move, and the move ends if you miss a single one. Okay. That is weird. So what's the best way? Because I know there's, like, big cheese strats with Population Bomb. Like, I know it's, like, crazy powerful. Not in, like, competitive settings, because I think if most people see... House of Mouse coming out, then they're they're gonna know that like there's some bullshit going on, so they'll probably just use something just to sweep it or whatever. I'm trying to remember which one Ninja Ask is even from. Shit Ninja, whatever his name is. Oh my god, y'all! Paralysis might be the most annoying thing ever in a Pokemon game, and it's hilarious because it's been in since the very beginning, and it still sucks. So Wide Lens makes each hit have a 99% chance to hit, uh, therefore you'll basically always hit. Okay, so running Population Bomb... Wait, who's learning, who's learning Lick? How fitting. How fitting. He has Play Rough? Wow. Actually pretty damn good. Pretty damn good to have Play Rough at that level, especially considering it's a 90 power move. God, that's a... that seems like a lot for him. Yeah, but people have probably already figured out, like, the perfect counter for the Corn Bros, right? Enables a sure getaway from wild Pokemon. That's actually a pretty damn good, uh... Like, I know it's probably not, like, his ideal trait, but my god. That's probably fantastic for this whole setup. I guess we're gonna kill more... This will kill more Psyducks. I gotta buy Paralysis Heal. Um... Yeah, because we'll use, we'll use Soccer Man to do some murder. Hey, Jamie. How you doing, buddy? Jamie's name always changes color because they don't have it set to anything, so it always confuses me. Oh, Rocky Helmet makes Mouse kill themselves because it's every time that they... Right, we found that out, too, that Rocky Helmet does damage every time something hits. Which, finding that out the way we did was amazing because I think it was some Pokemon that hit us, like, six times and then just killed themselves with Rocky Helmet. It was amazing. I was like, fuck, yeah, you shit, asshole. I was like, hey, I bet you regret doing that, moron. It actually makes it. Did you really just push the whole door open? Okay, I'm right here. You made it. Why are you yelling? Yeah, okay, hey. I wish you guys could hear the way this creature sounds. Unbelievable. Doesn't even sound real. But where I once learned Snarl. I didn't know that Snarl was a thing either. Yeah, we should have run Rocky Helmet on Claude Sire instead of Leftovers, but then we ended up running Toxic Sludge or whatever it is. Does it always work if you throw your Pokeball? Do you always get first move, or is it just if you're hiding in the grass? I think it's just if you're hiding in the grass. Doesn't matter anyway. Half the time we're outspeeding these idiots anyway. Hey, Sparrow, what's up, dude? How you doing? 
Mastiff doesn't normally learn play rough. It's an egg move. He just had to have gone out of his way to get it to you. Oh, that's really nice. Pretty damn good. That's a really good, uh, a really good move to have. He would actually do okay against the bug gym, I think, right? Because, like, I mean, we're probably not going to do him with the bug gym, but he'd probably do pretty good with play rough just because it hits really hard. What are you doing? The, the sun's not up yet, buddy. Why are you looking out the window? Oh, yeah, dark's weak to bug. He is dark. Shit, that's a trainer. Uh, Salt Rock's time to shine? Hey, are we schoolmate? No. Well, the whole... The, I, I know that, like, it'd be, like, a neutral thing. I'm more talking about the, uh... We're talking about the fact that it's a 90 power move like this early and coming from a Pokemon that's like of reasonable same level that it would probably hit pretty hard. Oh, oh right, because he turns into Belly Burst or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was scary. That actually terrified me. <laughs> that, that absolutely terrified me. Because <laughs> he's what, like... Uh, just like electric for right now, I think. I don't think he turns into. I think he's water electric when he evolves. Is he really just electric for both? I thought he had a secondary typing. No, I remember now. He didn't have the secondary typing because that was the whole reason we ended up going with uh, Palmet instead of uh, Belly Toad or whatever the hell his name is. rock polish do he feels like a like a really good oh it's like a big speed boost i'm not gonna well i'll get rid of our tackle because we're not gonna use that but yeah that water gun scared the hell out of me the train it down salt rock One thing that's been contributing to these days being a little rough for me is I, I pulled a muscle right where my hernia was, <laughs> or where I got it fixed. A little, a uh, little weird. Um, it's bugging me because I'm like scared to death that I got another one somehow or some shit. I'm like, great. I hope that's not a thing. Yeah, if we didn't, like, speed buffing, it'd probably happen, like, later, I guess. What else is up here? Fairy demon thing. Burb. I wish some of the evolved Pokemon were out here. They're a little bit better to grind, because just the XP for them. Levels, uh, levels are Rocky Boy over here. Um, Mr. Peck, appreciate it. I like to think that Burb are weak against Rock just purely based off of the phrase, uh, two birds, one stone. I remember reading this thing at one point about how people wanted to change the negative connotation of those to more positive, which is feed two birds with one stone. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, I get it, but at the same time, I feel like it's another one of those things that people just say the words and they're not even thinking about what it actually meant. Oh, so SmackDown, what does that mean? Does that remove their flying type? There's no way that works. Or does it mean that just like they're on the ground then and then they can be hit by ground moves? Because like SmackDown into like Earthquake would be the funniest shit ever <laughs> against a flying Pokemon. <laughs> be like, oh man, that'd be crazy if you smacked it down and then Earthquake. <laughs> Naturally, Earthquake wouldn't do, you know, whatever against flying Pokemon. But the point is... Ugh. Yeah, I think that's like the original context of it, Simless. Yeah. But it's just one of those things that's like, it's just said in like the original context of it is like almost irrelevant at that point because there's no, uh... 
no one even remembers or cares what the original context was, and they just know it as, like, whatever the colloquialism is now or how it functions now in proper modern speech. It was like when, it was like the whole, uh, what was it? Um, we talked about it, we talked about it several times. Oh, when, because if you ever hear anybody say, like, oh, I got gypped out of something, the, the original connotation of that was a, was negative towards, like, gypsies. That's what it was. But I guarantee nowadays, if anybody said it, they just know it as meaning they got screwed out of something. They have no fucking clue that it was ever, like, something that was, like, derogatory or whatever, right? Um, so, it's just, it's one of those, like, weird things that just kind of got, like, taken and then just turned into, like, what was effectively just a harmless way of saying you got screwed out of something. It's really good to say you got screwed out of something, because I, I'm well aware of that phrase, and I've never really used that. I think maybe when I was younger, like, I might have said it a couple times or something, but I would have always just said, like, oh, I got, got screwed out of this or whatever. That's cool. I didn't know it's like, attack and accuracy. That's nice. Just need to not get rid of Play Rough, because that'll be a cool, cool move to have on him, especially considering he's dark. And I don't remember what his big boy form turns into. He's either just straight dark or he's dark something, and I can't remember if he's dark something. Yes, to Roma, there you go. I couldn't even, I couldn't even remember, like, <laughs> I couldn't even remember that part, because it's so far fucking removed from that shit. Yes, Play Rough with two Fs. Oh, yeah, an XP candy. That'll be perfect for... Uh, really nobody. That's not gonna do shit. I may as well just hang on to it. I'm a boss that is pure dark. Wait, Hone Claw, Hone Claw is actually... I don't know why I use Smackdown if use... Whatever. Does Salt get a secondary typing when he's like fully evolved, or is he just always is he just always Rock Man? He does. He feels like a really good Pokemon, like really good. Like as far as I think of other Rock Pokemon that are that good. As from the 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 few that we encountered, I feel like he was actually pretty damn tanky too. Okay, so we're level 14 with Rock Man. Old Salt Rock. So I think it's about time to head back, heal up, buy some Paralysis Heals, because if I forget now, I'm just never going to get it. No, no, I remember you saying he was pretty good in competitive stuff. That's actually why I'm chiming in on it. He's a, seems like he's pretty damn good. Oh, right, I have to use the cheese strats. They didn't fix that, did they? Leave me alone, you little wiener. Whooping at me. Oh my god, that hoppet just zooping on through. <laughs> Apparently some Americans think Roma aren't real, just a group of people Disney made up for a hunchback movie or something. They aren't real. And again, there's a lot of people all over the world that think shit's not real. I couldn't believe it when I found out that Millie Bobby Brown or whatever was like, oh, I'm still not convinced the Earth is round. I'm like, I hate this shit, dude. Hate it. Fucking <laughs> hate it. I'm tired. I did watch Enola Holmes too, though, and it was actually pretty cute. I thought the first, I thought the first one was pretty good. I think Henry Cavill is really good in it. Everybody's really good in that movie, actually. Ooh. Oh, we made it! All right. Yeah, but saying things like "oh, but it exists," like it doesn't matter to those people, like. You can throw your- can you please stop doing that, little buddy? You just keep coming in here, pushing the door open, and then leaving. What's the reason that cats hate closed doors? Isn't there, like, some weird thing about that? I know it's absolutely true, given the way some people do things. Oh, god damn it! is that a trainer? We already fought him? I don't- Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Oh shit, it's the whoop! Little ground poison man. God, he's so cute in this. He's one of my favorites. I don't know if it'd be good to stay as 
He didn't learn any water moves. Mudshot's not gonna do shit against him. Yeah, Smackdown's not gonna do anything either because he's big dirt. He also can't do shit to us though. It's gonna be really hard for me to know that like uh Claude Sire, like his name is like actually Claude Sire and it's not whatever the fuck we made it, which now I can't remember his name either. I definitely can remember his name. I have mud shot super effect. Oh, because it's ground, right. Uh yeah, just to prevent this from turning into a shit show and dying, we should probably move. Um what about corn bros? Right, dirt doesn't resist dirt because What, should I mud shot him? We probably could. I'm just afraid he's gonna hit me like really hard with something, Chris. Okay, cool. Oh, nice bomb. What'd you get? Okay, are you in here now? Can I get up and can I shut that door again? You found this shiny hop -hip? Oh my god, that's hilarious. We just found one a little while ago. <laughs> that's really funny. Anytime I get a shiny, I always just give it away to chat because I. I don't care about shinies. I care about them if they're like a Pokemon I really like, but it's pretty rare for me to get one though. I'm like, yeah, dude. What are the odds of hop-ups everywhere? Maybe there's an event happening that we're just unaware of. Um, I don't think it's a new egg because this is the same zone uh, as Pokemon Center, so I don't think we should do a new egg for this one. Uh, and I think it's about time to go do the gym, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head over there and go do it. It's my first time at this one, but since there's two in the area, like right there, um, it's up to y'all. I mean, I didn't know if we needed to do another one or what. Damn, some nice battle. Hey, Arrow Ace, all right. All right. Have we been to that one before? I guess we had. I know y'all are doing a better job of keeping up with that than I am. And I appreciate you guys for keeping up with it. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, dude. This is why I was saying the other night, support comes in all kinds of weird different ways. So thank you guys so much for every way that you do. I really do appreciate it. The gym leader. Unga. Flex. Who do you, who do you guys think for the for the bug gym? You think we're going to rock, rock sweep it or what? The cool part about rock is terrestrializing him just makes him more powerful. Just more rock. I love, I love salt rock. He's already one of my favorites. This is why I love the egg lock. It puts Pokemon in, in like my party that I would never use. I also really like the thorny mass of nasty starfish demon. Dangle Sprangle or whatever. <laughs> whatever we name it. Dangle Spike. Because every Pokemon in here outside of... Corn Bros is probably a Pokemon that I would just never think about really using. Not because they're bad or anything like that, it's just Pokemon I just wouldn't think about using. So she's on her second circuit of fighting the gym leaders, kind of like we are at the end of the game, I guess. Thanks for the follow, Bomb. I appreciate that. How'd you end up here? You just randomly bump on in here? To be honest, I don't know. Were you watching Fresno with the raid or nah? Yeah, th there's like a re-challenge on the gyms. Do you smell what the Rockamon are cooking? I wanna go for a young walk. I wanna see if I can cheat again in this. Look, I don't cheat in other aspects of my life, so I'm just gonna cheat in this fucking stupid video game. We don't always stream Pokemon, but I try to play it whenever one comes out and then maybe like randomly do a run of whatever. That's, I was going to say X, Y, or Z, but that would be confusing. I mean like random Pokemon games here and there that I just want to play. Don't do it too often though. We have fun doing all kinds of other stuff in between. That's actually really cool, Soul Knight. That actually feels like that's a really really cool moment. I always love that whenever uh, somebody like kind of makes their way into something because like I thought that maybe you came from like somebody else's thing or whatever. So I think that's really cool that uh, 
I wonder what happens if you knock it out of the fence. Is it, I wonder if that's scripted to do anything. It's got to be, right? Like, it has to be. Yeah, you can knock this, uh, you can knock it completely over the wall there, so you can pretty much just skip, like, all this shit. Which is really funny. The girl just passed here. You bitch. Maybe they fixed it. You mu Oh my god, did they? Because we totally, totally did this last time. Right? Did we not? I thought we noodle doodled it up. Oh, did we go over the little wall? Oh, I thought we went over the... I thought we went over the, those little olives or whatever. <laughs> I thought we went over this stupid olive. What a bitch. Yeah, the small olives, are, they're clearly taller than the fence. Obviously. This is so dumb. This might be, this might be like the dumbest of the game. No, no, the dumbest is that stupid, oh my god, the, not the psychic gym, uh, oh god, what, what was it? Was that the ghost gym? This is the one where you have to do the dumb Simon Says, but there's like no challenge to it, like at all. Wait, who's the trainer? The, the baby man? Oh. Well, shit, I wasn't trying to dodge that. I, I had no clue. I thought he was just a... Here you go, dumbass. Try to get around me. There's another lady whose eyes are like 40 feet apart, and I feel so bad for her. That'd be tough. Hell, I can't move, baby, or else I'm going to run over your little tail. And I'm going to run over your tail. He does this thing where he comes and he just smushes himself against the wall. Hey, Kabucha. Welcome back, buddy. Try the olive roll right here. It's actually been going pretty well so far. We haven't lost anybody yet. We've lost a few, though. <laughs> it's further apart. You hiding a mew under that truck? This truck here. Got a mew in it. All right, Lynn, take it easy. Good to see you. Oh, nice, Kabucha. That's really cool. I don't, know, I don't know if I like those bands well enough that I'd ever like want to see them, but that is cool. Always neat to see. Are you ready to fight, sugar bug? Yeah. She's like, all of my Pokemon are egg. Which I just realized that the first proper gym challenge for our egg lock was pushing a giant egg. Everything's just way too fitting. Speaking of way too fitting, every night that we do a game now, I have made, I'm making a shitty Photoshop of it. So this is a new thing I'm trying, and I think we're going to stick with it as long as people still get a kick out of it. So I'm just going to make a crappy Photoshop of every single game that we play. Here's tonight's the egg lock on Twitter. There you go. Eat up, my cute little demon. I hope we don't die, because when, when she ever... Well, she's going to terrorize into bugs, so that's good, at least. That was a good call, then, Kabucha. Use those as my VOD thumbnail. <laughs> Why is Locke from Final Fantasy VI in that? Wait, really? like, really? There there are several locks in that image. There are probably about seven different locks, as a matter of fact. Maybe six. You got John Locke? You got John Locke from Lost? You got fucking... You got Locke from Final Fantasy <laughs> Alright, we gotta deal with Nimble, which we're just gonna go with SmackDown. I was thinking about doing, uh... I was thinking about going, uh, oh, wow. He's physical, right? I think. Maybe I should have rock polished. Ooh, God, he could hit me with, like, a fighting move or some shit. And he's definitely faster. 
Dude, what if we... Oh my god. What if we lost Salt Rock to stupid kick? We kill him on this. But I am a little worried that he's just gonna, like, slam us. Please don't slam. Thank god he used Struggle Bug again. Hallelujah! And our special attack is mostly irrelevant, so that's fine. He's not that strong, but Double Kick would be pretty terrifying if he hit us with that. Good job, Salt Rock. Okay, he's sent out the Tarantula or whatever the hell its name is. Uh, I don't know what it is. Might have some bullshit. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he didn't get the stabbies, but I don't know. I, just, I don't trust this fucking game, dude. <laughs> After some of the crap we've lost Pokemon to, I'm like, please don't die. <laughs> please don't die. Okay, Bug Bite's about the same as Struggle Bug, so... Yeah, I don't trust, like, the weird-ass, like, crit that hits, and then for some reason it does so much damage. It's like, oh my god. Oh my god, in my life. I was thinking about doing the Rock Polish, but... I think he'll, I think he'll be okay. Teddy Ursa. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't she... Is that the one she terrestalizes? I think that's the one she terrestalizes. Yeah, because that's her... Why is that her last Pokemon? Okay, so she's going to terrestalize it into Bug. I don't know what the Bug move is. Might hurt. Uh, I'm just gonna go for SmackDown, but I'm really worried that this might kill us. Fuck, I should. I, I could Terra too. I don't know why I forgot to do that. Definitely should have Terra slides up. Oh, Teddy Ursa, look, you have a nightmare on your head. Teddy Ursa is real cute. Yeah, I did catch a little bit of, like, some competitive uh, Pokemon stuff, and my god, it's like the same shit over and over, dude. It's crazy. Please don't Killy Willy. Please no Killy Willy. Please no Killy Willy. Okay, uh, I hurt more than I thought it would. And Super Potioning... Ugh. We get Harden, but I'm not sure if it's a physical. But I think we can at least tank it and heal, tank it, heal. But I'll have to rock smash after each one, but we'll see what happens with this Fury Cutter here. Wait, does Fury Cutter do twice the damage? Well, it certainly didn't do as much as I thought it would. <sighs> this is tough. Oh, it just does more. Soccer Man's not going to work because they're grass. Uh... We could terrestrialize into rock, but it wouldn't that wouldn't do us much good for We would as long as it didn't crit, we would survive the next one if I just threw out a rock smash or smackdown. This is uh this is dangerous. I, well, we could Terra Rock and pray <sighs> that would... I mean, it only did, what, to 18 damage? So as long as it doesn't crit, we're okay. But I'm terrified that it's going to... I'm terrified it's going to crit. But we have to give it a shot because nobody else can eat a Fury Cutter. Like, nobody. There's not... A, we don't have anybody else that could just eat that move. Uh, well, maybe. But... We have a lot of, like, tight disadvantages against, like, a big fat bug move like that. I'm going to cross your fingers on rock salt. Come on, baby. Smash it into next week. Oh, God, please tank it. Just hang in there. Come on. God damn it. Oh, man, that's awful. Yep, I had a feeling that was coming. Well, so much for the bug gym being a joke. They just killed Salt Rock, and he only had, like, an hour to shine. That poor baby.
Oh, shit. Oh, God, this is bad. Um, we could try poisoning and going for crits on Dangle Spike. I'm so sad about Salt Rock. I was so excited about him. He might have been the one that I was most excited about, and now he's gone. Yeah, Dangle Spike at least won't get. Oh, my God. Yeah, underlevel for sure. Oh my god, I'm pissed. Poor Salt. Give it up for Salt in chat. Oh, that's what this whole thing's about, though. I guess we could Poison Sting him, but I feel like it'd probably just be better just to, like, no, because Bite's not going to be the way to go. It'd probably just be Peck. Oh, this sucks. Oh, Poison Sting might be fine, I guess, for right now. We, I would at least like to get it... Fury Cutter might actually wipe our entire team. Like, I was so unprepared for that. What is it? What does it cap at? The only thing I could think of now would be to, like... Yeah, I think Fury Cutter's... Fury Cutter's gonna kill us. Like, I don't even know if we can actually get past this. Holy shit. Because <laughs> Salt Rock got fucking dunked on. Yeah, Salt Rock got fucked up by Fury Cutter by a bug bear. And yeah, Fury Cutter is just basically just ripping through our team. We have like no way to stop it. Uh... And I have no idea how much PP it's got. Uh... Ivan would get just blown, blown away immediately. Uh, old Soccer Man would take, that's a super effective, so they'd be dead. Ebo would just get obliterated. Dangle Spike was probably the closest. Uh, Corn Bros could maybe tank it, but I really, really, really doubt it. Uh, this might be the most difficult Egglock thingy that we've done. I mean, Peck would be super effective, but it's, we don't get a stab or anything like that. Maybe, maybe Bite? And, like, Bite makes it flinch? But Dark is not gonna be... Ugh, fuck. Just keep potioning until it runs out of PB. We can actually... I've, I've got an idea. I don't think the next one would kill us. It's only 20 HP, so I wouldn't even be able to. I wouldn't even be able to live it. I'm just gonna go for a pack with Dangle Spike because, like, I, I mean, it might at least do some damage. We're gonna have to get I, faster than this anyway. Well, there goes Dangle Spike. Goodbye. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is unbelievable, dude. What a fucking nightmare. Because Soccer Man can't do shit. Eboera can't do shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to shelve our entire team and start over, basically. No, the run's not over, because we can always get the next egg and go, but we just have one Pokemon to work with. Uh God. I guess Cornbros. I can't believe how difficult the first gym is. I'm thinking this is my fault, though. I should have leveled up more. The user stares at target's baby doll eyes and lowers the target's attack stat. Move always goes first. But we'd, we'd basically be sacking... It's attack down, yeah, but I mean, like... Oh. Oh, if you lose the fight, the run's over. Well, this, this might be the end of the egg lock, then. <laughs> that might be it. Well, let's hope this doesn't kill, uh, let's hope this doesn't kill us, because we can do that and then, like, potion and do that and potion. Oh my god, Corn Bros actually avoided it. Oh my god. And that should reduce it to a point where it won't just absolutely slaughter us. I hope. Okay, alright, now we can fight back. Uh, should we just roll Echoed Voice? Or maybe we should run Super Fang? Does Super Fang cut HP in half from where it's at?
think echoed voice is probably the way to go because then it's going to just turn into like a All right, well here, we can just uh we can just keep we'll just keep debuffing its attack cuz we can take this to 6, I think. We can debuff it 6 times and then uh potion. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to get nastier and nastier, dude. This is crazy, dude. This is the sweatiest early fight we've ever had in any, like, permadeath Pokemon thing we did. This is absurd. We'd have to, we'd have to basically prey on... The music should drive you crazy, it's terrible. The potions can keep us alive for a little bit, and maybe we can have, like, we can just pray that there's gonna be a miss, but I have a feeling they're gonna kill us before that happens. What? Unless we, unless we sack, uh, music should drive you nuts. The gym battle theme is atrocious in this. It's never going to miss. I, I feel like hitting it with baby doll eyes and then just like, but this, this is the only choice we have. I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should have just done Echoed Voice and just started putting some damage on it and healing that way. But we only have about 12 opportunities to... Well, no, we right now we have 11 opportunities to let this thing miss. Well, I like the gym theme. It just kind of goes... Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, this is crazy. I can't believe we lost Rock Salt and... Oh my god. We barely even had a chance to bond with them, dude. Its damage is definitely capped. It's not doing more than it already was. So that's good, at least. But the likelihood of it missing is so low. And we already... We already screwed that up. And the only thing we can hope to do is just stall it out and hope to God that it misses. <laughs> Which it's probably just not going to. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is desperate, dude. <laughs> like, this is absolutely desperate. Oh my God. Well, we don't have enough. We don't have enough potions to get it to. Oh my god! Oh god! Of course, the crit. Why not? Yeah, this is it. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing to stop this. So. This is it. This is the end of the egg lock, I guess. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, bite, bite's not gonna work. Razor Leaf ain't gonna do shit. Like, all of these moves. This is just it. I probably should have just gone on the offensive. I cannot believe this. Oh yeah, I guess Bug doesn't resist Dark. It didn't matter. It would have done shit. <laughs> it would have done shit. Um. Yeah, no. Teddy Ursa ended up being the scariest thing by far. Like this is this is absurd. And there's no, there's no way that Ebuera can do anything with this. Yeah, beware of the bug type, Jim, I guess. <sighs> Which, I mean, Rock Salt was a decent level for this. I think if we had terrestrialized him early and hit him really hard, that would have been fine. But even then, I don't know if that would have been enough. I can't watch Struggle Pump go. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're right. Still would have died the crit. Well, he, yeah, because he did. He died too a crit, right? Uh, you know what's funny is we talked about the whole we talked about the whole rock polish thing, and like hilariously enough, that would have been probably that probably would have been the way to go. Which is just which is just nuts to think of. I was hoping for maybe a lucky miss here, but this is not gonna happen. Well, Ivan tanked it at least. At least, maybe there's hope. There's no hope. It would have to. It would have to miss, and we'd have to gamble on whatever. We don't have any big heals anymore either, because that would put him like right below the threshold of where that would work. Maybe they'd. Uh, how much? How much health would they have? No, because these are only 10. They had four health left. This would put him at 31. And I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, no, I think they'll have one health left as long as it doesn't crit. I was hoping for a miss. That would have been cool. Oh, they <sighs> yeah, this will kill him, I think. Well, today's been pretty terrible, and this makes it even worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. That's my fault, man. I should have I should have leveled up rock salt more. Died to the first fucking gym. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Uh well, we can continue it, but apparently traditionally you just stop. So that would feel like a ton of wasted effort on uh that that was unbelievable. That was a great uh that was a great like it was, it was a great team, too. I actually, I think it was a wonderful spread. I think the Corn Bros were great. I think Ivan was going to be great. Uh, all of them were going to be great. That was a fantastic lineup, but... Yeah, unfortunately... That is, uh, that is that. Enough eggs for you to restart without problem. Yeah, um... That you needed to pay to her for massacring your team, yeah. I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay with like starting over or whatever. The only thing I hate is like having to get through all this fucking dialogue again. But um, also like super super early in the game. We're not even at the first fucking gym yet. Well, we lost the first gym, which is impressive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, we had some pretty we had some pretty nasty uh, some pretty nasty defeats from uh, the original Egglock. This was this was terrible. Who would have thought, thought Stuffed Teddy Bear was apparently the destroyer of worlds? I think the reason it's so hard early on if you don't have, like, a pretty beefed up team or, like, things that are just gonna, like, rip through them is you, uh... Um... You kind of end up in a situation where, with a move like Fury Cutter, since most of the fights aren't gonna be, like, big, you know, one shot, so you're not just gonna, like, wipe the floor with them really quick, it lets a move like that that can gain in power get super strong which makes it to where like most of your lower level pokemon are just gonna get crushed you know what i mean because i think i think what happens here is most people will use like a fire type or you know a big beefy rock type or something like that just to just to kind of knock through them but 
I think the, uh... I think the big problem with that is just like, yeah, you, you kind of enable that move to use like its full potential, especially if it doesn't really miss, which we did get lucky on a miss earlier. But I feel like if I had played like, uh... oh, yeah, that's yeah, we totally just killed it in one hit. And but apparently if you don't have like a team that's ready to tank some serious hits from Fury Cutter, if like you lose one of your big ones, then that's that's a tough that's a tough gym. It's actually kind of crazy that that's the first gym with that Fury Cutter setup. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I mean, if we always start, like, running out of, like, eggs or whatever towards, like, later, but... Um... I'm trying to think if I want to, like, start it over, keep it legit, or if we just... pick it up from here. Uh, that, that's, that is absolutely... I was so excited about that team, too. I think that's what the most depressing part is. It was a really good, uh... It was a really good lineup. Yeah, kind of like Dragon, yeah, Dragon Rage is just doing like a shitload of damage. Um, I would say let's just start here if we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll just say that that's like a soft restart because it is anyway. Um, there's not really much we've gained or anything like that. I think, uh, I don't think anybody gives a shit about it being legit. I don't think there's anybody here who fucking cares about that. It's still going to be, a, it's still going to be a trial. So we'll, uh, we'll just trade out and do, um, We'll just do a few new eggs, uh, maybe like two of them, just to start with, uh, or one. Um, matter of fact, one would probably be fine, because we can kind of work with that, and uh, we can beef beef that Pokemon up a good bit to prepare them for whatever. Yeah, because like, I, I, I would just be like, oh, well, let's do it legit and go back. Legit means that we're just going to sit there for the next two, how long? Two and a half, three hours, just thumbing through dialogue. We'll do, we'll do two, I guess, um, just to level those up together, and, uh, that's, this is the retired box, is over there in box two, so, this is the trash box in box one. I cannot fucking believe I let that team get killed. What could I have done different? I mean, even if I had known about the Fury Cutter thing, I would have easily, easily underestimated how much damage that did. Because Rock Salt got beat the fuck up. I'm sorry, Salt Rock. Uh, Corn Bros got just... They were, like, our only hope, and unfortunately they got clocked, too. Um, yeah, Dangle Spike going down as easy as they did was kind of kind of crazy. That was that was surprising. <sighs> oh, I have no idea. I just got him in box two for right now. We'll we'll move stuff around. Yeah, I think we probably needed to just beef up basically everybody, but Fuck, that was, that is like the worst loss I think I've ever had in any of these like challenging things we've done. That feels abysmal. <laughs> like that feels so fucking bad. On top of, uh, on top of everything else is not feeling great. Like, oh boy, that's, that's some bullshit. Um, what we can do, I guess, if, yeah, if we want to keep it legit, we can go to, uh, like a new area, I guess. Why does this feel like old? Oh, it's because the map's doing that like weird rotatey thing. So we could run to uh, could run out. Can you even run to the field right now? Or I think you could run past our area because if we could run out there, we can go and get the new egg from there. Which is hilarious, too, that, like, Rock Salt was just something I wasn't really paying attention to, and I, I didn't think we'd need to do anything like that at all, uh, as far as, like, starting, starting stuff off. Yeah, it was a test to see if online trading works. <laughs> yeah, we, it's good. Look at that man floating over there. He's doing a good job. No, I mean, I would like to keep some legitimacy to it for my own sake, because that's, like, if I start to dissolve too many of the things here and there, then it, what's the point of doing it in the first place? So we'll keep it going just for the sake of not having to, because I do want to do this still, but I really do not want to have to go through three hours of just dialogue and nonsense for no reason. Um, we could run through here and go to that Pokemon Center over there, I think, unless there's like something holding us back from doing that. Nah, we should be able to take the route out there. 
but I'm not gonna be able to fight any trainers or anything like that, so I might want to head back to the other side and maybe go out the east gate. Uh, I might be a little bit easier. Yeah, because we're gonna have the east gate and go that way. Just ignore trainers, since we have no Pokemon to battle with. Oh, buddy. It's, um... I don't know what this is. I just, I just cannot believe how fucking hard we got clocked during all that. Started playing Rivals of Ether a smidge and colored my main the Bitter Bits palette. It's beautiful, Jamie. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, we might near the uh, after a little while. Yeah, we might need some new, some more eggs. I'm not sure. We have a thing in Discord where you can the egg organization deal or whatever, which we might be able to you know add extra eggs to that, I guess, or whatever. Dude, I cannot believe this shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I just have to ignore the traders. I, I have nothing that can battle, so that's uh. That's poop. I'm send an egg right away. Wait, you just want to do it right away? Wait, we can. It's fine. Pokemon Center's like right up there, which I may as well just go tag it really quick anyway. We'll we'll do everything on the run back. Just can't believe that shit, dude. Uh what a what a wild ride. Not only did we find a random shiny, because, okay, we got swept by the first gym leader and by a move that I don't even think I had ever seen a Pokemon use outside of, like, just some random bullshit, and it did, like, no damage, and then I just moved on with my life. As it turns out, early on, a Terrastalized Fury Cutter is a nightmare. Oh, yeah, good. There's rocks on this route. Add insult to injury. That's fine. To the fucking bug gym, dude. This means I can never make fun of bug Pokemon ever again. But the irony is, the bug Pokemon didn't do shit. It was a Teddy Ursa that became a bug. Add insult to injury. <laughs> but I would assume that people would like this to continue, and I would really like to not restart the whole fucking thing and make a new character and sit through the mountains of Pokemon dialogue that you can't skip. Oh. But bug Pokemon? Not even a bug Pokemon. Okay, let me reboot. Let me reboot my brain here because. You get into a better headspace because, man, I'm bummed out. <laughs> that sucked. I feel like I did something wrong, but I have no clue what else we should have done other than just doing rock polish and, like, trying to just knock him out that way, which, again, I, I couldn't have imagined using rock polish in the first fucking gym. Like, no way. Yeah, we probably should have leveled up more. I thought 14, 15 was probably good, but I guess since Salt Rock was a higher level than everybody else, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, that was it. Yeah, I think if some of the other ones have been a little bit higher level. Shit, I don't know. With how hard Fury Cutter was hitting and how our the type disadvantage we had, that might have that might have just straight knocked out some of the other ones too, though. Yeah. Because if I was going to put everything on him, I probably should have done a bit more of a setup with that, but... Jeez. Yeah, hit a lot harder, uh... <laughs> hit a lot harder than I expected, pretty much, across the board. Ugh. You were worried because you knew Teddy did that? Did you actually think that was going to be a big problem? Hmm. God, I'm seeing the whole, like, MILF Hunter won a Steam Deck, which is pretty hilarious. What a fucking, what a fucking thing. <laughs> what? What a fucking thing. Thank you guys again for uh, for all facilitating this. Oh God. Hope we got a clip of that disaster. I want to always remember that. 
Yeah, after seeing how much damage it did, I figured we'd lose like one, but I think it was the grim reminder that our entire team was pretty much weak against Bug. And I was like, well, this sucks. This <laughs> sucks. Oh, God. That is true, yeah, I guess that entire, that entire saga was a highlight, wasn't it? All right. Thank you, Jigakuro, for doing. What if the egg was a teddy or so? I'd just throw it in the trash. I'd be like, oh man, that's crazy. I thought we got an egg. I didn't realize. And then just put it in the garbage. <laughs> just put it in the garbage. <laughs> like, no thanks. No thanks. All right, we'll run around in a... Okay, sorry, game. I know, I gotta put it in the other slot. Apologies. Now I gotta fly over to... Um, I'm still I'm still reeling over here, dude. I'm still falling apart. Oh, jeez. Where are we going? Not Los Platos. It's uh. Where, where are we going? This is the school. It's south of here, right? Because it's Victory Road. Is it this one over here? Yeah, because it's Area 1. I got it. That's it. Or not? Oh, no, that's not it. Dumb dumb. That's like way... Way out of what... Where the fuck did I cut? This map confuses the shit out of me. Did it rotate again? I don't think so. Yeah, it's the south, right? Oh, my head. Oh, yeah, because there's our house and stuff. Right, the lighthouse. Okay, cool. We'll run the lighthouse path. Oh, my God. That poor team. I was so excited about all of them. I was, I was so excited. <laughs> and it was ripped out by my own hands. I did this. Time to run around for a few minutes and hatch a thing. Yeah, it probably did cut my brain. That sounds about right. <sighs> Holy hell. What a shit show. Oh, <laughs> whatever we get, it's going to have to be like over leveled for, uh, for. Oh, that's right. We do have Karidon now. Um... Yeah, sorry. My brain went back in time after I got beaten into the fucking dirt by an actual baby bear. A baby bear that had some bugs on it. I did, I did add the egg to the party. We're good. We're good on that. We're good there. Oh, man. This is going to be one of those streams where when I'm done, I'm probably just going to stare at the wall for a little bit and be like, yeah. Good one. <laughs> good one, dude. A baby bear wearing a butterfly hat. Could not, could not have been defeated by anything worse, I think. Actually, yeah, I could have. I could have been double kicked by that fucking stupid bug and died that way. Because at least the, uh, at least the bear was like... <laughs> at least the bear was like not a... Words. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Could have been killed by Hand Rock. That's absolutely true. That could have happened. It could have been the worst. I could have just quit streaming altogether. Which, boy, how do you know it? I would have. I'd be like, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm done. <laughs> it's it's not worth it. I'm finished. Whichever Pokemon hatches first, I'm gonna hit with the XS candy. That way, we have at least something to fight with. All right, gang. Look at this. It's a soft restart to the Egg Lock because I blew it. Oh my god. Let's see what we get. Yeah, thank god Handrock's not in this, because I'm sure he would have killed us at some point, right? Oh look, it's Rock Ruff. Alright. Great. Alright, little Rock Ruff. He will not Well He might have you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say shit. Whose is this? Who is the who is the savior? It's from Soul Knight. Okay, Soul Knight, are you naming this? Or you wanna you wanna roll it out of the community? Which one do you wanna do? I think you used Ursaluna during PLA 
How could its can do this to you? Did I use Ursulina? I probably did. I probably... Nas? Okay, that's actually a good name. I like that. Nas is a good name. With a Z. Make sure it has the Z in there or else that would just be... Just not okay. Very cute. I don't really remember exactly how they evolve either. They evolve at like night or some shit. Some weird thing like that. I'm gonna put old Scat or whatever the fuck its name is. <laughs> I just realized his name was Scat. Oh shit. It has own tempo and uh, which makes it special and be able to become dust form, which is really strong. Level 25, day, night, or dusk, depending. <laughs> Fucking Eglin's best. Or like Eglin's worst. All right. Pokemon sticks to its own tempo, preventing it from becoming confused or being affected by Intimidate. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's Adamant. Adamant's the attack up, right? Yeah. I think they're a regular attacker. Yes. I'm pretty sure. They actually look like they're relatively balanced early on. Look at that, dude. Maybe Rock Rub will save us. Oh, I feel like I threw the rule book in the trash by just by just continuing this, but I'm, gonna be, I'm making the executive decision on not running around for the next uh, three and a half hours of just listening to the same dialogue just to get back to the exact same point and nothing changed. So <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's probably probably the right call there. I mean, technically, yes, we do make the rules, but, you know, here you go. What level's the garbage out here? Don't, 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 don't. I just want to see what level that thing was. Level five, okay. Not the, uh, not the worst. Not the worst thing in the world. I guess I actually, uh... Well, that's the problem with fucking Pokemon games, right? Is just, like, restart... I don't know how in the world Pokemon speedrunners exist. I, I don't. I have no clue. That's fine, just float. Who cares, right? <laughs> Who cares, right? Oh, we don't even have we don't even have a rock move. Oh my god. <laughs> just catch it. Because I feel like if we try to run away, you know, I know what's gonna happen. Please catch. Thank god. <gasps> Everything's terrifying now. The bugs, I'm damaged forever. <laughs> the bugs have damaged me in a way that I cannot describe. Uh, it's a long time just to get to the school, but the school itself takes like a month because it is just spamming through stuff forever. That's cool, Sass. Yeah, I mean, you don't need it, right? What? Oh, this is the egg. Okay, cool. All right, second egg in the uh, soft reboot. Soft boiled egg lock is what we're going to call it now. Cut. There's fucking olive. Okay, so we have rock and, what, grass, I guess? Alright, whose small live is this? <laughs> whose who's small live is this? Yeah, the first three hours I was just spamming through dialogue. Biggie Smalls! Who's, whose is it, though? Yeah, it is, it is definitely, it is not getting used in the bug gym. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I will tell you that much. Huh. Okay, so this is Ebor. Well, Ebor has other Pokemon's dead, so that's fine. We'll go with Lily. We'll go with Lily. It's fine. I like it. I'm into it. I'm fine with that. We'll roll, we'll roll the next few. Still, still in awe. I'm just still in awe, dude. I guess I need to catch Pokemon to level up for right now because, uh, yeah, Rockruff has Sand Attack and it's just gonna die. Uh, Poop, Poop Face can go back in the box because he doesn't need to be out here. Old, old Scatterbug. I, I didn't actually farm up any other candy. Uh... And I know he'd be fine against, like, bugs and stuff like that, but, yeah. That's okay. We can always uh, we can always just catch more trash. But the small lives? Are they all grill? I didn't know that. 
Watch that thing somehow just kill me. I'm telling you, dude, these fucking bugs. Assholes. Assholes. Yes. Oh, yeah, last time we were the frat squad, and the frat squad got the police called on them. And they fucking died. Like, oh man, what's the frat squad doing? Oh, they're dead. Is that, is that Psyduck sleeping? Oh, look, everybody, a roll. <laughs> oh, ain't it fun? Ain't it a fun day? A fun day. Uh, no, I'm okay with I'm okay with leveling these guys up. It shouldn't take too long. Especially once we get like an actual move, it won't be bad. Now I may use auto battle to maybe speed that process up a little bit. That thing's gonna kill me. Thank God. Thank God, Rock Rough is is you know Rock because otherwise, God help me. I'm sad as heck that Golduck never got a new form like Primate did or Primate. They might at some point. I don't know how popular Golduck is. I know a lot of people like Primate, which is weird. Dude, if this thing used Hyper Beam, I'd just, I'd just quit. I'd be like, all right, everybody. Well, I wasn't going to, I don't want to use auto for like a lot of stuff, but, you know, since the moves don't matter right now, it'd be a good idea to go up against the the bugs of the world. Why? Why am I? Just leave. This thing is this thing is so annoying. Probably a good idea, actually, just to take it into like a buggy area and just start throwing throwing auto battles or whatever. It'd be good to use on bird and bug, but the problem is he doesn't actually have a rock move. But for auto battle, if that's what you mean, yeah, that, that'd be perfect. That's probably what we're going to do. Just find like a, I'll just find like a clump of trash and just throw them at it. No, I did not really want to use these, but I think for the time being, it's probably the safe, the safe thing to do. Safe, well, safe. Also, maybe a little bit quicker too, just because we can churn through these a little bit faster than dealing with actual battles. At least until he learns like a rock move or something like that. Because if he doesn't have a rock move, then it's just gonna be a big old problem. It'll be a big old problem. Heepo, what's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? What were you guys up to? Welcome to you folks. Welcome to Bitter Bits. My name's Nick. We're playing a, uh, we're doing an Egglock challenge in uh, Pokemon. And uh, traditionally, if you lose and everybody dies, which is because it's permadeath, you restart. However, we just got swept by the first gym, which is unbelievable. We went into it with a decent team. We were like about the right level, but we got clocked in the first gym. So instead of going back through, as Pokemon games are famous for, with eight million different, uh, eight million different lines of dialogue at the beginning, we are, uh, we're just gonna, we did a soft reset, we got two new eggs, and we're gonna level these guys up and go back at it. He is so ridiculous. I didn't realize his back tire is actually his tail, and I used to make fun of him, and now I realize that I shouldn't have, because that's actually pretty funny that his back tire is his tail curled up. I used to just think it was a gross tire that just went away, which makes no sense considering he has a tail. So I don't know why I didn't put two and two together on that one, but hey, I'm an idiot, so. Um, but thank you, Hippo, and thank you to everybody who came over in the raid. I hope you guys had fun. I hope RimWorld was good. I think you were... Did you watch the... Were you watching the Game Award thingies? I don't think you were. I normally don't watch them because I think they're fucking dumb. Well, the the like the the announcements are fine. I'm talking about like the any of any of this shit in between. I can't deal with it. So now you should make make more fun of him because that is actively detrimental versus having a tail. That is true, absolutely true. We also are not normally using auto battle, but since we got absolutely creamed, um, like and I mean destroyed, like we got beat up by a baby bear with a flower on its head. Which is kind of incredible because I didn't I didn't think Teddy Ursa would be a threat at all. For bug Pokemon, they weren't. Teddy Ursa terrestrialized into bug when you're like the same level. You don't have like your beef ass starter and shit. Like they will just fury cutter you into the dirt. It was unfucking real, dude. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
but regardless. Welcome to this, everybody. I hope you guys had fun. What, what'd you do in RimWorld, anyway? Wait, you didn't really, you didn't really enjoy playing RimWorld, or you didn't enjoy, or you didn't watch the Game Awards? Oh god, it's old Pooper. It was the child that got arrested, yes. Well, the Game Awards can suck it, right? I was, uh... There was something funny that happened earlier. I'm trying to remember what it was now. My brain, my brain is completely shot because I was not expecting to have to soft boil our egg lock and do like a little soft reboot of it because I had no clue we get knocked out by the first two. Fury cut my team into pieces. This is my greatest mistake. Suffocation, no breathing. Gotta restart the egg lock because, you know, inside I'm seething. It's impressive that you can't find a clip of that. That feels like something you'd be able to find a clip of very easily. Oh, you brought the colony back from Brink. Nice. Maybe I can maybe I can do the same with this. But I'm already proud of Nas and Lily because I think they're going to be great. I'm very proud of them. I think they're going to do a great job. I'm very excited. And it's true. Imagine what I get from soft-boiled Egglock, except I'm not. We should post that again for anybody who's missed it, by the way. Every, uh, every stream I start now, I've decided that if it's a new game, I'm making a crappy Photoshop of whatever it is. And tonight we had the crappy Photoshop of what I envision an Egglock of in my head. I'll let somebody post that. It was beautiful. I'd love to share it with the world. I believe. I believe, too. I also believed in our last team, which was amazing. They were amazing, and I let them down because we did not level up enough, and we just got obliterated by a Terrasalize. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what they'd actually, like, charge him for, because I don't really know if you... like, what they would charge him for. Hello. Yeah. Okay, has Rock Ruff learned any... any Rock moves? What is this little baby? How does he not have anything? Maybe you don't normally see Rock Ruff this early or something. Yeah, can't arrest him for that, unfortunately. So he actually, you know, commits a crime. I mean, oh, shit, I wish we could, but unfortunately we can't. He get Rock Throw at 12? Okay, cool. Yeah, I was thinking trespassing earlier. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, we can check the we can check the TM maker. We got some uh we got some trash from these guys, so like maybe we can get something. Oh my god, that gross tarantula is in here. Get out of here. Get out of here, you dusty McNasty. I would agree. Yeah, if you could like save state. Yeah, save state like after the initial intro. I would say save stating. If we had the option to have save stated after getting to this Pokemon Center, because all the all the shit before is completely superfluous, that I would have just absolutely restarted. Like, no question about it. Like, that would have been fine. I would not have cared. I'd be like, okay, fine, whatever. Let's just keep going. The problem is that if we started over, we would effectively be getting no new content and just sitting here for hours just going through dialogue. Yeah, the only thing I can think of outside of like a trespassing, which I agree with Jigakuro, I don't even know if that would work. It would probably be like disturbing the peace, but even then, I don't know if that, that's more of along the lines of like somebody like blasting fucking loud ass music at like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I don't think that would work either. <laughs> bike save state. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess getting the bike would also be another one, but there's there's substantial content in between those two those two windows there, so. Okay, we could go fight some of those trainers. That's a little sketchy, though, because, again, Lily and Rock and, uh, and Nas are n neither in the state to battle fucking anything, really. They're pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, they have no moves. Oh, my God. This might end up being harder than a... Oh, no, 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 why did I do that? Yeah, this might end up being more difficult than it already was. <laughs> like, because I think a few of these guys are pretty, pretty uh, late bloomers. I remember, like, fighting a couple Rock Ruffs that were, like, good. I don't remember them any of them being, like, stellar, but they were mostly, like, trainer Rock Ruffs. 
And I also don't know if Rockruff's appearance changes based off of when you evolve them. I have no clue which ones we were fighting. Okay. Oh, I'm very, I'm very excited about Nas and uh, and Lily though. I've actually never even really paid attention to Smallive's evolutions. I don't know if they suck or if they're good or whatever. They have a strange Evo level for an early grass mon. I don't, I don't even know what level that is. Oh, uh, you missed an entire party wipe, Ultima. Like we got clocked so hard by a Teddy Ursa that was terrorized into a bug. It was really bad. <laughs> like it was terrible. Oh, I never saw him. Wow. Interesting. Oh, yeah. We were going to start over, but Chad agreed that doing it, since we're so early, starting over would be really dumb because we'd basically just be sitting through a bunch of dialogue. So we hit a new Pokemon Center, got a new egg, got a bonus egg thing to replace, I guess, our starter deal. And now we have Nas and Lily. And uh, that is who we'll be using for this next bit. And I'm going to go check the TM machine really quick to see it. T TM machine machine. You go see what it do. Also, Heepo, if you're still here, so it's cool if you're not. I know you probably want to go get food and shit. Is there anything you saw at the Game Awards or any, any of Heepo's folks who are excited about anything? Making TMs. We got Fake Tears, Mud Slap, Thunder Fang, Fire Fang. I'm gonna need uh, Houndor's shit for that. Craftable TMs first. Okay, so we can make uh, Mud Slap, Protect, Low Kick. Struggle bug, that's me. Wow. Uh we had Psybeam available. Fuck. I didn't know we had Psybeam available, that sucked. Swift would probably be okay for uh for for Nas right now. We already have a we already Nas can't even learn Swift. The only one I can learn is small of Also, check their remember moves to see if auto battle somehow made them skip learning moves. Uh, I don't think it did, but we certainly can check. Oh, this is just the exchange. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, according to what Jigakuro was saying a second ago, I don't think we actually missed anything. Uh, we have Fake Tears, we have uh, Low Kick already, we have Struggle Bug, we have Aerial Ace, Swift, Endure, Thunder Wave, and Rest. Cool, alright. Well, now at least Smoliv has an attack that's not, you know, Tackle. <laughs> so that's good, good for them. Let's have let's have small of go actually beat stuff up for a minute and see what happens with that. Even though it's a normal move, and they're whatever they are right now, grass, nothing. Oh hey, an XP candy. Not gonna be a lot, but it'll be something. I'd at least like them to have like you know a grass move, I guess. I could check it anyway here really quick. Oh, so it did. It missed absorb. Okay. Well, at least it got that. What is the little cinnamon bun dog? He's like, what? Electric, maybe? Or no, not electric. They're a uh... hoop. Fairy. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because little uh, Dox bun is 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 big. They're like immune to like fire or some shit too. I don't know what their deal was. Boy, having a... Okay. Oh, hey, a trainer. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Hiking's real simple. Do you want to die? Oh. Oh, Palmy's like a—he's like a little rat man. 
Oh boy. A rock. Is Rolly Coley fire at this point, or is he just... Is he just rock? Oh, dude, I swear to God, if this thing hits me with, like, Ember, I'll just die or some shit. I'm gonna lose it. Thank God it's gonna tackle. Thank God. Still, like, barely do anything. <laughs> We're so sad. We can also hike it to another gym, but that's very dangerous considering I have to I have to fight trainers we encounter. So, like, that could be really bad if I had to get into a trainer fight and uh, died on the way to one. Oh, I guess Absorb would hit harder because they're just rock, right? Whatever. Fine. All right, Lily, I think, learns a new move at 10. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. On the damage thing. Just checking to see if there's any other trainers we missed over here. We could probably fight Duck with Absorb, maybe. Well, the only way, the only way I think that the Grass Gym would... I don't, I don't think the Grass Gym is a good, a good, uh, good call right now. I think, like, especially with our, our current lineup, it would depend on whatever we got on the way to the Grass Gym, uh, or when we got to the city itself, as to, like, whether or not the Grass Gym would be a good call. Because as of right now, uh, we could maybe make it through it with Lily if we were leveled up enough, but the Grass Gym is a higher level than the Bug Gym. Lily's gonna be completely useless in the Bug Gym, because they're gonna get just clocked by all that crap, uh, but the, but Nods can do pretty well there, as long as we just focus on getting them some decent, uh, chunk of levels, but considering we won't really be getting any more Pokemon until that gym is done anyway, sneaking there is gonna be a disaster, though, because I don't know where the trainer locations are, and if I see the text box, I have to fight them, so. Hey, Lily learned Lily, wow, Razor Leaf at level 10. I guess that's, that's about right. Oh, Razor Leaf is physical, though. Yeah, chat's the one who supplies me with the eggs, Saito. And we got our shit pushed in a minute ago, and it was the greatest embarrassment of my Pokemon life. We were, we were obliterated. The, the spread... The spread... Yeah, Nas is weak. I'm sorry, did I say grass? I meant, like, they're the bug gym. If we were trying to do the bug gym, uh, Nas should be able to handle that. As long as we as long as we level up enough, and we terrestrialize his ass, and I want I want him to have like a good rock move before God. like not not just like SmackDown like if we can get like Rock Slide or something before then that would be incredible. Like if it's, since we only have two Pokemon, unless we sneak off to go get one, uh, I would prefer Nas to be like level twenty, probably before going in there because like otherwise that just seems like a fucking disaster. I hope he outspeeds him, otherwise we're in big- Oh my god, the amount of float happening right now. 2022, 2022, floating around. Bye-bye, you. Psyduck's fucking dead. It's okay, we hope we don't lose, uh... It's really funny fucking Psyduck down. <laughs> it's like Black Hawk down, but not. I, I was reading the other night about how that movie has like the craziest cast of people in it. And until I've like read the list, I was like, holy shit. Psyduck is adorable. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. He's so fucking cute. Oh good, a crit, my favorite. All right, this isn't this isn't taking too long, thankfully. Catching up. And as soon as Nas learns any move that will actually be a stab for him, that would be great because then we can go smack around other stuff. I just happen to be very choosy right now about what I what I go up against. Uh, there's some burb. We could do more of the auto battle against them, or did we fight this guy as a trainer? Oh shit. 
Any trainer worth their salt? Uh, they're just rubbing it in, dude. They're just rubbing it in, man. Fuck you, scatterbug, you piece of shit. Garbage can, I hate all of you bugs. I hate bug Pokemon even more than I used to. Even though, really, in this case, it wasn't even the bug Pokemon's fault. But I'm gonna pretend it was, because I gotta hate something. I gotta, gotta have my ire directed towards something, man. I forgot it's like there's like 80 million ripped people in this. I don't even know what that thing's type is. I'm dead. What level is it though? It's only level seven, so maybe we'll get lucky here. Yes, every playthrough, my feud with the bugs grows. Every single one. I will not be happy until the bugs have been eradicated from this world. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, that's just a sloth, dude. That's all it is. You're right. Slack off is just a sloth. He's just hanging out. Right, Paula. Get destroyed. Yeah, I suppose we should probably still be just like auto battling here and there just to. Just for this bit, I'm not going to auto battle like later. I'm just trying to catch up here. So this isn't like the most boring thing ever. But really, it's still not the most boring thing because it's still kind of sweaty sometimes. I feel like calling him auto dog. Auto dog winning all the fights. Auto dog winning all the fights. Yeah, it sounds about right, Ultima. Sounds about right. Hey, another level up. Cool. Now we just gotta get Nog to level 12 ish. Did we fight that guy? Yes. Thank God. Where are you going? Fight that. I don't really remember what hop it is. What is hop it? The like fairy doo doo? Fairly stupid? Ha ha ha! Yes! Oh good, grass bird. Right. I think we had this entire conversation earlier and I'd already just checked that out in my brain. Check that out. Early check out. See you later. Not dealing with it anymore. Come on. We can probably take him into the next zone now, I guess. Or we can go look for those trainers that are over on the other side, too, and go fight them. I just really want him to hit level 12. Can you do the killing? Uh. Alright, well, I guess we'll go back to we'll go back to murdering ourselves. That and the slack off being one of the rarest Pokemon to shiny hunt for in this game. Ooh, how's that? Can he not outbreak or whatever? I see one of the ones that you just kind of have to get lucky and like stumble over him. You'd only get him by ramming into a tree. Oh my god. I would hate to use that rare candy right right now, but I'm kind of feeling it. Oh look, Metal Claw. I'm ramming into a tree? You mean you knock that man out of his natural habitat and then just steal him? Now what level does, uh, what level does Olive or whatever evolve again? 
and knock into a tree. 25 and then 35. It's a pretty, uh, pretty long window on that evolution there. God. That feels like a really long window. And it's true, I never went to the Elite Four Center. But the problem is, if I do that, and if I hit that trainer, I have to fight him, and that's going to kill the rest of our team, and then it's really going to be over for the Egglock. I just don't remember where the trainer is, if they're up there by the gates or if they're down in the road area. Is there a trainer there that has like decently high level Pokemon or no? Remember there being one that had like level 30 somethings or 40 or something like that? Maybe they don't show up until like way later or some shit. Just close your eyes. Oh my God. That's really good. Be like, yeah, man, it's cool. Just close your eyes. You'll never notice. All right, Chunk, I need you to hit fucking 12. Oh, it's like a baby up there. Oh, OK, well, yeah, I must be thinking of something else then. Stop touching me, you weirdo. Oh, God damn it. Oh, little little gnaws. I wish he had anything other than, you know, tackle. Fucking quick attack. Yeah, I thought there was like a big fat trainer at the end of it. I guess not. I guess not. Ooh. Huh. All right. We can go head up there. That, that seems I'm fine with that. Oh, hey, look, it's Amigo or whatever. Fl Flamigo. What a shitty Pokemon, dude. Like, what an ass. Absolute dumpster. <laughs> they were they were just dead ass sitting there like what if I made a flamingo? Be like, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm not telling that to Larry, I wouldn't want to offend him. Yeah, no, Flamingo is just just an animal. Like, you're absolutely right. It's right up there with Seal. Thank you, Zach, for the raid. Did you end up watching the watching the gamies? What is it called? The game gamins? Neil Gaiman. All right, Pooper. How was your? Uh, how was? The, how was it? Was it a good time? Oh, every yeah, everybody told me uh, told me all the stuff that was announced. That's really cool. I'm happy to. I'm happy to hear. It. Happy to hear it. Uh, we had a real bad time over here because. Uh, yeah, um, we went and we went to the first gym thinking it was going to be okay. It wasn't. Uh, we got obliterated by a Teddy Ursa, and it was kind of incredible. Like, we got just smoked. Smoked by a Teddy Ursa that was terrestrialized into bug and spammed Fury Cutter, and it was unbelievably powerful. And I was like, this is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened in my Pokemon journeys. I want to be the very dead, like no one did. Teach Pokemon to dead. What goodies are you looking forward to? It's uh, some cool, some cool stuff that people were telling me. Very, very happy for people who are pumped. OK, there is a fat trainer before the center, but just run the camera pointing to a wall. What the fuck, man? I knew there was some asshole there. Run with a camera pointed to the wall. I can't see him. I can't see him. I can't see him. Ugh. I guess that's what we're doing then. Hey, Lily. How are we still fucking streaming? Because I got us party wiped. We died on the first gym and it was the most embarrassing shit ever because we got fucked over so hard. The only person who knew that there was going to be any trouble with it was apparently Haritsu, and they were just hoping that, like, maybe it was going to be, like, one Pokemon that died? Nope. Complete and total party kill. I would have loved it if Zack had won one. That would have been awesome. Level 50s? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's not even the right fucking thing for Victory Road, is it? <sighs> yeah, I've, I've actually, I've seen Post Trauma before, I think, on Twitter. I think I follow the developer of it. It was right out there by Naranja Academy, wasn't it? Oh my god, dumb dumb. Only one person knew what could be happening, and we were in for a ride. It was... it was... it was a ride. It was... it was very stressful. I could not believe how hard we were just getting smoked. How do you even get the fuck up there anymore? How do you? It's like in a weird place. It's like not logical. It doesn't go like Northwest. I wanna go home. Okay, we'll go home then, man. Not there, is it? Fuck, I hit the wrong button! Oh. The menu, the menu in game in this is so fucking annoying sometimes. Oh, there it is. I think? Near, near the candles. I would, I would have cackled too, because then we could have just quit and be like, okay. But what we did, for those of you who have just now joined us, we are doing what is now called the soft boiled egg lock. And, uh. Oh, there's the mice. I feel so bad. Oh my god. We're trying to cheese another egg right now so we don't get sniped by a trainer. By sniped, I mean, you know, make eye contact with them. Is it that asshole that's got level 50s? Because I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Okay, okay. Just don't look at him. 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 <laughs> Don't even think about looking at him. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> what a mess this has been, man. You can't see me if I can't see you. Oh. That one line from like one of the Slipknot's early songs, it's like, I can see you, but you can't see me or some shit. I'm like, oh god. Look at him, you're being rude. No, you are the one who is being rude. You are strapped to the wall, man. And I'm not, and who is now? You are dick. Another fucking stupid reference that no one will get, because that's just how this works. Well, hey, we get a new egg, everybody. Let's get some hype and chat for whoever's still alive with egg. Oh, what a nasty, nasty nightmare we live. <laughs> fucked up little nasty Pokemon, whatever. Oh. Uh. Ranking Mega Man X's worst armors for what? Okay. Here you go. You can take this bug. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. I hate these stupid bugs. Trade it. excited to see what this egg is, mainly because, like, walking past those little mousies, I'm like, oh my god, that mice. We had so many good Pokemon that were going to be, like, insane late bloomers. We really were. Like, thank you, Jigakuro, once again. Thank you to everybody who submitted eggs and stuff. Um, yeah, we've had so many Pokemon that were, like, could have been, like, insanely good late bloomers. Like, rock becomes stupid good. Like, a mouse becomes stupid good. The damn Pepper Man would have been great. Like, there's so many Pokemon that would have been so good. And like, and we just ate shit. <laughs> we just ate the poop. Oh god. Well, at least we have a. Uh, at least we have each other, right? Now, I'm gonna run around out here and see if there's any other trainer wainers out here to deal with. But Rocky, Rocky Doodle still does not have. 
is fucking any attacks, so that's not good. Rockruff has a lot of utility if you keep him alive. Oh, I completely believe that Nas is going to be one of our big players. Like, based off of just the few times we went up against Rockruffs in the game, just like in general, that was a. Uh, yeah, no, I could, I could totally see that. Oh no, we needed rock, not you. Again, I'm using these temporarily just so we can try to level shit up because I just really don't feel like struggling over here for the time being. Now, if he starts evolving whenever we get to that point, because he evolves like level like 500, right? Um, 25, I think. Whenever we get to that point, which seems like 500 at the moment, but... Whenever we get there, uh, if he starts evolving, do you just, like, cancel it if it's not dust? And also, doesn't that mean I have to change, like, the in-game time and shit? Because there's no way that, like, I'm gonna be able to... Oh, he's level 12. Thank you, God. Finally, this, this child can fight. Oh, what is it that makes him evolve at dusk, then? Like, what's the prereq? So Rock Throw is the same, same, oh my god, it's like a murder, murder wagon. Oh, the in-game dust, there's no real world times. Oh, right, yeah. I keep thinking that there's real world time in this one. Uh, that would be, that would be Smoliv, and it was sent by Eboera, because we lost Eboera's other Pokemon, and Eboera gave us the go-ahead to name the next one, and, uh... Jigakura suggested Lily because you've been dealing with some bullshit, so we're doing a we're doing Lily as the smallest. Beat up the sheep. Nice. Beat up the sheep. Beat up the sheep. I gotta personally beat up the sheep now, because like at least we have rock. Even though rock's not gonna really do us a lot of good, but Yeah, our <laughs> Oh yeah, our character's name is Eglin's best. Even though we're not the best and we died, but it's okay. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Actually, we won't pretend like it didn't happen. We're going to remember that because of how crazy that entire thing was. What about the cheat? I got the cheat right here. Focus on the cheat, damn it. Come on. I can cheat. <laughs> I'm not going to beat up the cheat. I'm going to beat up the sheep. Even though, even though the cheat gets beat up all the time. Nice one. Nice whiff. Yeah, I would say as far as Pokemon levels, I would prefer him to be like at least 18 before going to that gym. Because what level was that Teddy Ursa? 16? 15? I don't know why I'm killing this shit. We have an egg. We have another egg to level up and just struggle now because like we just do not have a lot of powerful Pokemon to carry it. Just a stale ass nine month old peep drying on a shelf. Yes. Thunder wave. Oh my god, I miss salt already. I miss salt being like, oh, thunder wave? No. Disregard. What about the next movie learns is before I die to thunder shock? Look, everybody, I forgot to buy Paralyze Heals. Oh, no, I didn't. I have some. I did forget to buy them, though. These are from God knows what. God knows what. All right, there's a baby. Do you have one? What the fuck? These children with their just abject statements that are just like, is it a thing? You're like, yeah, thanks. Cool. Fucker with you stupid bug. You stupid bug having little shit. I hate you so fucking much, you little garbage man. You fucked up little nasty man. I hate you. What a what a nightmare. Nightmare little poop. Hate you so much. If your parents lose their jobs and you guys end up penniless on the streets of placebo or whatever this place is, you know name.
Might be the only time I think I've ever Terra Swat to get the trainer because I'm just so tired. I'm so tired of their bullshit, dude. That's true, Grey Rat. I could just get a thing that blocks statuses to mimic the power. Is that really all you had? I went through all these battle animations thinking you had like eight bugs. What happened to the stupid trainers that had like 90 bugs on them? Eh. Yeah, I need to not be uh I need to not be shy with terrestrializing this time actually. Because I think um I think in the base game I was just because I would save it for whatever, because it wasn't really that big of a deal because no permadeath, right? Um But the funny part is like now we should probably just be using it, because there's no reason not to. These guys take so long to kill, I just want that. Hey, look, agility, everybody. That's what I should do. I should just spam agility six times or three times or go plus six on speed and then rock up, dude. Oh, Jiga Crow, I was, I was excited about all of it. I was so excited about the whole, the whole shebang. And look at it now. Now it's just sadness. Rest in peace to the team. Matter of fact, let's take a look at him real quick. Pour one out. I miss them so much. I miss them every day. So my, <laughs> did you make that fucking image of Wolverine just swap my face on it? It's just our original team. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture. <laughs> And there it is. Just pure sadness. Oh, buddy. Also, I want more skin because I there's might be like some TMs that I want at some point or something. Oh, look, everybody, a Pokeball. Did we fight that trainer already? Yes. Is that egg in our party? Oh. It was. Look at that. Yeah, it's there. Is that the egg in our party? It was. So that's good. That's good to know that it was. It was there the whole time. What? It was there the whole time, and you can't prove otherwise. This is where I wish like Twitch's clipping was broken, because I'd be like, "There's no proof." You'd be like, "The proof is in the pudding," and I'd be like, "I'm sorry, I don't eat pudding." Yeah, see, Grey Rat's got my back. It was there the whole time. That's how it snaps. I should have actually learned that's how it snaps in Spinlish. That way I could have... That way I could have done that. That looks like a hiker man, which means he's probably Rock Demon, which means I'm going to use Lily, because fuck this. Bruh, what's the way, bruh? Bruh. These, these dudes actually look like crack dealers. Actually, they're not crack dealers. They're like glampers. They're gonna sell you like some really fucking shitty weed for like a lot of money if they find you on the mountains. Are you fucking joking? Fire dog? Mountain man? Fire dog? Jeez. You know what I should do? I should just buff Rockruff's speed of defense into like Nightmareville. And then just spam sand attack. And get pure. Raw fucking vengeance. Hi, Growlithe. Asshole. Pretty sure I bought Kara Balls off this guy at a festival one time. Probably trash. That sounds about right. Sableye. Ooh, I don't really... Why do you have a Sableye already? Also, we have like nothing against that. Because Sableye is like, what, like ghost doo-doo eyes? I mean, defense-wise, it's probably going to be Rock Rough. I'm sorry. Nas. Is it just dark? No, we don't have any fairy moves anymore. Oh, we don't really have a lot of choices here. Uh, this could be bad. Depending on what level it is. What level is that? 12? That's like dark quick attack. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. I knew it was ghost. I knew it. I remember thinking Sableye was cool until I realized it was basically Haunter with a body and gems for eyes. Uh, yeah, I guess Lily does have Razor Leaf now. Yeah. 
I would just I'm really worried about um I'm really worried about their physical defense. That's my big uh, that's my big concern. We might have to though, depending on how much damage that Shadow Sneak does next time, because I feel like if it crits, it's not nah, it kills a big crit. Uh the next one will though. Uh for sure. You mean Lily had the devil's less lettuce. I don't know, does Lily have the devil's lettuce? It might. It might. Wait. Oh, because they're normal, right? Is it like grass normal right now or some shit? Hot damn. I keep thinking they're pure grass. They are not. Small of evolution better not look stupid. I have a really weird feeling it's gonna look really dumb. Running around in the rain, waiting for an egg to hatch. Little, this little meowy cat, dude. Hey, I'll come here, buddy. Now, on a scale of one to Bweasel, how cute are we talking? What, you, what the hell was that? You walk in here and then leave? Don't mind me, I'm just floating next to a pillar. Why would it not be set to call the player character too if it calls the mount? This is ridiculous. We're too moist. We can't even hit each other. Look, I didn't try to get anybody killed last time. That wasn't exactly that wasn't exactly the plan. Okay, <laughs> the plan was not to get Teddy Ursa into the dirt. Which is kind of hilarious, too, because I'm never going to look at Teddy Ursa ever the same again. Like, never. There's no way. I'll never look at that Pokemon the same way, and all I'm going to see is its stupid bug bullshit and killing my entire team. I don't know why I absorbed. That was really stupid. It's only level 7. I'm actually surprised these are so low level out here. I think we have to go out down towards the gym if we want to get the stuff that's like 12, 13-ish. Part of me misses the uh, part of me misses the level up system and let go too. It's actually pretty cool. Every time I find people talking about like the different games, though, it seems like a lot of people did not like Let's Go, and I guess maybe they were expecting something different from what it was supposed to be, and that I can understand. Meow. I hear you. One of these days, I'm gonna get that meow on recording, and everybody can hear it and be like, "God, that is the most ratchet thing I've ever heard." Well, come on, why don't you come up here, you ding ding? He's like, I'm gonna run. Hey. Yeah. I know you want to munch on court. Hey! Oh my god, yeah, go in there and knock everything. No, that's fine. Oh, people just wanted a remake, not the gimmicks. Let go ahead, uh, or let's go rather. They wanted another remake of Red and Blue. Weird. Well, there's a boy over there. Oh, look at that big pile of the the things we've lost. Hey. All right. Get the had his chance and then he went for the bunch. <laughs> don't even have to spritz him half the time. He just runs from me. He's like, oh god, no. He's like, not the moist. <sighs> okay, well, Lily's level 15 now, so that's pretty good. Still haven't really learned jack shit other than Razor Leaf. Oh, we already fought this dude. Well, shoot. I was hoping that was a new guy. Would you play Pokemon Let's Go Geo, dude? No. No, I would not. I can't. I I can't imagine a game I'd hate more than that, actually. God, and what if it was just called Pokemon and Rock? 
Like, not, they got real let's go, because they know that nobody can be excited about it. They're like, po Pokemon and rock. Yeah. Wow, those clouds are really crazy. They just pop in and pop out like that. I wonder how they do that. Pokemon VR game where you're just hand rock. Finally. Oh, there we go. The egg. 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 What is it? Wow. I, um... I didn't even know that Charmander was in this. A, really exciting. B, what? What do you mean he what? We had a Charizard raid. How the fuck does that even? What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I missed the Charizard right. Oh, did they do it like right after we finished our playthrough or whatever? God, dude. The name Ghetto White Booty is certainly something. Uh, the new Pokemon is pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Uh, this is our second playthrough. This is a Egglock. So. You actually never got far enough to have done it. Oh, do you have to like go do... What do you have to do then? What do you mean I didn't get far enough? Did we do like everything? Don't judge my name, I was born this way. That sounds that sounds pretty reasonable, I think. Oh, you have to do all the gym. You have to do the fucking gym refights? Ew. Well, I guess you do get to see Larry again. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. It's really cool though, I love it. Uh, okay, I think most of this stuff down here is, like, relatively low level, so I'm gonna zip, zippity-bippity up to the... I always hit select for the menu, I don't know why. Oh, I, I fucking love Larry, I think he's great. I think he's probably one of my favorite trainers in this entire game. I'm, I'm not joking, like, there's something about the dude's disposition and how anti-Pokemon he is, like, as a concept. Like, he's just a dude, and it's the best. Like, I love him just being a guy. It's so damn funny. If he's not like, he doesn't have crazy clothes. Like by his very nature, actually, it's kind of hilarious because he is in a weird way, just like odd, completely odd for this, which is so funny because he's not an odd person, but like because of what, <laughs> because of like his general get up and everybody else is like insane. Yeah. Oh God, I didn't know this is was level 14. This is good though. Really could knock that out pretty easy. There's also there's also rock roughs up here. I wonder what the next thing Lily learns is. I know I know Razor Leaf is, is a special attack, which is or uh, physical, and I think they're special, so no, that's not the best for him. Oh my god, this thing is dunking. Well, let me just sprints really quick because I, I just don't like final life playing those. I'm kind of sad that, like, the DS destroyed itself before we got into, like, a real meat of Sun and Moon. Because, uh, I was really, really enjoying, uh, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon's, uh, like, just the story for it was really interesting. It got weird, and I was like, this is definitely very strange for a Pokemon game. This one was pretty strange for a Pokemon game, too, though. How does this thank you, shit. Hooray, Charmander learned Ember. All right. I can't believe we have a Charmander. Oh, shit. What are we fucking naming it? I'm so sorry. My brain. Uh, yeah, who's who? who is this? Are we rolling this? Oh, it's Nimeros. Okay. Do we know if Nimeros wanted it named after them or were we doing what? Fucking Eglin's best. <laughs> Why does he look so desaturated? He look a little desaturated? They left no instructions. No. Okay, well we could name him Nimros or we could roll it out. What do you guys think?
Dude, Wonderlock looks like... That sounds like a disaster, and I love it. What does that, that entail? Can you only use Pokemon that you get from the Wonder Trades? They provided some other Pokemon. Okay, we could roll that since they're not here right now, because if we end up with another Nimrods one and they're here, we can just uh, do whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah, here, type in type in Char if you want to do it. Yeah, we'll do that, because I imagine people would like to name a Char Charmander. But, uh, yeah, if they have another egg that shows up, um, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Just Char, C-H-A-R. Sorry, I thought I did not say Charred, but <laughs> maybe I did say Charred. It's just C-H-A-R, Char, like the first four. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Yes, like the Gundam character. Like the Gundam character. What the fuck is Marvel Snap and why do I see why do I see that popping up so much? There's another one of them there mobile games. Oh, it's a card game. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, let's let's uh, let's roll this out. We do not have too many people, so this is a good opportunity for you to get it. There's only seven people in the running for this. Uh, and I'm rolling it. Inferno, you're naming the... Name it Chardo. Fucking <laughs> Chardo. As the boy Chardo over there, what's he doing? You know, just charting around. Fucking El Chardo. God. El. Alright, let's see what this doo-doo dumpster trainer has. Oh, it's Bird! Oh, it's Bert. Time to leave. <laughs> Time to walk away. Fucking Chardo. God, it's like every Pokemon we're encountering in this area is just like a slap in the face. Like, we've seen Mouse, we've seen Salt, we've seen fucking Greenoid over there. Oh my god. Wow, Fletchling. You tanked that like a champion. I think it would take too long to probably catch uh, old Chardo up, so we'll probably end, we'll probably end up using Gnaws for uh, for this gym. As long as they learn anything new by like level like 18, 19, and I really I really hope they do. I would assume they do. You got money and money. You got the money. You did it. That is true, there's always the drugs to catch up. Oh look, Gastly's! Good. There's Donkey with the power of kick. I'm trying to think of where else we can go to scrunge up. Scrunge up some Pokemon. I don't want to go too far up there because I feel like they're going to start getting a little bit too, too dense. A little too Dunkachino, if you know what I'm talking about. There's another. Whoa. What a haul! Oh god. Look, everybody, it's me if I didn't look anything like me. Mastrip, so he just looks so concerned at all times. Oh, he's only got the one shit. I was gonna tear a slide. You made Pleat Dogs, those Pokemon? We're doing it. We're doing it right now, dude. Please don't hone claws and kill me. That would suck.
<laughs> this dude just spamming own gloss. I love the AI sometimes. This is like, I am a buff pig. Here we go. The joke would be on me if I missed that rock throw and he just started sweeping the team. And I was like, all right, everybody, that's it for the egg lock. We'll see you guys later. You can have some prize money, but you can't have any materials. I want you to touch me. Get out of here. I don't want anything you have. I don't want, I don't want any of your bullshit. What? Turn the camera? What's going on? A pink Marit near the wall? I'm sure it wasn't just the, uh... It was probably just the Hoppip, I would wager. The, oh, it was Mastiff? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, look, guys, you got another shiny. We did find the shiny Hoppip earlier. I'm glad they made berries like a distinct pickup item that's different from like regular items. Looking around for more trainers. God, why a hyper version out here? Why, why, why? Uh, I really don't want to go to the gym yet. I think it's a really bad idea. Um, I can make the hike up to that gym up there, but again, that feels like that's a nightmare. I know, I know, I'm not. I know, I'm not ready for the gym. Absolutely not. Is that actually part of the uh, part of the formula? Is you have to hard reset. Oh, I need to go to Pokemon Center anyway. It's, I am nothing. I am nothing but Rock Fling or whatever the hell that move is called. Rock Throw or some shit. Chardo is not going to do a great job running around the rain. Uh, Rock Snack is. Fourteen, Lily's fifteen, Chardo's nine. Considering that Lily is unusable in that gym, it's it's a good call that we don't do that. Don't touch me. Chardo should be okay here. Ho. Oh my god. What... What is that special ability that it has? I don't want to overlevel too much. I want to be around like 16-ish. 16, 16 to 18, I think, with everybody. Ah, oh, that's right, because it's wet. We might have to make the crawl over towards the grass gym, because... I don't really know what else we can do here. We could go grind, like, regular Pokemon that are up towards the path to the left. It is raining and the heart has become weakened. Oh, grinding is such a pain in the butt. Sucks. Maybe I should have been okay with the raid thing. Who it is? It's Pepper Man, my favorite. Miss him already, even though he wasn't my favorite from the team, he was pretty cool. Gotta watch out for that donkey, because we're gonna get our ass kicked. If I don't get it, get what I said, because I said we're gonna get our ass kicked with the donkey. I didn't mean to do that. Whoa.
fighting trainer, which is of course terrifying. Um, yeah, like if you throw your Pokeball to engage in an auto battle and then hit like R2 right before it starts, it like skips the animation for it. Weird. Very, very weird. Small a little bit hardier than I thought they would be too. What is Donkoid? He's just uh, he's just fighting, right? Once I mastered the martial arts. Sends out like a jigglypuff and it's like, yeah, it's reasonable. I still love that thing so much more than I love Luc Lucario. Like, they're so damn cute comparatively. Oh, Donk is just dirt? I thought he was like fight dirt. Maybe he is, I don't know. Maybe he becomes fight dirt? Oh my god. This is so bad. Hmm. So if he's gonna do if he's gonna spam counter uh We could chip damage him to death, I guess, but like if I get hit by a razor leaf and he his counter crits or some shit. I fucking hate this little thing. Oh, counter can't crit? Oh, thank god. Thank god, because that sounds like some bullshit. Why would it use faint? Why would it want to kill itself? Huh? Ha. Uh, ha. Uh. I didn't know the counter couldn't be used against a... Uh, oh, nice, yeah. But do endure, so that way... That way this just takes longer than it's supposed to. That's my favorite. I like, I like wasting away my years. I sure hope it's like 75 degrees again tomorrow, so I could just be nice and hot and gross. Good job, Chardo. You leveled up. Chardo can at least hold his own in uh, the bug gym, at least, you know, as long as he's like level like 15 ish. So donkey is dirt. You got old Rockman over there. Fight Rockman, but like, I mean, I may as well. Old Rock Dog. I wonder whose idea Rock Dog was. In a weird way, it's kind of creative, because he looks like a normal Pokemon would look, but he's a rock Pokemon, which is interesting. So for the longest time, whenever Rock Rock would show up, which he's been around for a while now, I think. Um, yeah, I'm glad Chardo at least evolved to 16. Thank God. Because I feel like having a backup is going to be really nice. Is it really Sun and Moons? It's only been three generations, I guess. I just like I've seen a lot of them. Maybe they, maybe they were really proud of Rock Ruff. Dude, it can't see you. It already saw me. It's the sneaking thing feels so pointless. Now, the real question is, when does Lily learn a special, uh, special grass move? That's right, hard suit. That's why I know it. Yeah, because I, I need to go. I've got my like uh, seasonal stuff. I forgot to get out uh, the Mimikyu. Mega Drain at 20. Oh, yeah, dude. Here we go. Mega Drain. I'm excited. I'm getting close. If they hit like 19, I'm probably just going to tap them with a rare candy and put them up. 
Even though that's pretty pointless for this next gym, so maybe I won't. Who's <laughs> more suck at 20? Boy, all these TMs that I just do not want. Why is it? What is this goat? Stupid ass typing on this thing, man. I swear to God. Uh, I don't really know what to do against it. I guess Rock Throw, hopefully, will kill it. That's Stuffle. Oh my God, Stuffle. Yeah, he was cute. Okay, you can always get White Fruit Bear from a Build a Bear. Tell me the youngins aren't into. Oh! Oh! This is bad. I didn't like that. Did not like that at all. God damn. Oh, see, I didn't know there was a Michael Scott one. How the fuck does payback even work if I'm not even like. I hate it. Did we outspeed Drifloon last time? I wasn't paying attention. It'll probably miss and then we'll get killed. I know how this I know how this fucking game goes, dude. Can it just spam payback on potions or like what? I'll try one more time, let's see if you pay back. Which uh hopefully payback can't crit, because Oh boy. Cool. Oh, if you take damage in the turn. Oh. I don't know what to do against him, because uh, this is, like, really dangerous. I could try just running, but... Chardo's not going to be able to fucking do it. But running, I might get killed. So just keep that in mind. If we lose fucking Nas right here, I'm so sorry. I don't really have a good choice here. Do we have a polka doll? Oh my god, you know the heartbreaking thing is about that? One of those polka dolls was got by our, one of our dead Pokemon. Oh. Sad times. Sad times, dude. Yeah, Cornbro got us so many. I'm so proud of Cornbro. Okay, so we know that Drifloon is dangerous for us. There's also Grass Goat. Well, now I gotta fight this asshole. I was trying to hold off on that, but all right. There's Pillars of Light. You could use them to cheat. Well, he's he's waiting his turn. Look at him. He's waiting his turn. Good for him. I'm not sure if it's like ghost poop or something like that. Or just dark, just ghost garbage or something. I just half expect everything to be uh, just ridiculous nowadays instead of just being like one type. <sighs> well, we should be fine, I think. Unless Spite does something that I don't remember it doing. Stole my pee pee! You stole my pee pee! Come on now. This girl just starts the fight by saying the words, I'm gonna shut the pee pee, but like, okay, that's weird. Tardo wants to learn Dragon Breath. Cool. He learns a 60 power move that early? What the fuck is that shit? Why does he learn dra- when did, he, when did he start learning Dragon Breath? Like, what is that? I mean, I guess it makes sense. He ends up being Dragon Man, but like... Or maybe it's like a special move set because it was like a special Charmander that was got from a special place. I don't know. Or this, I mean, that was not a special Charmander, but you know what I'm saying. Special to me. I don't know what to tell you then. I have I have no clue as to why it is the way it is. 
You gotta learn spice breath before you learn even spicier breath. That's true. He sure does. Wow, only level up. Wow. Really low level up here. I thought they'd be like 14 or something like that. Oh, the other ones were. God, I love bullshit that spams defense curl in Trashville out the This is why I can't stand doing like uh, regular battles to level. It drives me crazy. Okay, it is special. The only way to get it is breathing some special raid charge. Yo, no, I know that, that that's I know that. I'm talking about like maybe its moveset is special because of that. Because I know there's a couple Pokemon that have special movesets, like a. Uh, I think, uh, doesn't Pikachu have, like, unique movesets, depending on, like, what game he's from, or, like, whatever the hell he's doing? I guess those are just moves that it knows. They're not, like, ones that it learns. Yes, feel the earth. Put your hands on it. For sure. Feel the dirt between your hands. God, that's just normal? That's so weird. Like it's Fire Fang at level 17. I also don't remember if he's a special attacker or a physical attacker. It was like Rollout scared the shit out of me because it reminds me of a... I remember we got dunked by a Rollout at one point when we were doing... I think it was like either Vietnamese Crystal or something. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, we just float. We do what we do. We do what we do. I was really a level 50 or 15. Oh, he does water Terra and no surf. That's really cute. I like that the trainers just stay there after you beat them. They just stand there like idiots. They're like, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I lost this one Pokemon battle and now I may as well just die. Like, yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, I feel you. So it's, the feather's beautiful, it just has no effect. You know, you know what we should have done? We should have, uh, we should have evolved, uh, we, sh we should have evolved our Pepper Boy and then just used him to destroy the world. We should have, I like how I was like, nah, let's not do that because I don't want it to be too easy. And then we just get destroyed destroyed by that gym and what we should have done is absolutely just evolved him and given him a fire move got him to that point and just burned the entire fucking gym down and just that would have been it burned it just purged the entire fucking thing with fire enjoy picnicking no no now right, here's another baby the wind goes whoosh Guessing you're a flying type because you're a flying trainer because you're, you're not anything. You're a baby, like an actual baby. But then again, based off of how I just got beaten up by bugs, I hate bugs. Let's kill it. I don't care if you're from Gen One. Why is Venonat so big? Like Vidrif Loon, it's been real. Seriously, why is Venonat so damn big? Come on. It learns a flamethrower at level one. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't disable rock throw. Please don't do that. Ah. Oh, we do not need a giant. Kind of surprised there hasn't been a cockroach Pokemon yet. Don't stop my whooshing. Okay, good. All right, man. No, no more wishing for you. It's past your bedtime. Okay, that one knows how to spritz water, which is dangerous. Looking at everything with like the worst possible outcome instead of just going in. Cause man, after losing everybody earlier, ooh, ooh. What's up, Vite? How you doing? Welcome to late night, late night Egglock Land, where it hurts to be alive. Oh, 
we have to kill this salt just because it just it's a reminder of better days. Small up apparently evolves at like level 5,000, so I just don't think, uh, I just don't, I just don't think that, you know, it's, go, it's gonna be a while. Apparently it's level 25, I think, for the first one, which is, again, still a lot. Old Knackley. I would just prefer to salt as, like, spicy dirt. It's really, when you think about it, that's all it is. It's just spicy dirt. Oh boy, lemonade! What if that lemonade saves my life? It probably will. These guys are higher level water Pokemon, at least. God, that Psyduck got the hell out of there, dude. He's like, I'm going, dude. I'm out of here. Is it possible to get shinies from eggs? I would imagine there's like a base chance for it, but I think there's still a way to cheese it. Like if you see this like shiny beforehand and like reset the whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a way to like cheese it. Ugh, geez. It's good, as gorilla. That's how you know you landed on a good one. I think salt in the Pokemon universe is like Geodude tears. Yes, absolutely. Great. Small is not very good until 34 or 35. Great. Perfect. Well, the, the nice part is at least Lily is on the team and they'll continue to level up. What the fuck is this moveset that he is learning? At least Hal would, uh, Hal would increase their attack. Because I, I feel like just terrestrializing and then just tanking up the first couple rounds of the bug fight and then just, just dunking on him by the end of it. Definitely better than Lear, yeah. I wonder if Chardo can take out that take out goat yet. Chardo, can you beat goat, please? Watch, Ch watch Chardo get killed by goats. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, buddy. Seat out of here, it just adds text. No, do not see the Chardo. Don't do that. Yeah, this is why I hate Leech Seed, especially against targets that, like, it's just not even very good. Against. Like, I just, I just love, like, the idea of just Leech Seeding and we just have to stare at this shit and be like, thanks, every round I get to look at this. Oh, I'm, I'm not I'm not fucking around with the the gyms anymore. I like I'm not like I thought it, I thought it'd be real cute and we'd have a good time and no. Then Teddy Ursa showed up with his dumbass bug hat and killed all of us. It's unbelievable. And I'm calling the authorities. Okay, I'm gonna pop I'm gonna pop Chardo up. Real, actually, I'm not gonna pop Chardo up. I'm gonna pop pop the boy up really quick. Oh shit! I didn't even know we had candies. Nice. Pump him. What did I even get these from? Thank Christ, he's level 18. Uh. Oh, Big Root's probably good for, uh. Probably good for, um. Lily, right? Okay. Alright, well, he's level 19 now, which is considerably better than whatever we had going on before. Still has like the same sh God, his moves are terrible. <laughs> just stand there in the first round, spam double team like 18 times. Spam howl and be like, I'm a god. Fight me now.
Those percent damage to the target, but then heals that full number the other day at a level 90 guard chomp, false swipe a like eight. Somehow broke a quick ball and it seeded, which then healed it for 80% of its HP bar. God. That is, uh, that's pretty disgusting. Fucking Leech Seed. I didn't know that about Leech Seed either. Leech Seed's been around for a long... You think it's always been like that? I'm wondering now if level... Level 19... The Boy. Level 19 The Boy. I would say the safest bet is to get Chardo to level 15 and evolve. That way we have a backup if something happens. I think that would be the absolute safest thing to do. So we can have we can have Chardo level up one more time, get his evolution, which is which is great. Oh look, Eevees. I didn't even know they were I didn't even know there were Eevees out here. Oh, Pokemon. You crazy ass game. Beat up that Mankey for old time's sake. Oh, you just got beat up. That's great. Good job. Good job, Chardo. Good, good job, Chardo. <laughs> the bugs are sweating. They know what's coming. We're just gonna do some autos here, because my god, dude, it takes so long. I think we were fine with like grinding them up last time, but I think the issue started when like they got in, like their 20s, I think. Because it just it just turned into such a slog to try to keep up with some of the new ones. Oh yeah, Charmander's he's uh he's 16, right? He's 15. Are you dead? What happened? On a go and he's level 15 now. I've been picnicking for eggs while watching. Uh, I just look back to find a, a mon missing. Totally not around. Is that it fell off a cliff and he can't get back up? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, just the way God intended. I need to find more goats. They're pretty chunky. Hell yeah, more goat. There's nowhere to run. You can't run from the Chardo. We can fight all of them individually, get a little bit more XP, but... Ugh. Mainly just want to get them to 16. Lily will be fine where they're at, because we, we cannot use Lily in this gym. They're just going to die. They will die. I just see Fury Cutter in their future, and it's terrifying. So many Drifloon, my god. Wait. Oh yeah, I guess we have to do like a normal thing now. I thought you just wouldn't do it. <laughs> like you had to like level them up or whatever. But I think uh I think we have to level them up again now. Because we all just evolve after uh after a fight. You have to level them up. It sucks. Hey Where Colt, quick sub since you're all you're 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 still on after I woke up. It's good to see you, buddy. Thank you for the two years. I hope you're doing good. Yep, yeah, guess I gotta level it up manually. Auto battle is working out pretty well for him. And it's also good for like materials and stuff, I guess. Well he gets uh he gets Fire Fang at 17 anyway. We can also just Dude, look at that little fampy just looking at us. Like, what you doing? What you doing, you battling? That's cool. You could go to sleep all night. You could do that. We might stop after the uh, after the bug gym, probably. Seems like a good stopping point for the night. What is sleep? That's a great question. I don't really know most days. It's worse and worse and worse as you get older, dude. Why is that thing have so much health? Vine whip. That ghastly just floating around is having the best time. He's enjoying the fight. He's like, yeah, kill that skidoo. His name is fucking Tyler Flynn, and he's he's a jerk. Keeps stealing my milk sandwich. I'm like, well, those are terrible, those are terrible words I heard. I'm out of here. Taking the first flight out of this bitch. 
Tyler and he ate my milk sandwich. Like, what the fuck? Can't, you can't stop floating in this, you kidding? Skidoo seems like a pretty, uh, pretty decent little grass type early on. Skidoo, whatever the hell his name is. Oh, I guess it's Skiddo, like kiddo. Good. Yeah, Fire Fang, you know it. Definitely just, just go over Ember, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine, because I don't even want that anyway. All right, we got the Fire Fang, everybody. So Chardo is going to be a great... Uh, he's going to be all right, Chardo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, he gets more red, I think, when he's... Uh... When he evolves into Chardelian. Right. Okay, we should be relatively safe now. If this goes south, I don't I don't even I don't even know what to do. I don't even I don't even know. Alright everybody, who's ready? You guys ready for the rematch of the oh, I'm sorry, the first time we fought this in the soft boiled soft boiled egg log. We have a nice fat stack of potions to just lean on if we need to do the, the rough strat. That is true, unless it rains, which I don't know if the rain will apply to the gym battle, but if it does, at least we have rock. So I'm, I'm going with like the rock terrestrialize strat for sure. But it's first time for this team. Okay, we have 19 potions this time. We also have an energy root and a lemonade. We, we should be good. I think I have an X defense. I don't know if I have an X attack. I do have an X, X attack, yeah. I mean, honestly, we could just use an X attack and then an X defense, and then just... We'd, we'd probably be fine. I actually thought about that last round uh, before we went in. I just didn't say anything about it, because I was going to make a joke about using X, X items. And, because uh, I didn't know if that would be... Uh... I was like, is that... I was like, I think that's allowed. I think we did that in the last one. I think we did it, but... Yeah. Maybe not on Nimble, in case it decides to double kick, turn one. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Nimble will use that. He didn't use it against this. He didn't use it against Salt Rock. Uh, so I don't really know. This I have like, I have like trauma with this gym now, dude. It is raining. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> We're standing out here in the moist, dude. Yep, it rained, all right. Ugh. We know your name. I've been here. I've already died. I mean, just kidding. Off oiled. I didn't know if it would like reset the weather state or something like that. Oh, you don't. Your bug types suck. They suck. They're terrible. They're the worst. I hate them so much and they're awful. It's your stupid bear. Jerk. Like, you can still be dry and wet at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can be have, like, dry-ass skin, stick it in some water, you're not moisturized. Then you're just dry and wet. The crunch will not absorb the moist. We probably should have actually done a bet on this. Uh, that would have been interesting. We could definitely just run an X attack here and then terrestrialize after that. I think we'll be okay, unless it does double kick. But even if it does double kick, I can't imagine that it's going to kill us. So... Well, he did do it. Yeah, no, I didn't do shit. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe it out really quick. Because I want it gone. And then the next one should be safer because the next one won't have a fighting move. I don't think, anyway. They shouldn't. I can also, uh, 
I can X defense here, or I can just X attack again just to make sure we completely, completely sweep them. But I do want to be at full health, or at least close to it, going into whatever, so I'm going to try to potion up right here. I like how I'm, like, trying to use some strategy here on this gym, because, uh, yeah. This required more strategy, I think, than, like, most of the gyms in Sword and Shield did. A bug bite put us about the same place we were. Uh, I don't need a Terra Slice for this rock throw. It also cannot kill me, so if I really do want to just juice up, then... Because, uh... Um, whatchamacallit is a... Uh, physical move, right? Fury Cutter? Oh, no, spiders so sad. They are. All right, our boy, our boy is, uh, he's tricked out. So he should be good now. And he should be able to just blow that fucking Teddy Ursa into next week. Thank you so much for the munch. Oh, it's, oh, it's sunny now too. So if things go wrong, we're good. Oh, I guess I could Terra. Yeah, I forget that it doesn't have a turn limit. You can just do it throughout the entire fight. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll Terra in response to this. God, that little shit. <laughs> that little shit that murdered an entire team. Payback's about to be a bitch. And this, this one, this one goes out. This one goes out in Salt Rock. Rock Salt, whatever his name was, I could get it backwards. I just like Salt Rock because it's just the idea that he's just salt mostly, but mostly rock too, also as well. Salt Man. Oh. Oh, my hat. They almost fell off in my Fury Cutter bullshit. Oh, yeah, because it was Salt Rock after Hand Rock. That's what it was. Come on, baby. Eat fucking trash, you garbage, stupid bear with your dumb, stupid bug hat. Eat donkey doo doo. I hate you so much. Oh, thank God. That one went out to the, to the boys we lost. Literally, the boys we lost. The entire team was a bunch of boys. Now it's a bunch of grills. Except for, uh, except for Chardo. I think Chardo's a boy. Oh. That's what that's what we did the first time we played. We just, we just obliterated that thing so we didn't have to worry about it. But as it turns out, if you just let it get out of control and that Fury Cutter starts rolling and your people are not leveled up, you are so fucked. I would eat the shit out of those cupcakes right about now. I barely ate earlier, though. I ate, I ate like, a couple bite, bites of, uh a bunch wrap. It was terrible. And then I tried to eat a part of a burrito that I'm pretty sure had meat in it. Couldn't even really tell. Also terrible. Had a bad day on top of that. For a bunch of reasons. Probably why I have a headache. At least this has been fun. You know, outside of the party wipe. But the recovery has been fun, and it felt good. <laughs> the rocket fur beast. <laughs> oh, God. People can watch the VOD of this and be like, oh, man, it's fun. We have seven hours of... Oh. Hey, Eglin's best. How'd the gym go? Um, actually terrible. It was the worst thing ever. Six Pokemon died today. They're like, what do you, what do you mean they died? But like, I just said it. Six Pokemon died today. Do it. Did I stutter? I'm like, oh. Oh, no. Well, they made it. Good job, Nas, Chardo, and Lily. Lily, Lily's I held item is disgusting. That thing looks terrible. Nasty ass root. Yep, ripped apart by an actual bear. Which I guess makes sense, really. In the grand scheme of things. What did she even give us? Pounce? Oh, it's like bug quick attack. I got no idea what she gave us. I, th I thought she would have given us fury cutter, but I guess she gave us struggle bug. No one can learn anything anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Look, sunny day, which is like mostly useless, I think. Endure feels like something we should probably just put on every Pokemon. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the bears also did. We don't count the bug Pokemon though, because they're not real. Well, I meant like maybe to like, I don't know, well I guess it would be pointless, because we'd probably just swap out if we thought we were going to get clocked, so. She gives pounce even though none of her Pokemon use it. That is true, they don't use it. What the hell is that shit? What the hell is that shit? <laughs> okay, so, uh, well we got Chardo, and he looks like an idiot because Charmeleon's kind of gross. Charmeleon's cool, he's just, he's just kind of nasty looking. He's a little bit too pointy. He got a pointy ass head. Look dumb. <laughs> he had a little pointy head. I always thought Charmeleon's head just looks stupid. Like, Charmeleon, you look so dumb. You look dumber than I did in my teen phase. Which is definitely saying something, because I look like an idiot. Um, He's quirky. I don't even know what that means. Oh, that means he is to Penguin of Doom. What's the next level uh, learn move for... Uh, for Nas? Charmeleon has the same weird head lump that Harold's grandpa has. He sure does. What's up with that shit, though? Hey Arnold's got some weird heads. I actually, hang on, I actually know what's up with Weird Arnold, like, or Hey Arnold, Weird Arnold. Uh, hey Arnold heads. Um, they actually talked about it a long time ago on Nickelodeon. Um, there was a whole thing about it, and they brought some of the artists on, and they're actually modeled after different, like, fruits and things like that. Um, like, different, like, weird objects. Uh, so, like, Arnold's head actually was, like, modeled... No, his, his head wasn't mod modeled after a football. I think it was modeled after, like, a lemon. Um, but, yeah, they actually brought the artist on, and I distinctly remember this, but they showed, like, what each item's, like, inspiration was for, uh, the characters. Like, I think Gerald's was, like, a soup can or something like that. Um, like, a soup can with the lid open. Like, it's actually, it's actually pretty funny. Like, it's, it's pretty clever that they actually designed everybody off of, like, a... No, I think his hair is modeled after, like, a soup can or something like that. I can't remember. But they did show, like, how they use, like, different, uh, props and stuff as, like, inspiration for, uh, inspiration for the character designs and stuff like that. Yeah, I think Harold's is, like, a pear or something like that. Yeah. It's pretty cool, like, I, and I distinctly remember that because it was, like, some weird, like, in-between commercials thing they did on Nickelodeon a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, they talked about why they all looked weird. Because they were modeled after, like, weird little items and things like that. I think Helga's was, um... I can't remember what it was. It was like either like a pack of like gum or something like that that like you twist because like her hair like sticks out like two little like twist tie thingies. I can't remember what hers was. It was something something like that, like something like a like a package that had like a uh, ties on the side or something like that. Regardless, it was strange stuff. I want to see what move he gets at 20. What how much how much how far is he experience-wise? Pretty damn close. I don't know what going on? We can go for like seven hours. We should probably, we should probably stop. Ah! Oh, maybe like Taffy or something like that. Yeah, some shit. I don't know. It might actually exist out there somewhere still. The, uh, that, that weird, weird interview that they had with the people who drew Hey Arnold. I'm always very impressed by people who did, uh, art for old children's shows. Like, not Class Geek Supo. They can go away. Um, yeah, like a lot of like old kids shows and stuff like that, like car cartoons from back of the day. It's always very impressive. I'm always very impressed by even like limited animation shows that were like either like uh, some like early anime and uh, shows that were similar to like that style or whatever. Like I was, I was always impressed by like Transformers for different reasons, because it's a doing like motion for gigantic robot bullshit is actually pretty hard, I think, because of like all the different like little pivots and joints and stuff they have like that, you know, just like the different machine parts. And yeah, Transformers isn't exactly the most like beautiful in terms of a uh, an animated thing, but I did always kind of find it impressive that they uh, they had as much detail in some of that stuff as they did. Especially given the, the medium at the time without it being like a digital format or whatever. Yada yada. Hey, look, more goats. More goats to murder. See if we can get Nas up to 20. I want to see what movie gets. See what movie gets before we wrap up for the night. Also, hey, Pank, how you doing? What are you doing up, Archie? It's like super late for you. What? It's just bite? Oh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. It's better than like tackle or whatever. It actually gives us a little bit of move move coverage there since he's got a dark move now. And bite. Well, 
And he evolves at what? 20, 25? If he evolves at like 25, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. The art's burned, the art burnout's hitting you hard. Okay, I think, I think everybody is getting hit hard by something right now. The usual. I had a, had a pretty shitty day, and then we experienced a full party wipe in this, which was pretty fucking terrible. The only food I've eaten was wrong. It was also fun. Ugh, because I haven't really done a lot of delivery lately. I've just been cooking shit at home, and then I ordered Taco Bell, which was just always the fucking biggest mistake. I'm fucking gets here and I'm like I said I'm pretty sure the fucking burrito had meat in it and I just was like eh, whatever dude I didn't say whatever and keep, keep eating it I just I think I noticed it like halfway through I was like great this is why I auto battle oh my god it takes so long I love how he swings his hand for fire fang but you know what? I guess I can't expect them to have, like, custom animations really for Charmeleon. Yeah, I can. They fucking had him in, like, the last game. He's been in, like, every 3D game. Why can't they just, like, steal some of his animations? If he learns it by default, he should probably have, like, a unique animation for it. But then again, if they tried to do unique animations for all these different Pokemon, that'd be nuts. Which they'll never be able to do unless they had a monstrous team and each game took, like, four years. Like, there is no way they could possibly ever pull that shit off and be like, oh, here, every Pokemon has, like, a slightly unique variant of, like, each move that you can learn or whatever. Then again, I don't think anybody was ever asking for that. I feel like that's more of just a thing that, like, people kind of expect. However, I was cracking up because I never saw, um... <laughs> I never saw the, uh, the follow animation for, um... <laughs> the, the, if you take out, I think it's Rayquaza in uh, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, he's like this big. He's like this big. And he doesn't even have an animation. He just floats around coiled and it's the shittiest looking thing ever. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> when I saw it the other day, I was dying because I'm like, wow, that is so fucking terrible. Holy shit. Uh, people stop being cunts about model reuse and think they can slowly accumulate something like that over time. I think they, um... They brought back several bottles from Sword and Shield. I think the problem is... They keep... The games span, like, so many different, like, platforms and generations that even if they started to, like, amass a decent number of them... It would take them, like, I think three or four games to get the entire Pokedex at least done up in, like, the Sword and Shield style. And then, of course, the Scarlet and Violet style. Has that person said words to me? I don't think they did. Okay, well, whatever. We're still gonna fight him because fuck him. Because we haven't really gotten to use uh, we haven't really gotten to use old Chardo yet. And I think we'll open up the raids and stuff next time for catch up because we're around the point where they're gonna start hitting their twenties soon. But we're gonna make it to where the candies only get used to catch people up, and then we'll go from there. Because like otherwise, I just I don't want it to turn into like a pumping them full of the XP candy thingies. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Well, I know Sword and Shield definitely had, like, a lot of... Well, I guess they, it wasn't really Sword and Shield that started the unique model thing, right? Like, 3D model, because it would have been Sun and Moon. Yeah, no, they're, ne they're never going to be able to do... It. Unless a major change happens in the development cycle, and they start doing, like, a new Pokemon game every two years, and then on top of that, they give them, like, way more time. I guess they do a new mainline Pokemon game every two years, but still, they're going to have to give them so much more time. It's so much more time and so much, or a shitload more resources. But there's only so much resources can do, unfortunately, because you could have, like, the biggest team ever, but you can still only accomplish a certain amount in a certain time, because, like, different parts of development have to happen. Look at how fucking terrible that pool looks. Like the, I mean, the aliasing's atrocious for me. I know it's not as bad for you guys, but like, god damn, it's still so terrible. <laughs> uh, the pop-in and everything like that is just amazing. Do I die when I jump in the water still? No, we, we doggy paddle now. 
Anyway, it's a good point to stop, I think, because we, we, we've been through a lot tonight. It's been a, uh, it's been a heck of a ride. But I did want to say thank you so much to everybody for watching and, uh, participating in the first night of this. And if you sent an egg and all that stuff, I really also appreciate you for doing that. Um, and thank you to Jigakuro and the gang for, uh, facilitating all of this, because this is definitely a lot of work to put everything together. So, did they patch it? They did, and it's really not any different, um, at all, actually. I didn't delete Bang Socials, but I think it's just, like, straight up not working now, which would make sense. But, uh, oh no, there it goes still doesn't work um but yeah i think that's gonna be it for me uh i'm trying to see i was gonna raid somebody but it looks like apparently already done um but yeah that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching this will be up on the vods thing here pretty soon i'll have a timestamp at the beginning for people who are trying to jump right into the beginning of this egg lock uh skipping past the part where we did the preamble and getting everything wiped out or whatever so uh, but that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna go find some other food and uh, get some rest and all that stuff. But y'all are the best. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Have a good one. See you next time. Goodbye. I like how it cuts the audio for the game. I keep forgetting that. Oh well. Goodbye.